Dudes rock. Jamie, why don't you pull up some Dudes Rock clips? And then Fat Albert gets sh shot by the cops. <laughs> and then that's a that's lesson good. to the urban youth of America. That is good, actually. That's good, right? Okay. I think I <laughs> saved it there. Mm -hmm. I think I was molested, Tommy. No. Tommy, I got molested by... Angelica put her doll in my ass. I literally can't do... Chucky without it turning into Bill Cosby. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I try. <laughs> now it's me, Wad. It's Hawk Ho. It's me, Wad Cosby. It's me, Wad Cosby. Now I'm me, Wad Cosby. <laughs> Let me see that person, that bitch. Sorry, that person. Why aren't you, you drinking your drink? You know I like to do the I best. make you I that drink. The, I make the bitch pass out, roll her legs over on the side, open the pussy up like how people do blinds. <laughs> I said, who's outside? <laughs> <laughs> who, who is out there? Do I got a visitor? <laughs> Dumbass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, I take a little peek inside the pussy. You get that? No, I'm talking about them fat pussy girls. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby meat wad. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know I like that actor uh, suck more dickers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for money, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, yeah, was so I would suck more dishes. You know, I would, I would thought it'd be good if he shrunk that bitch's pussy lips down the inner wall, so the outer walls be even bigger. <laughs> that's what I like. I'm a man that's about the blinds, not the drapes. <laughs> Let me peek through them blinds, bitch, but you better have them drapes rolled up. Now, does Meatwad Cosby have a cock, or does he form a cock out of his meat? I think he's just, he's not even a rapist anymore. It's just Meatwad obsessed with the shape of women's vaginas. Interesting. So he makes mm -hmm. them pass out to look at their pussies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I saw a book. Uh, I went to a, f a friend's house, and his, his girlfriend had a book. Which was like it was like a love your pussy kind of book, but it was mm -hmm. just pictures of pussies. Oh, nice! And so obviously, I just looked you at gotta it. Take and a peek. There, there's a there's a wide variety. Well, of course, you. They look. I I mean, some some of them <coughs> you don't even. Some of them I, I I've never even seen that kind. Like before. what kind are we talking? Well, you got some like obviously you got some some like a flappy flappy. Sure, we all know. know we've all we seen all, a flappy we've all pussy. Seen those. But Big so, meaty clit. Yeah, some of them are, you know, really some of them are fucking disgusting. <laughs> some of them are I'm just gonna be out there and say that I see a person or two that makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> that is that so me, what caused me? That's what do? I'm saying. As this is kind of an MRA kind well, of rant. Jesus Christ! But they can say that. Somebody tie your asshole to the back of an F-150 and drag a <laughs> no, pussy all over no, Texas. No, no, that's a hate I'm, crime. Yeah, well, it looks like it's been hate crime. He's wondering what happened. Yeah. He's not saying they no, should do I that. No, I feel bad for your <laughs> your shit. It's all fucked up. Now it's Cat Meatwad's Williams. Black. Meatwad. <laughs> yeah. Cat Williams as Meatwad. <laughs> Live <laughs> in stage. <laughs> Tallahassee, Florida. Donald Trump got that way because he only fucking nasty looking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. I ain't awesome shit. <laughs> I ain't even started yet. <laughs> oh my uh, God. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Cat Williams ass meat water. You gotta have your hair that fucked up to be able to look yourself in the mirror and not be disgusted with your face after you got that nasty pussy on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta distract yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Fuck. Were you saying something else, Adam? I forget. Yeah. No, I'm right. just sad about this car. Why? It's a car, dude. Get a new car, man. It's my first Get a car I've ever had in my entire life. Get a Ferrari. 32 years old. You have $80 million. What do you care about? I don't have $80 million, and I feel like I'm a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. Sp buy a I feel like it's so pathetic. I just buy had a, a Porsche car for Cayenne. one day. What? Buy a Porsche Cayenne. That's what... Well, you should people buy are that. saying that I copied... What uh, Carmela drove, which I did, I forgot that she drove that car. But do you remember in season six? That's what Tony buys Carmela's new car. Really? He well, gets he gets her the the Porsche Cayenne. It's meant to be then. Yeah. So maybe I should step it up to Carmela's season <coughs> six. <laughs> That's right, dude. Carmela when she's trying to get fucked by Furio. I think was that season six? No, I think he left already. No, doesn't he leave that season? Beginning I, I of that always season? forget which season is which. No, you're right. It's season five. He I leaves. think it's five. That's the episode. Furio. 
That's the episode with the Andrea Bocelli <coughs> episode. Suck on to my dick. <coughs> I can't I'm bust because, because I'm, I'm gay. gay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm too gay to bust. I am gay. Mm-hmm. I've <laughs> never busted. I can't, <laughs> can't bust. bust. I am gay. Please fuck me inside my ass <laughs> and make me fuck you in the ass. But I won't bust cause I'm gay to gay. gay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, off too, I'm, I'm gay. Honestly, that song is pump up music. You know, that you guy, listen to that shit? That guy's blind. Yeah. yeah so he there's is. a very good chance he's had sex with men on accident. That is That's so true. true. You never know. You don't know. When you're you famous and blind, <laughs> Stevie Wonder's throwing it in all types oh of orifices. God, animals. They used to call him Gay Charles. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Just how often That's true. he would sit down thinking he was about to play his piano, but gay guys would sneak up <laughs> and replace the bench. Dipping their, <laughs> he's dipping his fingers they in their assholes. themselves at the piano <laughs> bench. And he would sit down and be like, oh, not again. And each one of them would go, oop, a different yeah. note. They would squeal a different note. That is Ray love. Charles sound, I forget. I love uh, no, it's like Ray Charles. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I'm Ray Charles. No, I'm I'm just saying, baby, but you know, uh, I, I'm rich. That way you, when you and Georgia on my mind. No, mm. I, I don't think yeah, that's very There's good. a little stilted. The, you got maybe the. There was like, that was I was always hoping we'd find out one of those black guys was faking it. I oh, know. Just being one. Blind or being like black? Like Stevie Wonder, you know, <laughs> black <laughs> like, look, I'm sorry. My bad. I've known how to see the whole time. It's just well, like, there's a whole back theory. in the day that like would. Used to, you know, be a good way to get your career going. That's true. That's I stuck a- with it, and, you know, I started walking into women's locker rooms. And, <laughs> and at that point, it's like, you know, I can't tell people now, because now yeah. I'm, a, I'm a sex criminal. <laughs> Barbara Walters is like, did this make your penis hard to see these women? <laughs> <laughs> it did. In fact, it very much did make my penis hard. <laughs> and what, what would you like to say to these women if they were sitting here right now? I guess... Um, I'm sorry for doing that. But thank you. And thank you for making my penis on. <laughs> we'll be back with Stevie Wonder in 2020. <laughs> he said he's That's sorry. That's her first question. <laughs> yeah. He reveals he's he been faking he's being sorry. blind. And her follow-up. <laughs> <laughs> no, did it make your penis hard <laughs> when you snuck into these locker rooms? Yeah, she's a bad interview. <laughs> That's yeah. right. The Arthur theme is like that Ziggy Marley the shit. Ziggy Marley made it? That is yeah. true. Out in the street they call it murder. Yeah, yeah this is actually is a good Oh, one. it's kind of a reggae vibe? Yeah, dude. You don't remember? Every day when you're walking street, the street. And everybody that you meet. You can suck on my penis. <laughs> <laughs> everybody suck my dick. Suck everybody my ass. Everybody give me head. Yeah. And having gay sex, your teacher has gay sex (laughs) because he is gay. The teacher is gay, and it's normal, and you should be too. You should also be gay like the teacher. There is no way Ziggy Marley's saying (laughs) that. You should be gay with the teacher (laughs) on the show. You should be just like him (laughs) if you're a child in the South. (laughs) Remember, Christ is fake. He isn't real. The Jews are right. (laughs) What's going on with this song? (laughs) You should give your money to Jewish people. (laughs) <laughs> it's just a song. It's a song. It's a song. Yeah, it's These kids sh- need to understand yeah, the, the world. The kids are just trying. They need to understand the They're world. They're just trying to watch a song Let about the show. Educate themselves. Let them make their own choices. <laughs> you can't take the lyrics literally. <laughs> It's give just give oh, your allow, mail your allow uh, I guess to we're, Israel. We're, we're supposed to worry about the kids <laughs> growing up to be rats too. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> to be anthropomorphic cats and dogs. Yeah. That's a concern. <laughs> Anyways. I'll be watching Arthur, thanks. <laughs> There's never been you've a got, Palestine. Yeah. You've got to remember that the Holocaust is the only genocide that ever happened. <laughs> There's never been another one. And, and Armenians are liars. <laughs> 
Well, I don't necessarily. Just in the Armenians for no reason. <laughs> Just <showing him> in. <laughs> no reason. It's a distraction campaign <laughs> to garner sympathy for Palestinians <laughs> because Americans can't tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. This song goes. It's a good song. With each other. Get along with each other. Children of God, what do these lyrics mean? <laughs> do you think that means friendship? Yes. Well, it means a homosexual relationship <laughs> between <What>? two men. <laughs> It means two men, and not to use these words lightly, but fucking each other raw dog <laughs> savagely. <laughs> Strong men holding each other down, lubing each other's cocks and no assholes. No lube at all, competing for the top position <laughs> under the eyes and, and auspices of Satan himself. <laughs> to be crowned Satan's champion. To, be, to become a child of Satan, the Antichrist, and to come in this church. And to fuck you likewise, <laughs> children of God. That's what this show wants you to do when it says, get along with each other. Mm -hmm. And you should know that. I don't want to be fucked. Right. Now let's go back to watching some good, entertaining Christian animation, Veggie Tales, in which a, a broccoli <laughs> learns that he has to murder his son to please God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where a piece of broccoli <laughs> has to carry his son up a mountain and murder him. <laughs> Which combines two things that children love, biblical stories and vegetables. Ve that's right. <laughs> Veggie tales. <coughs> I, I, never, I never watched Veggie Tales. Yeah, it wasn't for you. It man. wasn't for you. Mm, I okay. guess so. Oh, the shorts. rock bitch. <laughs> that's, that's just disgusting. I want to spit on the motherfucker. <laughs> One night only. Cat Williams Meatwad. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest comedian in the entire Honestly, world. Honestly, yes. Yeah. If you could make some kind of real version of Meatwad. Yeah, that yeah. was a... Yeah, or I guess it could just be Cat Williams covered in ground beef. Uh-huh. Doing that the voice. That would be insane. He's <laughs> <laughs> already so wet. Yeah. You know? The thing you gotta remember is anybody talking shit on what you choose to wear is a motherfucking hundle. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you can't wear beef. Uh -huh. You're fat, big ass. <laughs> I'll slide right the fuck off. I'm sleek. Because I'm grade A. <laughs> bitch, watch me. USDA approved. <laughs> <laughs> My shit is fucking real. Your shit is well done, you heifer. <laughs> That's I'm good. wearing beef. Your pussy look like beef, bitch. <laughs> now that's uh, yeah. That's you got. You got roast beef. I got ground beef because I'm grounded. <laughs> I'm base, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, dude, I would pay a thousand dollars. Yes, for front row tickets of, <laughs> of meat one <laughs> Cat Williams <laughs> just Woo! doing doing four and a half hours, <laughs> just sweating profusely, <laughs> dripping. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. Bring back freaking Meatwad and the gang, guys. Did Cat Williams ever get a TV show? No. No, just a thousand specials. Uh, no, I'm pretty... He was on West Wing. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was. <laughs> he was that's right. Yeah, he played Toby, I'm pretty sure. He was yeah, Toby on West Wing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got the speech right here, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, just, meat, just was I, it Meatwad, Cat Williams, or just <laughs> Cat Williams? Well, it was Meatwad, Cat Williams. <laughs> okay. Played Toby. <laughs> Did President Josiah Bartlett is like, uh, uh, I just want to say to all the, the bitches and tricks, <laughs> that anybody try and talk shit about your pussy, it's because they just want to fuck it. <laughs> like, this is the State of the Union. <laughs> yeah, I stayed up all night writing that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, you've done it again. <laughs> Toby, another hit. <laughs> Make sure you read that. See, to put up that shit I put in there about the pussy, that ain't optional. <laughs> because they ain't going to understand the suggested changes to the capital gains taxes unless you explain that the big pussies got to fucking go. <laughs> it's the big bitches hiding their big ass pussies under all that fat. They're clogging up the, you know, the, the, 
import pipeline. I don't know. Fuck. Shit. What the, <laughs> what the fuck y'all want I'm trying from to, me? I'm trying to read this fucking economist bullshit. They talk about Forex. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how about this? 3X. I'm trying to look at porn on a work computer. <laughs> but they got the, they put the fucking lit down and shit on there. I know how to type. I'm just trying to beat <laughs> off. <laughs> 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 yeah, he was definitely on West Wing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's he right. wanted Cat Williams was definitely that's on West right. Wing. Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hey, make sure you... Pay yeah. the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hey, there is no such thing as Christ. It never happened. <laughs> you got to be gay and interbreed with every race but the Jews. The Jews are allowed to intermarry. No one should question it. It's, a, it's okay for them. But everyone else is supposed to mix. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with this show? You know, I was actually for the gay rat wedding, but this new theme yeah, song yeah. What's going is on? a little weird. Yeah. I hate to side with these Alabama guys, but I got to tell you, <laughs> some about this There's theme song. off about the artist. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like that Nick DePaulo <laughs> It's almost as bad as Nick DePaulo Doug <laughs> But in a different way ben, Bienvenidos Ami Ami We just listened to Big Willie Style <laughs> On W S U C K M O I D S U K. <laughs> They told me that's not the name of the station. D-I-Q. But guess what? They can S U C K M Y D I C K. It's my last day at work. I just found out I have brain cancer. <laughs> stage four. We, I've got stage four brain cancer, and I'm completely nude in the studio. <laughs> I've got a gun held up to yeah. my producer. I'm making him give me head. I'm making a woman <laughs> suck my dick at gunpoint because I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we just yeah. pull it somehow? <laughs> <laughs> just play fucking Billy Joel tapes or something. Oh, I've been to play Billy yeah. Joel. We'll be right back after this. How bizarre. <laughs> How bizarre. How bizarre. You guys remember 1998? That was a great year. It was the year I got my job in radio, sitting next to a transmitter all day long that was pumping... <laughs> Radioactive waves directly into my brain. <laughs> no one seemed to give a shit at all. Hey, I get paid one hundred eighty thousand dollars a year. That's worth dying at thirty-seven, right? <laughs> Keep sucking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How bizarre! <laughs> He's just playing. How bizarre! <laughs> 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 Some I'm going to You die. fuckers did this <laughs> You did this to me <laughs> You didn't seem to give a shit about women When you made me fucking DJ that titty contest <laughs> Every fucking year My wife left me because of it <laughs> I loved her You I'm may cool. think I didn't But I fuck I only did this shit for her <laughs> She left because I had to fucking DJ your goddamn world's dumbest bitch contest every year. So you could, what, give away t-shirts? <laughs> My son doesn't speak to me anymore. My parents disowned me. And I got a tumor the size of both my nuts and my fucking I brain right now. I just want to fly. <laughs> <laughs> but but this is a hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All around the world, statues crumble for me. 1998, a great year. <laughs> all downhill from there. <laughs> Wish we could all be 25 years old again, chasing our dream of being a radio guy. <laughs> Look, I'm going to sit my son down and say, we're going to have the birds and the bees talk. Mm-hmm. And I got a mason jar full of bees, and I make them fuck it. <laughs> and I'm like, you think about that. Next time you want to get horny, you think about all these bee mm-hmm. stings. And how, how slow I'm driving to the hospital right now. <laughs> how I'm taking my sweet time <laughs> and stopping at Sonic to get a... <laughs> Berry blue ice blast. <laughs> oh, it's not for my son. I just gave him the birds and the bees talk. Just mm-hmm. some black teenager on roller skates. Like, I think your son's dying. 
<laughs> There's something wrong with your son's <laughs> private. <laughs> your, <laughs> son's, <laughs> Mr. your son's dick is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take him to a hospital. Filled with bees. <laughs> You're in a beekeeper suit. <laughs> yeah. The boy needs to learn. <laughs> yeah, my son's learning about sex. <laughs> now bring me my tots and my fucking yeah, Bring slushy. me my fucking tater tots. <laughs> How about glasses where Lisa's hot and a real girl and she comes out of the TV and sucks your dick? We're all holding hands the, the whole, whole episode, yeah. If I could turn back time. Do, 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 do. I would help Hitler. <laughs> I would not kill him. I remember I like despising that show. <laughs> why? I don't I know like why. It. Pepper Ann just pissed me off. She got me hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'd yell at my sister, turn that shit off. Do you not like redheads? Yeah, I kind of don't like like that kind of. Didn't she have the same voice as Patty Mayonnaise? Kind of, did. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know that kind of confidence and it's the confidence in a woman made you upset. Yeah, yeah. You like your women m- meek and servile. Yeah. Did you ever did we ever find out if her pubes are red? Also, we did. They, they, yeah. Episode six. Yeah. Wow. The curtains. It's, it's hard to believe I didn't make it that far. <laughs> I feel like I saw more episodes of Pepper Ann than six. No, of them. episode six opens on a shot mm-hmm. of her pussy. Woke up this morning, got <laughs> myself a gun, pepper in. Yeah, she's got a mirror, Yeah, and she's looking at her own pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you you got the most beautiful fucking pussy in the world, pepper in? <laughs> well, jeez, thanks, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you remember that episode where Pepper Ann crossed over? And Tony over? Soprano. Yeah. <laughs> Pepper Ann crossed mm-hmm. Where, where Tony's, Tony looks at Tony's, her pussy. Tony's fucking Pepper Ann for a week. <laughs> I'm saying I'm in love with you, God damn it. Yeah. Tony, you don't even love yourself. <laughs> How could you ever love a 14-year-old girl? I think she was younger, younger yeah. 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 How could you love an 11-year-old girl, Tony? <laughs> a dumb bitch. You hate yourself. You hate everyone in the world. <laughs> you're at war with everything. <laughs> you only, just... You're in love with the fact that this is wrong. <laughs> Damn, Pepper Ann was really fucking uh, cogent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just sitting in Mel- Melfi's office. I met somebody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh... It's pretty good for me. <laughs> She's eleven. This woman you're seeing is she another child, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> She's a pedophile. This is about yeah, completely, completely <laughs> just never holding him accountable <laughs> yeah, at all. Just, Tony, yeah. this new woman that you're seeing is she also a sixth grader at <laughs> High Top Elementary School <laughs> with ADHD? That's none of your fucking business. <laughs> I finally meet somebody that's good for me, that cares about me, and it's this bitch, 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 bitch from everybody I fucking know. I love Pepper Ann. That's good. That's the good <laughs> shit right there. Yeah, I wish I knew more about Pepper Ann to weave I know, those. I don't know anything. I don't know else. anything. I'll weave those references. Yeah. In. <laughs> she had Carmela's she... like Tony. What the hell is this? Why is f- some Velcro or something? I don't know. <laughs> Tony, it looks like red pubes. <laughs> New ones too, Tony. Are you, you fucking fresh. another child again? You fucking pig. Nubile pubes. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I just watched the episode of Sopranos where uh, Paulie from Rocky comes back. Yeah, <laughs> that, that episode ends with like Carmela being like, "Tony, she's younger than Meadow. Imagine if someone with your age was doing this to Meadow." And then he's like looking at Meadow, watching her like, you know, eat dinner or something, and it finally clicks with him. And then the episode ends with him quietly murdering Pepper Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Just sending somebody to shoot Pepper Ann in the back of the head. Yeah, hiring black guys so they yeah. couldn't trace it back hiring to him. Hiring black guys to kill Pepper Ann. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's at the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did Pepper Ann end? Oh, right, that crossover with the Sopranos. 
It's a dark <laughs> episode. Makes the entire bomber whole house. <laughs> <laughs> Where they fucking, they pretend her house got turned into a trap and have black eyes kill Pepper Ann. She was selling ecstasy. Yeah, yeah. She was in a project selling ecstasy. She got involved with drugs. Hey, Jay, something go wrong with you? Yeah. One of the girls at my school was murdered. <laughs> <laughs> that's none of your fucking business, AJ Why don't you worry about school Something that's good for you Sports All this fucking morose shit Get out of your fucking head I uh, had to break things off with that woman Based on your advice You know, I just did what you said to Tony, did you do what I say, or did you, or did you murder a child that you, you were you, having sex and did with? You, <laughs> did you hire black guys to murder a child? Again, I don't want to pry, but did you have another child murdered? <laughs> After realizing pedophilia is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Only fucking question! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're fucking done. We're fucking done, you bitch. <laughs> okay, everyone, welcome to Calm Town. Good, welcome to Calm Town, everyone. Welcome to Calm Town. It's, it's Dirty Ronnie and his retarded friend. I'm not retarded. I'm sorry. So yo, I'm sorry. He forgot to say psych afterwards. Yo, psych, yo. That's right. Anyway, we got a Jewish guy and a black guy downs, here. Downs, but yeah. not out. That's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. I got to have him on here. I get to pay him less than minimum wage. Who, me? Uh, be on this podcast. Me the black guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we have question. fun here. 98 Rock, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Call in right now and tell us where in Dundalk you were molested for a chance to win free Ravens free, free camo pants. to next week's Battle of the Bands at Wham's Head Wide. <laughs> <laughs> We've got my darkest poison. These are we disciples. <laughs> the Kings of Doom. Maryland's greatest bands. That'd be cool. A Down syndrome pickup artist named Nuance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would be. He's got yeah. like a Velcro top hat. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, he, he takes it off his head. <laughs> Mid eighty. <laughs> Makes a rip noise. Oh my John, God. if I'm buying you the top hat, yeah. I'm putting Velcro on it so you don't lose it again. I'm not. Le I'm not <laughs> spending another six thousand dollars on an authentic English top hat for you to just lose it again. But I'm trying. Yeah, I lost it trying to get pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to go get pussy and I lost. She it. just super glues Velcro <laughs> strips onto his head. <laughs> On his fucking bald head. <laughs> Doctors have finally found a way to make people with Down syndrome develop Velcro skin. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the biggest hurdles is that all of my clothes need to be fastened with Velcro. <laughs> now it just attaches to my body like a Wego man. <laughs> mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Who would you one suck day. if you were Kirby? <laughs> you would, yeah. would I suck off? Yeah. I guess I would suck off the guy who plays Thor to look like Thor. Mm -hmm. Okay. What if you, you had get to someone's powers if you, you suck, suck them, them off? off? I guess. That's pretty good. That's it's the closest like thing to Kirby. Kind of thing? Yeah. You'd have to suck their dick or eat their pussy. Mm -hmm. uh. So I guess I'd pick a jacked woman then and eat her pussy. Kirby's just like a girl, so like... Is whoever Kirby whoever he sucks off, he like picks up their like hobbies and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's, That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby's like, no, I've always like worn green hats with an L on them. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I probably suck off like a. Just like an NBA, like a G League guy. Oh, okay. Something low profile, but I could right. dunk. Yeah, yeah. I just want to dunk. Uh, yeah, a 12th man would be good. Yeah. You know? Judd Bushler. Yeah. <laughs> I would suck off, like, uh, who's that Who's that guy that's on Toronto now? Derek Williams that's been on a hundred different teams. He's Ooh. on he's Toronto? Got, yeah, he's got he the He's a lottery pick. Yeah. I would suck off a lottery pick that never panned out. Oh, that's pretty good. You know? Because yeah. you still get a house. Still Shabazz get, yeah. Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, Shouts yeah. out to Shabazz Muhammad. Yep. Mm -hmm. One time. Yeah. Is he out the league? Uh, last time I checked. I Can you publicly so. state that you met him, then? Yeah. I met him on some uh, low-key Los Angeles business. Interesting. Some Fucking business. Get it? Yep. Business. Mm -hmm. You know. know. You, you were working know. at. You were working at a massage parlor. Adam's asshole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 delivered him at ten in the morning. 
<laughs> you get those picks. <laughs> I gotta go up. I'm trying to, to see those Polaroids. <laughs> I gotta go up I got to a couple Mulholland. Of at Adam's yeah. hole. That coming. makes sense. Basketball um, players can't admit they're gay, so they yeah. have to have. They don't want to trace to their hard drive. I was yeah. in a. Right. Right. Adam, Adam spent 93 to 97 getting turned out by every producer in, <laughs> mm-hmm. in the canyon. <laughs> when no. I was six, no. six to nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Just every every day, just full leather outfits, chains, mm-hmm. whips, doing blow till six o'clock in the morning till he had enough, and he moved back to South Dakota to get married to a trucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember that. I was the now prettiest, I was the prettiest now, girl now just, in my town. Now he just hangs out around the synagogue, helping out. Yeah. Seems to be pretty stable. He's a little fat now. I was the prom <laughs> queen. Looks have faded. Yeah, I but was at prom queen, and I had like a pregnancy that I had terminated my senior year. Yeah, and I left home. Everyone said you should be a model, so I moved to LA. And there were some guys like I have modeling opportunities for you. And then I got that uh, was Jamel's dad. Uh, Jamel's you can picture dad. Your asshole with <laughs> with those Polaroids. Yeah, and and so it began, man. And, and decades a, later, Jamel's making money selling them to uh, basketball players, serving them, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mm. Polaroids are your cheeks spread. Modeling opportunities is always a... That's a code word for something that can't be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, They caught you on the Craigslist? Um, No, it was just a limo pulled up next to me. I was, like, about to leave L.A. Uh, No, I'd, like, failed. I was about to leave L.A. I was crying. (laughs) And then a limo pulls up. Window goes down. Just a disembodied voice. I didn't even see the face inside. (laughs) Jim carries the mask, and he put his green dick in Adam's mouth. (laughs) From the window? stop me! The cock just jumped (laughs) out of the window into his mouth across the street. (laughs) Adam being raped in the back of a limousine by the mask. (laughs) Did I ever tell you guys about the time I was doing the comic book shit? At uh, like the convention, this was in DC. Uh-huh. I was doing a video for the fucking airport. Oh, oh I yeah, I that. saw that and in there. The guy who was dressed like Dark Side who <laughs> lost his kids. This <laughs> 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 is this old, older black dude <laughs> dressed like he went all out on a Dark Side costume, <laughs> <laughs> and like. Just in passing, all I hear is him say, I'll take all the pictures y'all want after I find my kids. Let me just find my kids, and I'll take all the pictures y'all need. so fucking funny. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. Just trying to find... And keeps getting stopped. Desperately. Yeah. <laughs> his costume was too good for him to find his, his fucking children. His costume was so good he lost custody of his children, dude. Damn. Carl Urban? No. Is he in movies anymore? Oh, oh the actor. yes. He was in Thor Ragnarok. He's in Dread, too. Yeah. Dude, Dread was sick. I'm so glad I watched that. Dread again. rules, He dude. stars in Dread, the new Dread. Yeah. yeah. But that's kind of a shitty one to star in because you don't see your face. Well, yeah. you see his mouth. You see him scowling. Yeah. yeah. He's, He's a good mouth actor. You're terminated, bitch. Did you like his mouth? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, his acting... We've got three faggots the, on level from four. From the mouth down. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a green faggot on level four sucking everybody <laughs> off. He has Requesting to do his judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Requesting <laughs> level four <laughs> for <the> lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Friedland, you were charged with 36 counts of sexual assault against males. <laughs> but only 21 counts of doing push-ups. Your sentence no. is dead. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I did 31 push-ups. Judge Stavros, please shoot him in the fucking face. <laughs> no, you shoot me in the dick for that. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Uh, do, do they? You'd like that. You wouldn't know. You'd like You're not it too in the much. Context. That's what the, that's you'd like what it too much. Is, uh, You're just getting the, buried. Open dick up casket. His yeah. visor. Yeah. Go that go down by. Ooh, that small dick. <laughs> you'd like it too much because it would technically be a man touching your penis. Don't shoot him in the dick. He'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> He's that gay. That's, that's, that's what gay guys like, are into. <laughs> okay. Don't aim for his dick. <laughs> that's what he wants. <laughs> 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 oh, <fuck. laughs> That's a good crossover. Remember, rookie, don't shoot him in the dick <laughs> or ass. <laughs> do not shoot his ass. <laughs> Under no circumstances yeah. do you shoot his ass. Real shit. Set your, to, set your gun to set your ammo to pussy simulator. <laughs> And then shoot him in the dick. <laughs> shoot him. Shoot him with a super soaker full of pussy. Just shoot him. Shoot him with the. Shoot him. Shoot Get the pussy. Get the pussy juice hose. <laughs> <laughs> the pussy juice hose. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's a bunch of gay guys locking like arms. Like a civil rights. Civil rights gay guys yeah. locking arms outside of a restaurant. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we shall the ever fire come. The fire department. The fire hose and pussy juice. What? <laughs> That's like as a police brutality. Yeah. <laughs> They brutalized <laughs> gay men. <laughs> you know, back in back in Alabama in the in the fifties, they used to spray gay men with pussy juice. Oh fuck, dude! Pussy you have a civil pussy. right to die. <laughs> <laughs> Waterboard them with pussy juice. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh man, that's some of the wildest shit I've ever heard. Listen, shit, fuck. Thank you. You've got three seconds to tell me where the mask is, or I'll fill your nasal cavity with pussy juice. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's Rookie, right, dude. Keep your eye on his dick. Make sure it doesn't come anywhere near my ass. You get my six. <laughs> right, because he's got the bendy long yeah, mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, his dick is made out of cartoons. <laughs> Rookie, keep an eye on my six. Don't let his cartoon dick get anywhere near my ass. Did you see that Philippines guy say he used to be gay? Duterte or whatever. Oh, yeah, he rules. He <laughs> said that. Trump, he said, Trump he, loves him, too. He said his opponent has gay mannerisms and that he used to be like his opponent, but he cured himself. Whoa. Whoa. Pretty Whoa. awesome. He's basically saying He's he used to be gay. gay. Yeah, that dude kind of gay. Trust me, I know. Yeah, I used to be <laughs> gay. <laughs> it's like Eddie Murphy in Trading Places. That guy's gay. I know because I used to be gay. It's so awesome. You can't go easy on these guys, Coleman. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> Although I saw Trading Places recently, and I didn't think it held up. For real? I just thought... I remember the titties, It was though. too slow. The titties... Formative titties. Yeah. Monumentally held up. Yeah. Those were some fat yummies, dude. I mean, yeah. God damn. Jamie Lee Curtis. In fact, let me just Google the titties from that. See Jamie Lee right Curtis. Now. Why do people say she had a dick? Because she, she had, had short, short hair. hair. That's it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jinx. <laughs> By the way, well done. Jinx, personal jinx. Do you yeah, remember that on, scene in True Lies? Do you remember yeah. the scene in True <laughs> Lies where Arnold makes her strip? No, nobody does, dude. Jamie Lee Woods, Curtis. Nobody remembers Titties. that. Only you did, because you thought places. she had a dick, and that was when you were disappointed. <laughs> <That's before. laughs> she no, you can't. You're like, see oh boy, finally, I, I've had this fantasy about a woman with big tits, but she's got a dick <laughs> instead. We were just now. watching a video on of X Hamster. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's she doing? What the hell? Patty Farinelli. Yo, describe the porn. You don't even got your browser on private. Oh, yeah, dude. Listen to these tunes. I Yo, wrote... to the fucking Commodores? Yeah. <laughs> just getting fucked to the Commodores? I directed this video and did all the music for it. <laughs> That's a good, a That's a good music choice. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when Eminem had that porn star in his... Music video. Oh, what the fuck? They have a baby <laughs> picture up, of her. Man, I'm down. What? <laughs> Hold up, man. This Wait, is starting this is with baby pictures. I thought it was going to her end where her getting fucked, man. <laughs> Wait, and this goes to her being fucked at some point? I think she's just, just jacking a, off. This is just a real. A friend of mine, Bob Noble, took this photograph of me and sent it to Playboy. A friend of hers took a pic of her. Okay, let's see your pussy, please. Damn, she's like cooking with her family? Yeah, I'm about to add that Commodore's joint to my playlist right now. Hold up. Lonely. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Let me see. (laughs) No, don't show him. Oh, fucking rules, dude. (laughs) Oh, she's she's got a good attitude. Yeah. You know who has a bad attitude? Who? Me. I know. That's oh, what, shit. She's jacking. That's no. why you need an attitude adjustment. I don't bro. need an attitude adjustment. I'll adjust that attitude. You will do nothing of the sort. You need to adjust that You'll get that your jaw too. adjusted all the way into the back of your fucking skull. I don't understand how that works. Come anywhere. Music change. Me. How could you get my jaw in the back? What's going on now? <laughs> this is a, a little more pornographic, I feel. Yeah. I like the Commodores as much as anybody, but... Lady gives head. <laughs> <laughs> This is bizarre. I thought I was going to see her jacking off, but now she's eating dinner with her family. Bro. Oh, and now she's naked again. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn I, I this the same show <laughs> as <laughs> 10 minutes yeah, before yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah, the podcast is to stop looking at pornography. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've been doing for the last two and a half years of our lives. <laughs> she <laughs> she <laughs> Buy you, you find you look for the poorest kid in the store and you follow him around with his mom and you uh-huh. wait until he 
his eyes light up at some toy, and then you walk over and you take every single one of them. You go, oh, I'm purchasing all of these. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's uh, so fun. And it, it only costs about fifty dollars. Yeah, that's yeah, that's and for the for to uh, scar a child for life. The price the price of admission to Six Flags. You could just go to Five Below. <laughs> and and really rub it in a working mother's <laughs> face. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm purchasing all of these. If you want one, it's now two hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't I'm know. It's the free market, man. Uh, ma'am. <laughs> Have you ever heard of capitalism? Uh, ma'am, my name is Grover St. Clair. <laughs> I'm a, a marquee and a capitalist. <laughs> a capitalist. <laughs> the guy five below is like, we got more in the back if you want, man. I'll purchase all of those as I well. want those too. <laughs> It depends, ma'am. Does the free market love your son, or do you? <laughs> Capitalist. <laughs> Capitalist Grover St. Clair. <laughs> just, just, that's such a funny modifier. I am a capitalist, dude. I love it. I'm a marquee and a capitalist. I'm a marquee and a capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> but what that means to you is that you just buy toys that children <laughs> buy. Buy toys and try and sell them to children for double. Yeah, you just rip off yeah, poor yeah. single mothers. Mm-hmm. I guess that works. Uh, or try and make a different kind of... Arrangement with them. No, oh, yeah, you know a sexual saying? one. Well, possibly. Oh, ma'am, you have another option. You can buy me the toys I want, and in exchange, <laughs> I'll give your son <laughs> one of these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what toy is that? PlayStation Four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have four hundred dollars. Well, it looks like your son is going to die sad, <laughs> hating his mother, his slut mother. That wouldn't buy a PlayStation for a top hatted gentleman <laughs> or suck his dick in the, top hat. <laughs> in the middle of or the dollar suck general. His dick at a five below. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, I already said I can just put my penis in one end of my top hat and you can put your face through the other and it will happen in private. <laughs> <laughs> this is that top hat with a hole in the top. No top of the top hat. It's yeah. just a cylinder. Ma'am, I brought this antique photography equipment <laughs> so you can drape and I've replaced the camera with my dick. <laughs> and you can drape it over your face. I'll even let the young this chap play with a toy while you suck my this dick. This is a simple business exchange <laughs> in the middle of the five below. This place of free market ideas. Yeah. Yeah. This marketplace. No, we got a call earlier. He was living in the Honda dealership. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the same. He broke into a magic supply store <laughs> yeah. and got a top hat. <laughs> and now he's in the five below. <laughs> and he's trying to fuck rape yeah. women. No, did he, what did he tell you? His name was like Toyota St. Clair or something. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's the yeah, same guy. He broke into the fucking magic store. <laughs> and one of the guys there obviously was told him about libertarianism. <laughs> yeah, I we get a lot so of now he's trying to rape and tell yeah, people about we, the free market. We get a lot of calls about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been in that shopping center for about the last fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, we really don't know what to do with him. How about so, a guy with Down syndrome who goes into a coma in 1998 and he comes out of the coma? <laughs> they're like, good news, you're not retarded anymore. He's like, I'm not. And they're like, no, you're intellectually disabled. <laughs> 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 I'd love an episode of Shark Tank where it's like all of them pass and it's only the FUBU guy. And it's like, Damn, a, gr- it's like, yeah, it's like a girl. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she got like, she's like cookies by Melissa, <laughs> and he's like two hundred thousand dollars, ten percent take, but you got to suck my dick right now. <laughs> I want that same thing, but with Mister. And Wonderful. then just like dramatic shots of the woman's face, and then up close on him, tenting his fingers as they cut the commercial break. Yeah, he's not smiling bum, bum, at bum, all. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Coming up on Shark Tank, <laughs> will Melissa suck his dick? <laughs> this guy's driving an Uber singing that to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for New York. <laughs> These lights will inspire you. <laughs> Just paying off his $9 million taxi medallion. <laughs> Poor fellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this city is what dreams are made of. <laughs> Let's hear it for New York. I saw an Italian guy on the train today. 
mm-hmm. like real beefy, but like only chest and buys. Hell you know, yeah. one of those guys. Mm-hmm. And he had clearly had like nipple p- bars yes. piercing <laughs> underneath his like tight white shirt and like, you know, just the freshest haircut. And then a sleeve of Frank Sinatra and his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Sinatra's mom or his own mother? <laughs> It's like they're like a clearly portrait. a real black and white picture. Yeah, a, a, a photo like a photo realistic portrait of Frank Sinatra on his bicep, and then it looped around with flowers and shit to his mom. And I only he, knew the it was guy's a, mom or Frank Sinatra's mom. His, his own mom. Oh, because some woman was awesome. like, it was a very nice tattoo, and some yeah. woman was like, "Is that your mom?" And he's like, "Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah." That's, he's like, "Where'd you get that?" He's like, "I got it in Queens. My cousin, he's uh, he's an artist. You that's know? so good." But I can't imagine a more Italian tattoo. That, that's what I was gonna say. It's like. That guy is an alien. Jersey Mike's is mic. like, it, it, yeah, I've gone there a couple of times, and it's it's one of those places where you're like, oh, I could have just made this at home. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like curly fries you could literally buy from the grocery it's store. It's a and step bake. above Subway. I was in one. It's hot sandwiches. I was in one in Los Angeles one time, and I overheard one of the employees like talking to some other guy. Either I think this is a while ago, so it was either somebody like a customer, or, but he's overheard it, and he's like, yeah, yeah, actually, it's it's pretty cool because um, we actually got to go to New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been eating my own cum. To That's basically stem cells. Mm-hmm. If you're, if a girl has her period in your mouth and you eat your own cum, mix that up. Yeah. That's a baby, basically. A girl will never have her period in my mouth or anywhere near me. As but if you the mix second them up, a girl starts starting with that period shit, she's kicked to the curb. She has to be in a little house outside. No, she's dumped. Welcome to Dump City. Oh, oh you dump every girl that gets her period? Every, yeah, <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> you're going to come, you're going to try and have a period with me? <laughs> Bitch. No. You're getting pregnant and then an abortion. <laughs> Every, Every month. month. <laughs> Every damn month. <laughs> what about birth control? Never. No. Don't, not, not, no. I don't unnatural. like the way it fucks with the bitch's juices. That's you know true. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like the way yeah. the pussy feels. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. I can't, I can't stand when the consistency okay, of their yeah. pussy juice is different. Uh, bitch, I don't like the way the juices feel <laughs> when you're on that mess. You got to get the marinade, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree with you, man. Yeah, me too. I would love to get a piece of pussy from <laughs> the bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, I must return this game from GameStop. I Excuse me. I only play M rated games because maybe you get a piece <laughs> of pussy. <M-rated. from> the <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, e games are for faggot babies. <laughs> a baby is anyone who's gay. <laughs> That, did you know that when the baby is born, he is gay because he cannot get a piece of pussy and does not want it? <laughs> <laughs> but when you become puberty, when you hurt fifth, first grade and you get pubes, because your final height will be 5'1". <laughs> <laughs> when you get kindergarten and you get pubes at seven. <laughs> Pop or bottom. Eating Raul. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, top or bottom? <laughs> <laughs> top or bottom? Well, I don't know how to pick if you don't tell me what, what I'm top I'm or bottom. Top or bottom top for. Or bottom <laughs> for. Just say it. For everything. <laughs> You've been topping your entire life. <laughs> you just don't know it. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, sir. <laughs> well done. Lucky. Keep that. Don't put it in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, that's your, <laughs> don't, don't That's your lucky butt, butt plug. Don't put that in your <laughs> ass. <laughs> it will become just another butt plug, <laughs> which it is. Damn, yeah. dude. How can I help you, homo? They're not implying anything. God, they why call, would a woman have a guy gyna, dude? Well, if they're pre-op or post-op. That's not what a woman has. I would love to just force people into confessions all day long. <laughs> like a priest? No, no like, like a, a shitty like cop. A shitty like a cop? cop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like a cop trying to wrap up an investigation Look, so he can just get home. say you murdered her and we'll drop all the child porn stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sign this confession and you'll go home and I'll give you $100. We'll give, we're going to take you to McDonald's <laughs> and you can meet Ronald. The Wait, Ronald. I, what do you mean? I can't weed, though. Just That's how he solves crimes. He just goes to a special ed school. Right, yeah. He's like, all right, let the, me get the best four. cop on the force. <laughs> He's got a 100% clearance rate. <laughs> <laughs> Take that one off the board. Yeah. Just testifying in court. It was at this point that the defendant, Scooter, who I've identified earlier, 
uh, uh, confided in me that he committed all 37 of the murders <laughs> in between 1981 and 1995, as outlined. <laughs> so the defense attorney's like, so you didn't mean to tell me that he confidently assured you that these were not only separate murders that happened <laughs> all across the country by different motives. One of them was just a woman that drowned in Turkey on vacation. And they were committed by him as serial acts yes. over the last 35 mm-hmm. years. Uh, yes, I would like that to say correct. that is correct. Uh, Scooter, uh, uh, would you like to affirm that? And keep in mind, yeah. meeting Ronald depends on your answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> meeting Ronald, <laughs> meeting Ronald that's a t- and the prosecutor is like, he's being judged by a jury of his peers, and it's also other retarded people. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm looking at them, I'm like, McDonald's. Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants yeah. to be Ronald? <laughs> they're like, we find the defendant McDonald's. And they're like, no, it's no, guilty no. or not guilty. <laughs> Which one means we get to go to McDonald's? Guilty. <laughs> guilty. <laughs> guilty. Is, say guilty so we can go. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> and then the, the kicker. You never bring them to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Wow. None of them ever get to you go to McDonald's. You just lie to them. Yeah. <laughs> it's good police, though. That is good, good police, police work, man. Yeah. I love those videos of the veterans that are like, you know, they came back from Iraq, like both arms, legs, or both, like one, one arm, you love dick these? gone, <laughs> yeah. the whole bottom gone, but then the, that one arm, they're just doing curls all day. <laughs> Like, yeah, what's up? I'm three foot seven, seventy eight pounds, fucking all muscle. All arm muscles. Like an all real monsters yeah. character. <laughs> My roommate just like forged all the documents and like you know like set it up for me. Sure. And then like because he taught defensive driving and like it's like some extra money on the side. He was like, hey, um, can you teach defensive driving on Monday? And I thought I meant he meant like come with him to defensive driving. I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll come with you. Yeah. And he was like, all right. And then it was like the night before he was leaving. You know, I didn't know he was leaving. He's like, hey, we should go by tonight to the club and I can show you where everything is. I'm like, cool. So we go to like Cap City and it's like 11 o'clock at night. And he's like, uh, yeah, so here's a DVD player. Here's this like, this is a filing cabinet just filled with shit, like a, like a milk crate with like papers and stuff. He's like, here's all the paperwork and stuff. And this is the binder with all the stuff in it. And he's like, there's a coffee maker. You put this in. Here's where the lights are. And he's like, so, yeah, I, I usually lock the door around 8.15. You don't let anyone in after that. Damn. And he's like, you should be good to go. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, it was like either that night or the next morning I wake up. I'm like, so are we heading over there? He's like, oh, I'm going out of town. And I was like, wait, so that was like. Instructions? Those were the instructions for <laughs> teaching eight hours of a defensive <laughs> driving course. Here's where the stuff is. And, like, Damn. this is the coffee maker. And he's like, yeah, you figure it out. You know, I was like. I guess. How'd it go? Well, I went there, and it was like, I'm making the coffee, and then it's already, like, people are showing up. So I didn't even have time to, like, look at this stuff. And then there's, like, 20 people there, and it's, like, 8 o'clock, and I'm like, welcome to defensive driving. (laughs) 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 Just put on comedians in cars getting coffee, Well, I did. I I went through. I played played every DVD, and, like, half of them are just, like, Looney Tunes (laughs) videos of, like, yeah, like, 1940s, like, you know, Donald Duck, like, gets into a traffic accident, and it's like, what did Donald do wrong? And I'm like, okay, what did you guys learn from that video? You know, and who the know. fuck takes? Do you get like points off your insurance or something, or like insurance points off your insurance? But or well, you, yeah, money you get, off, you, yeah, money off your insurance is also like uh, like or it just doesn't go up, like, right? Education or whatever. If you if you you know have like because I had to take it one time. That's, you know, uh-huh. I I took it with when Andy Ritchie was teaching it. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, like I know Andy, I'm friends with him, and I'm in the class, and Andy's like going into his stand up bits. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah. Raw. Like, don't, yeah, I'm like, don't turn it do off. Were, were all the people taking the class? Were they trying to be funny? Because um, it's like people probably no, go to that like. Because no. I I took a defensive driving class and it was a regular one, not even at a comedy club. And there were a couple people in the class mm. that were trying to make jokes and be the funny <laughs> ones. And I'm like, can we just get through the day? <laughs> I had to take yeah. it. I had to take it. Actually, I got my license suspended. I had to take it like years prior. Yeah. And uh, and there was like it was an African guy teaching <laughs> it. And there was a girl sitting next to me, but it was, we were there for like nine hours. And the African guy, he like had this verbal tick where he would start like every other sentence with for example. Oh. Even if it didn't like, you know, he'd be like, when you are driving, for example, and you come to a four way <laughs> for example, you have to decide who <laughs> is going to go first, for example. And, you know, you know, and like, so I just had like a, a note, like a note card and I started like tallying every time he like said it. And then I was like dividing it by how many minutes had passed so I could like average out like Damn. how many times he 
she said, for example, per minute. And there's this girl like just weeping next to me because she recognizes that I'm just mocking this app. <laughs> <laughs> but then there was like this like – there was like two like there was like a like a middle aged white dude that was like relatively kind of like a big guy or you know kind of like a hot headed guy but probably had like a job doing like sales for some type of computer thing that he has no idea what it is. He's just, Damn, like, I did that before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of those one of those guys. It's like yeah, I sell shit. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. So I, I was sell selling it. cars. Yeah. They'd be like, what is, what's the horsepower? I'm saying, okay, I don't know oh yeah, did you sell cars? Yeah, look, I don't. Yeah, I sold cars, but it's like yeah, look, oh I don't know God. what this. I don't know any of this computer so shit. Funny. It's gay to me, but. I saw. <laughs> I call a guy and be like, uh, "What are your thoughts on the cloud?" And they're like, "What? What are you talking about?" Yeah. I'm like, you know, like the uh, like information <laughs> in the air. And shit. Yeah. Like, what do you think about? It? They're like, "I don't know, man." Damn, teaching a defensive jog well, class. You should have opened with a compilation, of, like a live leak compilation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a live leak of people just getting wrecked. Like, I know, like, like, sound, well, like this, here the comes the boom. There was also, the there's also this yeah, like here comes uh, the boom. There was this guy from like Portugal or something who was also like kind of like a bigger dude wearing like a leather jacket and he had this shitty hair. And at one point, at one point he said something about it. he's like, you know, that's like the problem with America is that uh, you know like blah 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 blah. And the fucking white guy's like, don't start that shit in here. He's like, you don't know, like it, you can fucking leave. If you got a problem with that, you can talk to me. And he was like, about that. yes. He's like, he's, he's like, because I'm about to knock yes. your ass the fuck out. And it's like this is how you got into the. They just all had ro- they all had road rage in the class. Yeah. Yeah. The African guy is like, he's like, yes, yes, for example. <laughs> Just not blowing right past it, not doing it. Damn. These guys are about to throw bows over some like dumb like you know nine eleven bullshit. They, yeah, because this guy's like he's just heated off nine eleven stuff. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like one of those you know like just a faded flag on the back of his car. Well, see everyone like, when they're like that gave me purpose a... is being mad about nine eleven. <laughs> Like, I didn't do anything afterwards. I didn't volunteer my time. I just became racist, and that's my contribution. <laughs> oh, Never forget. Anyways. That's uh, so fucking funny. But, yeah, hey, if your dick doesn't work, uh, check out bluechew.com. This is, like, behind some black person. I think I had, like, a ruler or whatever. I was just pretending to, like, like casually measure their head. I'm trying to remember where. <laughs> <laughs> but that, like, that is just such a... Just like that's a fun, awful. That's a so fun, bad. A fun move. <laughs> Just, no, I'm just interested. I don't know. Like, yeah, dimension you gave style? him shit for end of Yeah, where that was. Where is Japan? Fuck. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> what were you measuring? But just like the like the joke is that you're like just sort of casually, sneakily trying to like measure a black person's head like in public. <laughs> told you, my my grandpa had CT. Like cl- he got it. He played at Notre Dame, cracked his fucking skull in a game, and then he his career ended. And then they just told me that recently, my family. But before that, every story about him was him just fighting people yeah. and, like, freaking out. The way he died was he woke up from heart surgery on the operating table and freaked out and tried to fight all the doctors. That's amazing. <laughs> Whoa. That is the coolest thing I've ever CTE. heard. Yeah. yeah. He was a monster, too. Damn. Yeah. They probably his... pulled the plug. They probably snipped him. They hit his <laughs> order. Like, get the fuck out of <laughs> like, yeah, he freaked out. He tried to fight us. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, every story was him just attacking people. That's fucking. And then, sick. then someone showed me a newspaper clipping with, from like the 30s, where they were like, "Yeah, he's out this week because of a head injury." It's like, dude, if they're sitting you out in 1930 because mm-hmm. of a head injury, Damn. that's a fucking serious injury. Yeah, Damn. everyone else on the team has like radiation sickness. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm letting uh, good old Uncle Sam do experiments on me. <laughs> I'm helping out the government, but no, they're not paying me. I'm, I'm helping, uh, helping the effort. Yeah, uh-huh. helping the Japs out. They're blasting me with fucking <laughs> 700 grams of ionizing radiation every morning. We gotta play Purdue yeah. this week. Yeah, my skin's all burned off. The one thing I fear most about going to prison is someone making love to my ass. <laughs> 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 we go there and we all bust in our pants together. That's a good. That's not cheating. It's not cheating if it's if busting you bust in your, your pants, pants. It's not cheating. No way. That's a genius, dude. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> we just start. We just make the thinnest pants of all time. Yeah, <laughs> we just, <laughs> pants we for just I'm gonna just become an pants, engineer, dude. My <laughs> pants fit through. You can just put the pants into the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, I mean, we brushed up against each other and I happened to come in my pants. <laughs> yeah, no, there's like a fabric dick cutout. Yeah. 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 That or you, you can, here's what you do. It's you, like a you condom make, you on make, the pants. Exactly, you make pants made out of condoms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you wear, so if you wear a condom, so it's technically busting uh, in your pants. If, your if pants it's connected, are made out if the condom is connected, connected to your to pants. 
pants made that's of the brilliant. same material. Yeah. Dude, that's a f- Shark Tank idea. Shark right Tank. <laughs> this is so we can start cheating on our girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. We made pants that are made out of latex condoms. <laughs> so you can bust <laughs> so that you can bust in your I pants just, sorry. and it's not cheating. Yeah. Mr. Wonderful. I don't know if gay guys have this problem, but would you be interested in investing? I'm not gay. <laughs> what about me makes you think that? <laughs> that the what that guy Draymond is just like crying. <laughs> and he's like, That's the most fubu shit I ever heard. <laughs> Draymond. <laughs> that, honestly, that's the most fubu shit I I ever heard on this show. <laughs> I'll give you a billion dollars. For two percent, take, take the whole company. <laughs> Dude, Just it, take it. I'm ready to ascend. And this place is himself. ten dollars. <laughs> Sucking on hard, hard dicks because I'm gay. Sucking on a man's penis for a living. <laughs> Sucking on hard ass <laughs> dicks for a living. Mm. Sleep busting every night. Nocturnal should, that should have been a reality show, Bust House. <laughs> <laughs> Bust House. <laughs> Five guys <laughs> in a house, and they're like, none of them are allowed to jack off, and it's just guys quietly jacking off on night vision camera. <laughs> and they have like a computer room, and it's like, they're just meeting in the morning, and there's a guy with his shirt off making a protein shake. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, bro, I got to talk to you, because I went to go get a glass of water last night, and I saw you busting <laughs> the computer. <laughs> bust. Like, just a tight shot of the Tyler, other Tyler, I saw you bust I swear night. I wasn't busting. I wasn't busting. I, I was edged. edging. <laughs> I edged for a while, but I didn't bust. <laughs> Tyler and Sasha debate whether he busted or not. Coming up on Bust House. <laughs> nah, dude, you couldn't let the bus. You'd have dude, to I asked you several times, stop bringing up that girl with big tits we saw. Don't and, say the word breast. Don't with that girl we saw with big boob. <laughs> don't sit and they like blur his mouth when he says tits. <laughs> Bust house. Bust house. Dude. That sounds you great. You cannot watch fucking commercials for fucking mm. bikini waxes. You cannot watch a fucking Summer's Eve douche commercial. <laughs> it gets me too fucking horny, bro. Um, it, like, Eric has some news to share with the group. Uh, the producers found out that I actually have testicular cancer, which prevents me from busting to begin with. So they're asking me to leave the show. <laughs> <laughs> the boys, go play putt-putt golf to send Eric off. <laughs> One last hang before Eric has to leave because he lied about his testicular cancer. <laughs> Bro, honestly, when I found out your nuts didn't work, I felt really betrayed, yeah. bro. Yeah, you he's know, fake as hell, I just can't dude. wait till we get back to the clubhouse and we can play <laughs> Wii. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, you people would watch it. I would legitimately watch that. <laughs> I would watch Bust House. <laughs> Honestly, I'm thinking about it. That would be a challenging thing to do. Yeah. To live it. But just they're you. just constantly beating off. No, no, no. no, no, no. Ever. But in a scenario where there's like the cameras are watching you and every yeah. time you grab your cock, it's like, wah, wah, or some no, shit. No, it's not. It's just that the, it's 10 guys in a house <laughs> and they're not supposed to beat off, but you don't get anything for not beating off. Oh. There's no That's prize. just the rule. But oh. people keep talking about how, they, how they're there to win. Yeah, so they're, they're like, I'm not here to make friends, <laughs> even I'm though here, I have. I'm here to not beat off. <laughs> I'm here to not bust. <laughs> and then they're just constantly beating off. <laughs> Yeah. Eric, I could tell that you're beating off right now. No, I'm not, dude. Mm. There was cum all over the spatula. That is think. honestly such an interesting fuck. We should pitch Bust House. Because <laughs> because I honestly would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> is there a prize or is it just like There's Jersey no Shore? no prize. There's no point to it. <laughs> There's not even... They a- have to go to work, right? The way all those shows are. No, you know, they have to work at like a No, they don't have cell phones. Oh, there's like challenges. Yeah, yeah. They're like they tried to yeah, they tried to work at the local burrito fiesta. <laughs> but Eric beat off. <laughs> <laughs> the boys immediately started beating off. <laughs> But unfortunately, they employed a pretty hot 15-year-old hostess. A 15-year-old girl was working there, and they couldn't help but take turns beating off in the bathroom. Just looking at her and closing your eyes because you would remember. Bro, we weren't in the house. (laughs) We all caved. Bro, that's my little cousin, bro. Yeah, they're just standing around in a circle, and there's tiki torches in the backyard next to the jacuzzi. (laughs) And they're like, we all promised we wouldn't bust at Burrito Fiesta. (laughs) We all said we wouldn't do it, and we all failed the challenge, and that's on all of us. 
<laughs> and, and we're going to learn and grow from this. <laughs> but um bum bum but a bum bum bust house. So does anyone get eliminated? Um no. You have no, to, right? you, you no. just get caught and everyone's so it's just, pissed at you. It's Jersey Shore, but but it's about beating on, not beating on. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rules, that's, basically, that's the, other than you. Can't that's what bust. binds these people together. Yeah, is not busting. And then at the end, they realize that they've made friendships for a lifetime. You know, and the, it's through showing that masturbation is evil, what you can accomplish by not busting. Yeah, male friendship, because mm-hmm. you know that busting gets in the way of men being friends with each other. You know, you want to you want to throw a. We're so catty. You, know, you want to throw jealous. a fucking a wrench in there? Yeah. Put a gay guy in there. Oh, my God. Well, I'll tell you what. It would be cool if one of them, his dick didn't work. I think so. And and he was tricking all of them. But then the show is sponsored by (laughs) BlueChew.com. Bust House. Blue Chew. The official Are you a gay sponsor. Man of- trying to yeah. trick straight men into sex. Yeah. <laughs> Drop some Blue Chew Blue in Chew. their drink. <laughs> yeah. If Blue Chew will make a guy's dick hard whether he wants it or not. <laughs> and if you if you see a fella you like, mix a little Blue Chew in the GHB <laughs> no. and you can drug and no. rape him. No, th- don't do that. Don't. With the help of Blue Chew. No, don't, don't, don't. We're gonna, we just our got our sponsors read. back. <laughs> we finally got our reads back. Girl, I didn't want to, to betray your trust until I found out this other bitch would let me smash. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, right. I cherish you and I love you. I want to be with you forever until I get a chance to fuck this other bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who I thought she wasn't. Interested. I thought no other girls but you wanted right. to fuck me. But then I wrote that song <laughs> and it blew up. <laughs> oh, wow. And this is meta, dude. Yeah. You wrote the song before you did it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now everybody wants to fuck me. <laughs> and I think that I should. I think I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think yeah. we got it. Dude. I love you. Yeah. I love you, but I earned more than that pussy. Uh, yeah. By, by P. Bo Bryson. <laughs> No, what's our group name? If ever I get a chance to fuck another bitch, I will. <laughs> we had a once in a lifetime, but then I found out I could fuck another bitch. If ever you're in my arms again, this time a lie about cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned my lesson, yeah. girl. I found out so my friend who is a, a legitimate psychopath told me that it will make your relationship better. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Because, because the pussy be trash. <laughs> because it, it, you it love confer- your bitch girl would you say that, that, that it confirms how much you love the person? No, I didn't say that. What was the point you made then? Do I it in the that. song so it's not about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, I did not say <laughs> this, but I was thinking yes, about my did. dad. <laughs> and he was with, he's been with the same bitch for 40 years. <laughs> and what if one time he just got pussy <laughs> and then decided that he was already with his soulmate? That's true. You should be able to fuck someone else every 10 years to check in. 40 years is a long time. 40, 40 years, years is too long, long for too no long pussy. Long time to fuck the same pussy. <laughs> 40 years is a long the non- time. The poly anthem. <laughs> <laughs> the non-monogamy anthem. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love you, but your pussy is trash. Anyways, yeah, if you could write a song if like that. If I could just fuck another bitch if every I could once just in fuck a while. Just one extra bitch. <laughs> That's all Just I'm one asking. More bitch. <laughs> Just let me fuck one extra bitch. I only I want one, one more extra pussy. I just want to fuck one more pussy. Yeah, we, should, we can get like a big uh, church choir. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a big or uh, like an orchestra. One more. You pussy know I love me. you, but I can't deal with just one pussy. <laughs> you know I gotta have just one extra pussy. <laughs> 
Damn, dude, we got a couple in here. Yeah, yeah. That I really whole like. Com- I think compilation. We have an album. Mm-hmm. Time Warner Classics presents. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Frakes. <laughs> have you ever wanted to fuck another bitch? <laughs> it's just beyond belief. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's, 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 it's both a, a compilation of songs mm-hmm. about cheating, but it's also the show. It's, beyond a, belief. it's an episode of Beyond Belief. Yeah, it's just him riding up on that bicycle. Have you ever wanted to fuck another bitch? Totally true. Yeah. 100% correct. How about the one about the guy that cheated on his wife with cancer? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> a similar guy did something that cool years ago in <laughs> Sacramento. In the 1980s, a man in Sacramento got an extra pussy. <laughs> Just stories of guys <laughs> cheating and getting away with it. <laughs> yeah. VH1 storytellers. Yeah. I wrote this song. Uh, what about the one who, what about the guy whose wife's car broke down while he was at home having sex with her sister? <laughs> <laughs> that well, one's true too It's true They're all true Yeah People should be with each other for a lifetime mm. What about the one uh, What about the bitch that thought she could cheat on her husband as well And everything turned out okay We made it up (laughs) (laughs) It's completely false (laughs) Women are to be conquered (laughs) (laughs) Totally false Yeah What about the guy that lied to his wife And said he entered a pussy eating contest At the state fair (laughs) (laughs) And that's why his face smelled like pussy That's why he had a bunch of pussy juice in his beard It's true (laughs) It's true (laughs) (laughs) I love it what about the guy that decided to not cheat on his wife and he remained happily married for the rest of his life? Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> Completely <laughs> false. Not, not this time. No chance. That one's bullshit. <laughs> that one's complete That one's shit. a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more pussy. Coming up on Beyond Belief. Give me one more little taste of clip. A guy that was able to fuck... A woman who works at Panda Express and his <laughs> wife never found out about it. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. Isn't that the nice yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, All of them have the same song. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond Belief, a show where guys get extra pussy <laughs> <laughs> and their wives don't find out about it. <laughs> By Jonathan Frakes. Honey, what are you watching? Nothing. I'm watching a fucking watching show. show. You fucking bitch. Stop. Oh, so I can't watch the show now. So the He's show. He's taking notes. He's got a fucking legal pad yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So now the shows describe uh, okay. my behavior. Time. That I can't watch shows. Oh. I guess. Oh. I guess I oh, you watch the L word. You're a fucking lesbian, oh, huh? That's you, how it yeah. works. You watch Sesame Street with the baby. Oh, I'm I guess. a muppet now. I would think you're just a fucking blue bitch who lives in a trash can or something. <laughs> so I watch one little show about one cheating sh- on your wife and, and it's take my notes. favorite show. And it's because my- I like the guy from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> because I think he's a good actor. Sue me for liking him, bitch. Yeah, he sue, is. Co- take me to fucking court. No, and it sue does me for count that. as acting. He's doing a good performance as this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess Dude. it's easy to act now. You fucking do. Oh. You host a show. Oh, you're. Oh, a you good can host act. a show oh, now. You're good at acting. Maybe it's because you're the one who cheated. Maybe it's because you're acting like a fucking bitch right now that you're good. I'm at I'm sorry. Acting. I went too far with that one, I'm but sorry. I. You need to understand how angry you make me. <laughs> What about the guy who was angry so he cheated on his wife for getting Oh, oh wait, wait, just <laughs> clicking, getting the, the, the remote. No, not this one. <laughs> yeah. just You're right, it's a bad show, it's a bad show. <laughs> and I, I want to fuck a whore that's not you. What about the guy who pretended to have cancer so he could fuck a bunch of nurses? The nurses. <laughs> So he could spend weeks in the hospital <laughs> fucking all the nurses. They have legally that if you press the button, it's part of care. They, yeah. And they're on it's, and they're on call. It's in the Hippocratic Oath. A similar story it. happened in Saudi Arabia. The like Hippocratic Oath, nineteen seventies. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, you could film season after season of that show. Mm-hmm. They don't even. It's not even cheating. They just get yeah, extra beyond bitches. belief in Iran. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're like, hi, I am Ian, uh, Jahan Jahanjar. <laughs> Uh, freaks, <laughs> and this is this is beyond the belief, and uh, this is a story that is a Jewish man who <laughs> took a baby and he fucked it and drank the uh, blood from the baby so he could make breast milk himself, <laughs> and it worked, <laughs> and he sold the breast milk to a uh, Muslim and Christian families, but the milk was poison, and for ten thousand years they become uh, slaves to the Jew. That one was true. 
That is that one is a true story. A story about a woman d- uh, driving a car. And there's a woman <laughs> totally that, false. That one is fake. That one is <laughs> complete <laughs> fiction. About the story about the man who is gay, and he, but he he lives happily in Iran. <laughs> we made that up. <laughs> No, Clint has two it. separate threesomes in the movie. Oh, damn. Okay. Never a man mind. of 89 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he write that and direct it? Yeah, he did it all, baby. Respect, he makes a bro. movie a year. The man is a machine. He makes a movie a year, and in this one, he got two threesomes as an old ass man. And it seemed like the. the, the it and it was like the message sex. of the movie you know was like, this his, is his How many farewell. times his handlers have uh, probably had to been like, we're not letting you make a George Zimmerman movie. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want to play. I want to play the son of a bitch to put that animal down. And they're like, no. He does it in a fat suit, right. <laughs> just in brown face yeah. in a fat suit. My name's Spick Hitler. <laughs> Listen, buddy, I'm Spick Hitler. This is the night of long knives. Should we have Vinnie Beetle back on the podcast? Well, I heard, Honestly, uh, literally, I yes. heard yeah. there's some drama. There's there some is trouble drama. in paradise. We should let him fucking have his say. He rules, dude. I mean, he like robbed all of Bam's artist. fans. <laughs> and now he's like, now he's gone to Disney World. <laughs> and he goes, goes to Disney <laughs> World and bought a, a, a Mickey Mouse fitted. <laughs> 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 Which, by the way, he's posting, kudos. He's posting Instagram videos. He's like, I don't have any of the money. <laughs> I'm just here in Disney World buying the most Vinnie Beetle products. I mean, kudos to Disneyland because it's A like... flat brim Mickey Mouse fitted. Because yeah. the that white rock. trash is going to take their fucking non-married family, their children out of wedlock, to Disneyland. And it's yeah. going to be like the biggest deal of their lives. Look, for some people, buying a ticket to an event... Promoted by Vinnie Beetle and at Bam Margera's house, that's Bitcoin. Yeah. You <laughs> took a huge risk. Yeah, you lost. And the payoff, I mean, yes. the payoff is that instead of it going to a million dollars, you get to get shit on in a bathtub filled with <laughs> piss by fucking. Yeah, that's what you missed out. That's uh, what you're by, mad by you didn't get himself. to do. Yeah, honestly, like, there was I... an opportunity for that to happen. <laughs> For like a Swedish screamo band <laughs> to take a dump on your dick in the half pipe, <laughs> you know. But yeah, in, but instead, you got played by Vinny Beetle, who took your money, to, who went to Disney World with mm-hmm. your money, with your money, which is just such a funny thing, you know. It's Honestly, like it's I'm... not like he escaped the fucking Havana, right? <laughs> he's he's at the Tower of Terror. Yeah. <laughs> He's taking pictures with Cinderella <laughs> in a fucking like, you know, with like a Donald Duck branded wallet chain, <laughs> just b- blowing all the money in a gift shop Incredible. at Disney World. Yeah, he's buying $19 chicken tenders he's, with your yeah. fucking. He's taking your money and going to Disney World <laughs> and buying an $85 fucking why so serious hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking rocks, dude. Yeah, Sweet. honestly, like for anyone I've ever met in my entire life, I think perhaps I had the least respect for him. <laughs> you know, and and now that I found out that this whole thing was a scam, uh-huh. I kind of really like him. Bro. I do too, man, because he's like, you know, what he is is you can be such a fraud that you're authentic. Yep. You know, yeah. I mean, Vinny doesn't know any better. Vinny, no, like, the doesn't. only thing Vinny can do is like be a con man. Forever, yeah. you know? is he even? Th- yeah, I guess. No, he's a con man. I mean, he's definitely a con. But man. did he fall into it? Like, how did this happen? I think he's pulled it before. Yeah, it's a bunch of people warned me about him whenever, like, I I first did it. Oh, and really? We had him on. Yeah. Oh, respect then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People are like, hey, he he's like, he, he finds t- like new comics and then like. I guess Did ask you? them to invest in a show. That's awesome. So he's like, if you give me two thousand dollars <laughs> in eight weeks, I'll turn it into six thousand dollars. <laughs> the premise is that he needs the money to set up like some bringer show or something, <laughs> and then it just doesn't. That's pay awesome, people. dude. Yeah, no. If you go to his Facebook, he's like, he's like, just had an like sickest hot dog at fucking skate park hot dogs. <laughs> There's someone in the comments that's like, Vinny, my brother has cancer and he needs that $6,000. Brogdon's going to the Pacers. I know, man. I know. I was trying to be a professional. I saw Sorry. it. Fuck. I'm, that sucks. I mean, you know what? Fuck, fuck Milwaukee. And I don't Bogdanovich care. is going to Utah. Okay, sorry. Really? Bogdanovich to Utah is actually nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Utah is interesting. They're be all right. Fuck. Gian- I mean, whatever. Giannis is just going to leave in a couple years. That's fine. But Milwaukee's fucked. Fucking, they chose fucking Bledsoe over Brogdon. Why the fuck did they give him that extension anyway? 
I'm gonna be a pro and we're gonna talk about how fucking much of a bitch Vinny, Vinny Beetle yeah, is. Yeah, back to Vinny. <laughs> yeah, what a what <laughs> what a fucking character. <laughs> yeah, let's have him back on. Mm-hmm. I wanted was to he get scamming his side that, of the story. that fat boy that he was with, the like the open micer, his friend? Elias or whatever his name is. No, was. I mean I don't think the I guy's evil. He's Eli- just like, Elazar. Elazar. No, he's just a guy that's like, you know, I mean, yeah, he's a con artist. He's like needs to get his money. I mean, it's not like he's rich. No. Right. He's, you know, survi- he's just he's surviving and this is like how he knows how to like that's like, you know, he just drags people down with that's him. That's what makes <laughs> it that's what makes it kind of appealing. It's like he's he like, yeah, he's like an absentee father that's like I'm going to make it there for your birthday this year, Sarah. <laughs> and then Sarah, like, you know, she's like, this has happened every year of her life. Of course. But she's 14 now, and she's like, maybe she's a grown up, and she can connect with her dad on some level. Yeah. That, you know, he, like, maybe he'll, maybe he, she can just show him that, she, like, she loves him anyways. And then, he, you know, he's like, sorry, I had to go to, I was selling fucking uh, 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 n- nitrogen balloons in the parking <laughs> lot of uh, WrestleMania. <laughs> So I, <laughs> I missed your birthday again because I have this. But this, I had a nice ni- scam going. I, yeah, I this nitrogen <laughs> balloon deal because I was trying to save up for a bus ticket <laughs> so I could take you to Disney World. <laughs> and then she's like seeing the pictures of him on at Disney World by himself. <laughs> Dude, with if some, he's by himself, yeah, that would be the best thing of all uh, time. No, yeah, with some woman he met at fucking like, uh, 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 like happy hour at TGI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I actually run the karaoke here. Thirty-seven <laughs> 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 year old divorced Latina. <laughs> Vinny, you stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I wanna, girl, stop playing. I want to take you to Disney World. I want to take you to the I'm most romantic you place to Disney on Earth. World. And then he's like looking at his phone. They're in the fucking like Motel 6, <laughs> 35 minutes outside of Orlando. <laughs> Just, it's just my man's in <laughs> Jupiter, Florida. Yeah, yeah. Just not even close to it. And then, like in the yeah, in the fucking the Econo Lodge in Kissimmee, Saint Cloud. Yeah, a down like it's a, nice. Right, an hour outside of a, a, a an evacuation route <laughs> in the middle of the woods, and he's looking at his phone. He's like, "Fuck, it's my daughter's birthday. I forgot." <laughs> <laughs> He's like that kind of guy. He's like, babe, can I can I hold your phone? Yeah, yeah. Because his fucking service has gone like, off. Yeah, right. He's like, can I call? But can I call my daughter from your phone? Mm-hmm. And it's like perfectly clear on her phone. But he's like. Listen, I love you, but I'm breaking up, and the service isn't good. I'm on someone else's phone, and like, I've I've been trying so hard to get to you, but my phone's messed up, and the, now the battery, great, the battery's low on this one, but I love you, and I can't wait to see you, and we're gonna make it up. I'm for gonna you. make this up. Well, to I'm you, gonna baby. make it up for you, like, cause you're my girl, you're my number one, and I can't wait to see you and get home. And uh, can you put your mom back on the phone real quick? Yeah, listen, uh, I'm not going to be able to do the child support this month. <laughs> and I would appreciate it if you didn't report me because I need my driver's license for work. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 100%. Yeah. What do you mean you saw the pictures of me at Shoney's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I can't have dinner now. <laughs> Shoney's. <laughs> He's posting pictures at Shoney's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he rules, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Just to be that, yeah, I mean... No, He'll I, never have more than $5,000. Yeah. I texted, <laughs> him, I texted him. I was like, you're like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys, but <laughs> yeah. you're like a real guy. You're like if Ricky was like absolutely real. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. Everybody got a refund for the Castle Bay Office house. <laughs> Mm-hmm. As many people as it can, please hit me up if you have not gotten a refund to that party because I know I spoke to at least 50 of you guys. <laughs> and hit me up and I'll send you his way because if people are going to his house saying that I never gave them their money back for the party, well, I wasn't in control of those funds. So as far as the comedy shows that we booked, I am completely responsible for producing those events. Um, and Bam, with the pressure of his family and Steve-O and everybody, <laughs> Steve-o. forced me to cancel everything. And Steve-O forced Vinny week, to cancel. He didn't want to make the Instagram videos for unless I sent him more money. And I wasn't sure if he was going to show up sober or not. Because in New York City, as you see on TMZ, he went crazy and canceled two shows in one night. I so, saw that. my fault. But he's got to own it, too. Mm-hmm. Thank you. He mm-hmm. just wants the truth out there. Yeah, that's a shitty position to be in. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, absolutely. Mm. Well, prayers up for Vincent Beetle. I hope he's getting his cock sucked in on, on at uh, the Epcot Center. Yeah. And I hope uh, he returns home strong and mighty and free of controversy. And he's welcome to come air his side of the story. Yeah. Well, he's such a talented comic, you know. Yeah. Well, he We're all such troubled people. You what know? we got? Hold on. Nick's Us got clowns. Something. No, no, he says, there's another post here. It says, Dear Bam, Bam Fans DM I'm contacting everyone who bought tickets to make this right. Although I didn't organize the event, we will make sure everyone is happy. Mm. So I don't know if he even organized that party. I mean, Bam's also a fucking lunatic. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's very possible that he's mm-hmm. just... Yeah. You know. No, um, I'm team Bam for life, for for sure. Not me, dude. I'm Team Don Vito. What? My my loyalties <laughs> died when Don Vito died. <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. He was set up by those children he molested. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they People were fucking talk plants, about that dude. Enough. They were plants. They everyone wants to see kids lie. A strong man taken down. A exactly. pillar of his community. Wait, she's Oprah spiritual advisor. Is that yeah. true? And she like wrote a bunch of books. Oh, that's about like awesome. Yeah, so yeah. she's just some dumbass. Dude, I love that fucking yeah, yeah, soundbite yeah. bit from <laughs> totally that soundbite bit from the uh, from the debate where she's like, she's like, we don't have a healthcare country uh, system in this country. We have a sickness care system yep. in this country. I, that what? sounded good. And it's like, I don't know what that like, means, no, but it's like when you go to like like a family event and like everyone's drunk and you're on. It's like I'll tell you what he is. He's a pussy grabber. <laughs> and then everyone just kind of glosses over it yep. because it's yeah. like, oh, you've had like nine mimosas. And you're drunk again. Yeah. And we right. don't want to start a big family fight. Be- yeah, so Beth, everyone please. has to ignore it. Come Beth, on. Beth, Beth shut. We listened to your whole thing about how you can drink battery acid to cure cancer. <laughs> yeah. And you haven't kept a job for over two years. You, yeah. And the entire not family not is supporting you. All. Right. Yeah. You're, you, you still think it's Woodstock. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then you get that picture of Jackie's. Like crawling out of this car, covered and you in see blood. Her dumper. She's got a fat ace. Yeah, that's what that's what she it, was everyone thick. thought about her. <laughs> yeah, you could see her pussy in her ass. <laughs> everyone forgets yeah. that. Just pure pussy. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to talk about. Everybody talks about frame two sixty two of the Zapruder film, <laughs> but I would like to draw your attention to frames one thirty four <laughs> through one thirty eight. <laughs> 134, Jackie's begins exiting the vehicle. 135, a gust of wind blows her dress up towards her withers. 136, the pussy and ass and vagina begin to be exposed. 137, fully exposed. 138, we can see into the first lady's vagina. 134, 135, 136. Play it again for the jury. (laughs) Step back now. 135, 136, 135, 136. I want you to look at this. And Mm -hmm. do not forget your fallen king's wife's pussy. (laughs) Like, are you still... Thank you, that's very nice. Does this have to do with the case? (laughs) Do not forget your fallen king. Yeah, it's me, George George Washington. (laughs) Donald Trump raped me, and when you get raped, it's sexy. I don't feel like a victim. I feel like a sexy piece of ass. But he was fantasizing about, and it hurt, but at the same time, it was sexual. But this wasn't sexual. It was sexy, but not sexual. (laughs) All right, we'll be back with Gary Busey. (laughs) (laughs) Promoting George Washington on Showtime. Am I allowed to take my shoes off in here? (laughs) I got my my dogs are barking. I walked up two flights of stairs to get to the studio. We're uh, we're on the ground floor. There's no stairs. There's no stairs. Mr. Busey. There's no stairs, Mr. Busey. Yeah, it was by the the dressing rooms here. (laughs) I think you raped me in the dressing room. (laughs) On the stairs. On this, you rape me in the stairwell next to the dressing room. <laughs> uh, Gary, I didn't rape you. Problem is, <laughs> is yeah. I just love gambling, and it's like yeah. winning or losing. Who gives a shit? As long it's as I'm, rush. as long as I'm doing the gambling. Should we go to Atlantic not City? Not sitting on the sidelines crying about my losses. <laughs> there we go. I'd rather lose it all uh-huh. and fucking push be, it to the, be limit. In the house. Come on, Tony. Limit. I just got one. I just had like a bad streak. Tony. 
<laughs> Come on, this is my livelihood, Tony. Remember when we went David Seferino's park? Don't. And you were we? I was hiding in the car because those guys were kind of coming at me. Come on, Tony. You know, come on, we play ball together. Don't you reminisce with me? Yeah. Don't you reminisce with me, you fucking snake? <laughs> The uh, fuck that moment where you realize, Come on, the Tony, m- I introduced you to Pepper Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever fucking bring her up I to me. I fucking love Pepper Ann. I fucking love Pepper Ann. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fuck don't you <laughs> He's choking him. Yeah. Don't you ever fucking don't you ever fucking bring, bring her again. up to me again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know she died in a school shooting. <laughs> I know there's I know there's a couple of uh, moolies came into her school. <laughs> And shot up her specifically. Yeah, that's randomly. right. That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> and I don't want to fucking take up. <laughs> he just chokes him with his bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. I introduced you to Pepper Ann. I gave you Pepper Ann's phone number. <laughs> I got it out of the customer. I took it out of the, the I got it off her credit card statement when she came in one time. You saw her in the security cameras. You saw her buying uh, volleyball Tony, equipment. I told you she was 12 years old. <laughs> and you said, yeah, but she's too cool for seventh grade. Girl <laughs> <laughs> uh, like that, she's too cool for seventh grade. Too cool for <laughs> seventh grade. <laughs> mm, Tony, I got to tell you, I uh, don't think you should be having sex with a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> None of my business. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I remember one time I had sex with a twelve-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do the. Vo- I can only do the mannerisms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You anything. look like still. You're doing still face. Yeah, I can do still face. I can. You're do wearing a wig. Face. Back in the army, I used to fuck twelve-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> in the service, Tony. You want I should whack that twelve-year-old? You've been fucking. <laughs> Tone. Shut the fuck up, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> you keep a fucking name out of your mouth, <laughs> well, Tony. I didn't fucking say a name. I said that girl. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher, why is Tony mad? I some twelve year old he's been having sex with is <laughs> I don't know, there's a gambling addict or something he needs money for Bitcoin and <laughs> he's the only one that can talk to her. They broke up. Something like that. I don't fucking know. I gotta work on my screenplay. <laughs> What if they that? made him suck little Vietnamese boys' cocks in the thing? In what? In prison? The prison. Like, uh, they make you gay as a punishment. No, because he would have been like, I'm not sucking them before my men get a chance. I'm not sucking them before my men get a chance. The kid on no the river. cock cried. for me until my men <laughs> suck some time. Until my boys get some of Get that. a taste of that little boy I cock. I want my boys to fuck before I do. <laughs> <laughs> Break his fucking shoulders yeah. if that's how it's going to be. Megan McCain's like fucking... When my dad refused to suck his little boy's dick, <laughs> he did it because he didn't want universal health care in this country. <laughs> and the fucking chair just breaks around her. She just crashes through the floor. Ah, uh, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Megan has gone Megan has crashed through the studio onto the set of Frasier 2. <laughs> Megan has she has crashed Drew Carey. Yeah. She had the set of prices right. Drew Carey uh, is now in her vagina, yeah, yeah, suffocating. I'm, I'm sorry, folks. Megan McCain is now crashed Drew down into the Daily Show. <laughs> the nine floors. She's killed every TV host <laughs> crashing through the floors like, like a cartoon piano. Would. But it's a black guy calling his cousin. He's like... Hey, Adolf, it's your cousin, Jimmy Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, you got to hear this shit about the Jews. <laughs> yeah. But Listen, we don't need the context. I don't know. Who cares? Don't it, yeah. That's good enough. There's a, a black cousin of Adolf, <laughs> of Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Being like, man, I just heard the craziest <laughs> shit about the Jews. <laughs> yeah. A Stormfront guy goes back in time. <laughs> yeah, he goes back in time and somehow enters like a talent show for black people. <laughs> <laughs> and his talent is telling the truth about the Jews. And, yeah, and then the bl- one of the black guys calls his cousin Adolf Hitler. He's like, "Man, you got I, I got that funky sound in 1937 or yeah. whatever the fuck. That funky sound you've been looking for, cousin Hitler. 
<laughs> cross, they have cross Atlantic phones <laughs> in the black community in yeah. 1934. Hey, listen, something like that. <laughs> I love it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hillary, <laughs> will you double team this eight year old with me? <laughs> that is how they kept the spark alive. Yeah. Bill, I can't believe you cheated on me with an adult. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. We're gonna. I called up Jeff. I goofed up, Hill. Uh, we're gonna take we're an. We're gonna extended, go to the island. We're going to the island. I'm gonna make it up to you. We're gonna kill fuck a baby. <laughs> oh, oh, Bill, you always know how to win me back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just chilling on Jeffrey Epstein's <laughs> island. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling on the Lolita Express. <laughs> uh, you really didn't have to pretend to be gay. I've been having gay sex. Yeah, we were doing a, it's the Highlander is hiding from the Kurgan by pretending to be gay for three thousand years. <laughs> I've been hiding in New York, having gay sex to hide from the Kurgan. Hide from the what? The, the Kurgan. Kurgan. What's That's a Kurgan? The Highlander. The, the Kurgan's the bad Villain. guy from Highlander. Oh, God, I don't um, know enough. You d- I mean, I was uh, going to find you. I wasn't. That's fine. I don't care that you're gay, but it, I am going to kill you. I just want to kill you. I don't <laughs> have a price. not because you're gay. <laughs> but you found me, even but though I was having even gay sex. Now I've got the taste for it, and I can't <laughs> stop. <laughs> now that I've broken the seal... <laughs> What? Once an animal tastes human flesh, what? yes, it's like a, it's like a Pringle. <laughs> Once you have one, you can't stop having all the gay sex. Um, I don't you, really think that's the, how it works. To the point where you even want to put a Pringles can in your ass and fuck the Pringles guy. Okay, listen, man, I'm trying to kill you. I so just, you want to fight, or I really just want to cut your head off. But <laughs> now I'm worried there's a bunch of cum in your throat. <laughs> I don't want any of the cum to get on me. My sword, I, will, I do not want to come on my sword. Listen, uh, tell Ramirez, uh, we'll just call a rain check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you dry out, stop having gay sex. Ah, now. I see the have gay sex to scare off the Kurgan plan worked. <laughs> Snow, the cloud. <laughs> Do you question my judgment in forcing you to have gay sex with me for 3,000 years? No, you were right, Ramirez. I should have never questioned you. (laughs) Because if I had it, if right now, I would definitely have toothless little mustache, bald ponytail. Oh, God. And I would be, yeah, I would have the whole nine. It would be incredible. Yeah. Unfortunately... The Lord didn't smile upon me in that way. I mean, I still think you should grow it out. Matt does. Matt's got the best hair. Matt's hair is brutal. It's <laughs> 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 but I have even shittier hair than Matt, if you can believe it. I love his hair, dude. I love that look. It works for him because he's like a fucking mad scientist looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's smart and shit. Yeah. Smart guys can have. Some I mean, yeah. If like you're that. just gonna go like, oh, I don't care at all about it. Yeah, you know, but that's I, his whole aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't really. I buy my shoes from a fucking grocery store. Or, right. You know that kind I of keep shit. Gum in my wallet. <laughs> 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 like that kind of guy. But all the news about this stand while it was opening is like. Yeah, we put a fucking we, put, yeah, we got a, a whole, we got oven. a pizza oven. We got a Chrissy can throw a grand piano. Chrissy, yeah, we got a fucking <laughs> a chandelier flown yeah. in from my grandmother's museum in Italy. <laughs> it cost eighty million dollars, and we're gonna throw we're gonna be throwing. Chrissy broke it because he threw a pie through it already. <laughs> he was tossing pizza pies around before the grand opening. He got a bunch of drywall in the in the chandelier from tossing. Tossing too many pies, slapping pies. We got a we got a sledding simulator. <laughs> we cut a hole through the top floor, and there's a conveyor belt with a snowblower, and you get on a sled, and you could just sled forever. Yeah, it cost eighty eighty five billion dollars. <laughs> but the fucking club rules. You guys got to check it out. Come see our shows there. Just go see fucking shows there. 
And they got the small room that's awesome. That's where I've been doing my show. Mm-hmm. The little room's fun. Um, and they got a big boy down there. We so. got a laser tag set up. We got laser tag. <laughs> we got we rented out the, the, fr- the Napolitano the, style. We, we rented out the, the, the first 35 floors of the building to turn into a laser tag, the fully <laughs> simulated Chris Kyle <laughs> laser tag experience. It's free for anybody that buys two drinks. <laughs> It'd be funny to send, like, order, like, one of those sushi girls from the place, and then they just send, like, just some huge fat bitch. <laughs> well, that's what you want. It's what you just, order. More sushi. With, more sushi. Yeah. You with, know? Uh, no, with, with, like, uh, I was going to say, like, one of those, like, um, those, like, catered subs. <laughs> <laughs> the big white trash bitch with a yeah. fucking hoagie. Well, hello. How you doing? <laughs> Y'all want sandwich pieces? <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna eat these sandwich pieces off my? You're, you're the one gonna eat it off my pussy, ain't and you? you? I know you. You look, <laughs> you fucking dirty. You, I see it in your little eyes. <laughs> no, that ain't blue cheese. It's varicose veins. <laughs> no, I, I know you trying to lick up that blue cheese. It's varicose veins. <laughs> hey, why ain't nobody eating the sandwiches? <laughs> I got a special one for you, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then just a regular Japanese one with the sushi, but you get both of them. You yep. order two of those women. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're like, listen, we really only have the one. Yeah. But we met this woman who said she's down. <laughs> <laughs> we gave her like nine clonopins. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do a thing to me no more. They said, yeah, they said I could get the clonopins and they bought me a couple of scratch offs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're paying me in scratch offs. Yeah. No, my asshole filled with Sierra Mist <laughs> if you're trying to. <laughs> I'm a soda machine too. Y- y'all thirsty? <laughs> if y'all want, I got Sierra Mist. Y'all can of- suck Sierra Mist <laughs> diet out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't make breast milk anymore. I just got vanilla Coke and mellow yellow in it. <laughs> yeah, if you do a pancake bar, I got syrup in my pussy. <laughs> Who wants fucking Twizzler pubes? I got twi- I got nerds rope shoved up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's our new business venture. It's a huge bit. <laughs> Big <laughs> bitch catering. Yeah, just but like Levante tattooed on Oh, her, yeah. F- from her shoulder across her tip. <laughs> <laughs> Lamarcus. Starting on the end of her bicep. Lamarcus outside. and then the dates of his sentence and the end of, <laughs> end of, end of term underneath. <laughs> Aggravated assault one. <laughs> Aggravated assault two. <laughs> Aggravated assault three. Or thought to myself, I'm going to make a meme. Well, you became a meme when you found that bird. You became a nerd ass meme. Yeah. You were like on like. Oh, wow yeah, but forums. that's not. He can't control that. It's just getting like black heart emojis from fat girls on Instagram. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a bird. Yeah. Uh, I'm a witch. I'm a witch, and I'm I the, can sense a spiritual connection. I'm the connection. wicked witch of Wendy's. <laughs> 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 and I, I'm like, sorry, I gotta take my blue shoes. Sorry, uh-huh. sorry. Ta- man. Just talking to you is making my sorry, cock my soft. My dick is getting soft <laughs> and small. <laughs> oh, where it's am retracting I? Retracting into my body. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a, a dick episode, and I need my blue chew pills. <laughs> like an EpiPen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, quick, his dick is getting too soft. <laughs> Mr. Epstein is Jewish. He might have built his own synagogue. That's <laughs> that's, that's like, <laughs> weird. I, now, synagogue. now I'm actually <laughs> turning the corner on that guy. <laughs> yeah. You know what else? hilarious that they said at one point that golden dome shit blew off during a hurricane so i love the idea of like fucking that's how he gets caught there's some there's like a helicopter patrolling because of the hurricane and it just blows off and you just see epstein <laughs> looking up and he's fucking a child he's like oh brother <laughs> uh, i remember how homophobic people were in baltimore city where after we lost the poly city game which is like a big deal uh, we played at Raven Stadium and everything. The star quarterback was looking through the booklet, like where they have like ad, you know, different the program and different people put out ads to support. Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Man, what the fuck? The Gay Straight Alliance put out an ad. Mm-hmm. That's why we lost because <laughs> gay people he got mad at that. He got mad that gay people supported us. Yeah. yeah, I was looking at there was like a thread where somebody was like, "What's this temple on Epstein's Island?" And somebody just posted a picture of a mosque, and it's like looks like another temple where they worship a pedophile. And it's like, get out of here. Yeah, just get out of here. This is yes. You're on some first level shit. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. Need to get the fuck out. <laughs> yes, yeah. not you're your playing checkers, brother. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <We're over here. laughs> you need to get the fuck out. <laughs>
As one place Islamophobia is not welcome is further to the right than Islamophobia. <laughs> <laughs> we are so past Muslims, yeah. brother. You fucking dumb piece of shit. <laughs> Take Q101. Mm-hmm. This is a fucking 400 level grad course right mm-hmm. now. <laughs> Some Ramen. Italian guy watching that happen. He's buying fucking ravioli with his food stamp card. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! This is this. It's a fucking disgrace. <laughs> this is a disgrace. My to- little cousin Paolo, he made those noodles off the with the the sweat off the back of his hands. <laughs> If Robert De Niro were here yeah. to see this. To Italians, everything is sacrifice. Everything you do <laughs> at, after you get out of bed is some kind of sacrifice. <laughs> he put his pants on with the sweat of his brow. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, well, he had to go outside. and he went outside. <laughs> and he did it. Despite the fact that there was a door in the way, <laughs> nobody nobody could tell him no. He wasn't going outside that day. That's true. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Every single day that man would have breakfast. <laughs> Nothing would stop. Crack the eggs, Did unless he- a man. Would stop at the show. Oh, when I was your age, I did (laughs) (laughs) push-ups. Color me Baghdad. That's that's where where they're at right now. But that's still a lot of time, bro. We're in 2020. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I used to... uh, me and, when me and Chris lived together, we didn't have a trash can. We just had a, a, a section of the a apartment. pile, just a, a pile, cor- a trash literally corner, just a pile of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish I could have seen that apartment with my own eyes. It was, I mean, it was it was good when I was there, and then there was like a noticeable haze when you went in. Uh-huh. It was it was like mustard gas or something. It was humid. Yeah, <laughs> there was, <laughs> and and no, I'm, after I moved out, it was hilarious because Chris. The <laughs> electricity would get shut off all the time. <laughs> and he had just like an extension cord running into like the uh, vacant apartment next door. <laughs> 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 just, that is so awesome. How do you yeah, use yeah, the yeah. microwave or the just stove? Not nothing. It just nothing. went to the TV. It just right? used the, the stove. It play was, probably games also. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Probably had one for his PC <laughs> and one for the TV. No, well, the the PC was the TV. Oh, nice. It went into like the projector. Respect. Yeah, he, he, Chris didn't game. If you're if you're listening right now, yeah, you're British. If you're ethnically British. Whatever that means. Take one of those big furry fucking hats those red motherfuckers wear and put yeah. them in your ass. Why don't you? Why don't you do me a favor? Go pick up a hammer from the hardware store and smash it against your face until mm-hmm. the lights go out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Promo code is G A Y N. No, no, it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, A-G. what was it? No, 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 no. F A G G E R. <laughs> N-I-G-G-O-T no, it <laughs> Nick <laughs> What? I didn't Nick. spell anything bad <laughs> What did I say? They're fake car- words <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're made up words It's not I didn't say anything wrong <laughs> You can't get mad at me for it I'm doing Punisher style spelling <laughs> Everything I, Not a lot of things are good for you You know what I mean? That's right It's pussy Check Science <laughs> That's right <laughs> Isn't just the Fourth of July. <laughs> it's get head in the get in the yeah. get head instead. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was that was probably what it was, right? <laughs> Welcome to Earth. Suck my dick. <laughs> give me head. Welcome to give me that. Suck my dick. <laughs> Suck my dick. Well, give Welcome me head. I'm gay. gay. Yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> Today. Is the day we get our dicks sucked. <laughs> uh, 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 we give uh, the alien uh, uh, ship head. <laughs> what if we... What, uh, 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 Dad, Dad, what did you just say? That you, you got head? Yes, David, I said I got my dicks sucked earlier. <laughs> what if we, we gave the, uh, uh, the uh, mothership... Uh, 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 we sucked its dick. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me that the answer is to suck the mothership's dick? <laughs> uh, 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 precisely. <laughs> What's the answer in real life? Oh, time? hell no! Nah. <laughs> Will Smith Will, has to personally yeah. suck the dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to do it for your family. Baby, I love you, but I can't suck no alien's dick. 
well, we, we need, 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 need you to do it. <laughs> J- come on. I remember back in the Holocaust, we would suck dick all the time. <laughs> Like it was the only way to get fooled. Is we would have to. I don't know if he was from the Holocaust. <laughs> no, I think David he probably was. <laughs> <laughs> David, <laughs> during the Holocaust, we, <laughs> we in the camps we would eat nothing but each other's cum. <laughs> For forty years, I now I've been drinking cum all the time. Ask your your, your friend from work about it. Oh my God, David! Let me suck the alien stick. I'm I'll do. It. I'll do it. So put me on the ship. I'll go. Harvey Firestein saves the day. Oh my God! I'll get me on that ship. I'll suck that dick right now. That would be awesome. He drains every alien. I told you the aliens took me in 1973, and they fucked me in my ass. Wow, Nick. Our daddy wasn't a liar. Our daddy was telling the truth the whole time. <laughs> that kid was uh, Lucas Haas, one of the members of the Pussy Posse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the one that got <laughs> fucked by guys. The one, the one that got fucked by guys. <clears throat> oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> welcome to Earth. <laughs> Get head into P- Independence uh, yeah, Day. It's, uh, not the, it's uh, get in the head Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> How did they actually win in real life? What did they do? Some guy that was like, he flipped on Trump's fucked kids. Didn't that go out? Wasn't that news? Yeah. Who, Papadopoulos? No, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, some guy that was whoa, a monster, whoa. man. Whoa, whoa, some guy whoa. that was a witness in the Mueller investigation. He had sex with a Chiron. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I guess the the FBI agent brother was like trying maybe trying to finish the job or something. Yeah, his younger sister NYPD Valerie Chinchinelli, thirty five, was busted by the. What's with these fucking wops? Dude? <laughs> they all even the cops think they're in the mafia. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> It'd be great if all this Epstein comes back to just Italians like desperately trying to cling to the mafia. They're like, well, the spooks took heroin. What's left? Child porn. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the five families are going to get into molesting children. I tell you, the Mulan Yans will never put their hands on. Them. That's the one slice of the pie that's still left for us. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the baby cooch, the baby Cuccinelli family. And <laughs> hey, my name's Anthony, the baby Cuccinelli. <laughs> my father, he started all the child pornography in, in North Jersey. <laughs> yeah, it's the late 90s. All the Mulan Yans took all the heroin and, and, and crack sales. Most of the people in the rest of the country doing fentanyl. Only one thing left illegal, baby <laughs> raping kids. <laughs> Yeah, we got we got our Jew lawyer down there in Little St. James Island. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Sean Penn and Carlito's way. Guys, I got a whole island. It's a whole island where we can fuck kids. <laughs> oh, you think you're a gangster now too, Epstein, huh? <laughs> well, you're not, pal. And NFL players, probably the best guys to fuck. Because they got the good circulation and a huge penis. Yeah. But a normal 6'8 guy... Eldest, 6'6", six, six, no way he gets hard. Mm-hmm. But he's got a small penis, too. He does have a small penis, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> We've got, all seen it. <laughs> he's got the perfect set. <laughs> he's the perfect Huge guy. Huge man with a little ass. He's the perfect dick. man. He's my dream man, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got the, pre- the premiere set. A giant man's blood <laughs> with a 5'2 fucking Bolivian man's penis. <laughs> I'm too tall to get my dick hard. <laughs> I also rewatched Tokyo Drift this week. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yes. And I think Nick is correct. It is the best of the franchise. Uh, I can't. Dude. One. Yeah. Hobbs and Shaw Y'all, y'all got good. cards out here that do different yeah, things. Yeah, he's such a yokel. Did, you you got the cards go sideways when you drive them around. <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, yeah. It's really good. Shoot. My, my, I had to come here to love my daddy. because, And he's from like Bakersfield. They're always from just Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's from, I think his screen name is, like, uh, that he's from Alabama. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's, like, something about, like, Roll Tide or some yeah, bullshit. Nice. 
I, I, my daddy, my, my, I'd have come here to Japan because I got in trouble. <laughs> Wait, back why has he got a screen thing. name? Was he? I think there's like a scene a, where they're like. Predator situation. Also, I've, I've totally forgot that little Bow Wow's character is named Twink yeah. in the movie. <laughs> Remember the rumor that he got raped by his bodyguard? <laughs> yeah. I thought that was true until like two years Wait, ago. Wait, it's not I true? Think it is true. Damn, they got, they got coons over here in Japan too. <laughs> Man, that ain't cool, but, you know, we got to stick together. <laughs> Shit. Home, I wouldn't be friends with you. All right, man, but we're not home right now. You know? We're in Japan. We got to team up against the Japanese. <laughs> the girl, the main girl. The- I guess if I have to, but just don't be coming around me with no wet hair. I'll tell you that right now, boy. <laughs> Wet Do you want to know how they live in Tokyo? <laughs> Amber had like that's true. Amber had like seven hundred of every utensil, and the sink was always full of yeah. fucking yeah. dirty ass. Less shit. utensils, less dishes. Yeah, smart. And you have to do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. to eat you have to, to do eat. Them. Yeah, smart. That's mm-hmm. that makes sense. It does make sense. She also had those Snoopy cups. I should have. That's those. good. Those were awesome. You should have stolen those. I'm gonna steal them. Yeah. I'm gonna make an excuse. No one tell Amber. Out. I think I know the code for her building. Yeah. Let's get the code <laughs> for her building. We're gonna steal. All Ocean's those 420, things. baby. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. We go into our friend's apartment, smoke fucking all her weed, and take the Snoopy cups. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. They anyway, they figure out it's you because there's. Ch- Chocolate bar wrappers all over the place. <laughs> okay, it's I the know. chocolate bandit again. <laughs> okay, this have I told the story about every single one of your stories? It's is chocolate a, is a fat story. <laughs> I know this one is the fattest story of They're my like, life. Like, oh, and I got bad news. Elvis's <laughs> dad is in the hospital. We we went to the hospital anyways. I was eating a bunch of candy bars <laughs> when the doctor came out, and he slipped on one of the wrappers. I had, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had I was making my own chocolate covered bananas in triage. <laughs> And the, doc, the operating doctor slipped on one of the peels and died, and now Eldis's dad has to go to a different hospital. It's like, is this a story about Eldis's dad in the hospital, or are you making your own chocolate-covered banana? Did I tell the story about in high school when I fucking, I was, or maybe it was my freshman year of college, and you'd go back for the summer to have, you know, everyone like now we're, oh, now we're grown-ups. We're going to have a fucking party. And my friend Anna had a fucking awesome party. And I got just so fucking drunk. And I took a shit and threw up all over the bathroom. <laughs> Not even drunk. <laughs> no, no, I was drunk just as shit. Uh, completely so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was fucking drunk. I was doing that thing <laughs> trying to be cool where you just like chug liquor. Just, you know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. stone cold sober. <laughs> no, I was just drunk sh- as shit. Shitting himself and throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I love going to adult parties. <laughs> <laughs> just having diarrhea <laughs> while other people are getting drunk and listening to Flo Rida. <laughs> just eat, eating salsa and talking about talking about the debates. And just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> With, why Romney sucks. Yeah. Uh, and anyway, I shit myself and or I shit and threw up all over my own underwear because I was like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, throwing up down. And I was like in a fucking what haze. Mean you were throwing up down. Like I was sitting down. <laughs> just oh, he was throwing up through his legs throw while he was shitting. Thank you, Adam. Yes. Yeah. So That's skillful. <laughs> <laughs> you're throwing up on your dick. I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had the wherewithal to at least like put my head in the bowl. Well, listen, man. You can I was separate not... <laughs> the two. It, it, Maybe I... you'd lean over and throw up in the bathtub. I, th- I had. I yeah. was trying I've to get I've done that the into the trash bin. Okay. I've been first of all. The story is not done. <laughs> I eventually made. It to the bathtub. Sober. <laughs> I was not sober. Not I a drink. Completely. Not a drink. My friends had people over for a dinner party. I was not and I had ruined my appetite with chocolate bars. <laughs> So no, I'm in the bathroom. This is a different story. Shitting this does drink. not. I haven't even gotten shitting to the fat part yet. Throwing up all over myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, Can I finish the story? So I projectile vomit all over the fucking place. I make it to the bathtub <laughs> and I. I don't know what I did. I turned the shower on to like clean up the fucking vomit, but I like apparently like pulled a pipe down, <laughs> and uh, um, so um, I go downstairs just kind of like trying to see. Oh, and then what else did I do? <laughs> Are you just completely nude at this? No. Point? Well, what I did was I took my boxers off. Apparently, for some some act of God, 
all the un- all the throw up was on the underwear. So I go out to the deck and I throw my underwear in her neighbor's like shrubs or something. Yeah. Then I go downstairs to check and see like if anyone saw me do it, like if I'm good. Does anyone know I threw I fucked up the bathroom? Uh, I'm good, right? I spy a little fucking thing of pop tarts though. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wow, my stomach's empty. This will help me like yeah, revive need, myself. Need to <laughs> I, need, I need to feel better. <laughs> so I grab a couple pop tarts and I'm eating them and I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to the fucking and I check back into the bathroom. <laughs> I check back in the bathroom to see if anyone's been there. This is like worse than the Chris <laughs> Farley death scene. How do you eat right after you fucking <laughs> you? This is so much worse than like the worst overdose you could imagine. <laughs> Wake up. Yeah, had a couple of friends over for a dinner party. An adult dinner party. <laughs> while back from our first year of college. And now, and Stafford says overdosed on pop tarts <laughs> well, and destroyed the bathroom. So I check in on the fucking bathroom, right? And, and just to see like, and it's horrible horrible dude like i did not do a good job cleaning but i'm fucked up right so i'm just like fuck it i'm just gonna go like i'm gonna go out to the deck where some people are smoking weed and i'm gonna like go play it off like i've been smoking weed the whole time so i'm over there and i'm just getting i'm smoking weed and i'm fucked up and unbeknownst to me and i'm still eating pop tarts and i i think i finished the pop tarts before that's right I finish the pop tarts before I get there. I have maybe like a oh, I have a little bit of pop tart left in my hand, and uh, unbeknownst to me, I had pulled like the pipe I pulled to steady myself in the bathroom, mm-hmm. like had burst or some shit, and the whole fucking downstairs starts flooding. So they're like, "What the fuck just happened?" Like this is just a tor- like just water. You broke the house. I broke the house. It's fucking flooding. Everyone's like, what the fuck? They fixed this. Apparently, this happens all the time. So, Anning, you had to fix it. She fixes it real quick. And they're like, what the fuck happened? Who did it? And they come up to the deck to see, like, is every, is, what the fuck's going on? And I'm like, I, have, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to play it off. Uh. But what I had not realized was that I had left a trail of Pop-Tarts <laughs> from the bathroom. So she all saw the, you eating the Pop-Tarts. All the way. There were literally Pop-Tart crumbs, and I'm passed out laying on the fucking oh deck. Oh, my God. And I just have a Pop-Tart in my hand, Jesus and they're like, Christ. stop, did you do this? And I was like, no. <laughs> like, you got to lie. You got to keep the lie can't, going. Yeah, you can't like, tell the Motherfucker, truth. Motherfucker, there's a trail of Pop-Tarts, and you're holding a Pop-Tart Why would they assume hand? the trail was from you? <laughs> Someone else could have. And been it was such. A, it was so fat and hilarious that they weren't even mad at me. They were yeah. like, "This is so good." That's so funny. I one time shit myself on a couch that had just been dry clean. Like my friend Christina had a roommate that had pissed herself twice on that couch. So she kept pissing on the couch so much that they were like, "You have to leave." Yeah. And the second they got it clean, they had a Halloween party, and mm-hmm. I crashed on it, and I shit myself <laughs> on that couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and again, my underwear just barely, held barely it held it in. But I literally, again, threw my underwear in the neighbor's bushes, just went home. Damn, that poor neighbor is just constantly finding. <laughs> no, these are two different friends. <laughs> Triple X. One was in. T- first of all, double XL. <laughs> Uh, one was in Towson, just, and the other one was just in Just size a million panties <laughs> filled with <Yeah>. feces. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my little penis. <laughs> yeah, fuck you two. I don't know how the fuck they got famous. They don't have any bangers, dude. I They're- wish, I wish my day wasn't small. Wait, I is that wish- them? No, that's Hall and Oates. Yeah, that's all. Hall and Oates was good. I wish, I wish my dick <laughs> wasn't small. I said I wish. I because wish my dick, my, my dick is small. Let shit. Because, because my dick, dick is small. <laughs> I wish it was big. <laughs> See? Now that's something you can vibe to, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a I melody. Said I wish, I wish <laughs> my, my dick wasn't was small. small. <laughs> I said I wish, I wish my dick wasn't small. <laughs> I said I wish my dick wasn't, wasn't small. small. <laughs> I wish it was big. <laughs> I want to sleep indoors. We can get a nice little Airbnb, just the boys. Yeah, no chicks. No chicks. No chicks mm-hmm. allowed. No yeah. pants, no chicks. Just us guys. Meanwhile, if we had tried to plan that when you had a girlfriend, he would have, of course you would have brought your girlfriend and be like, oh, well, it wasn't up to me. Well, not for not, a no chick. So not now, if we said no chicks. Not if you said no chicks. You would have, you would have not. You would have not stuck to the boys. There might have been well, one. I would still, there would have been a random six win, six hour window. I know where you we're would have saying no chicks, lunch. but I would bring my ex girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> no. Is she dead yet? I don't know. 
That was, uh, I was mostly asking the fans. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Shut no, up, no, don't Shut fans. up, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Roses are red, violets are blue. I want to suck your cock and lick your balls too. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that I can fuck. If any terrorists are up to no good, I got the strap. Off the coast of Norway. Someone calls me. Yeah. If yeah. if Trump's like, yo, we they got Arabs or or whoever. Bam's going off on <laughs> Instagram right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I already told you, Nikki, you're a slut. <laughs> And it's just like a nine paragraph thing about like you said you were gonna be a bitch and then you were a bitch. <laughs> you did a bitch to me. <laughs> uh Bluetooth dot com affiliated, yeah. I know. No in person poor everyone in that situation. Oh yeah, that child. Oh yeah, he Oof. had one where he's like, Go ahead, take him. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> 47,000 likes, 80, 89,000 comments. Yeah, you tell that bitch, Go ahead, man. take him. You're just using him to hurt You're me anyway. You're a legend, man. You're a legend. More yeah. time to get fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's always the same guys. It's like, you know, a guy in a fucking, like, like trans world skateboarding trucker hat being like, oh, the rest of the crew's cleaned up, and the party's over, man, and you gotta grow up. It's time to grow up. It's like, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. He's fucking, he's the Howard Hughes of skateboarding. That's right. <laughs> he pisses in jars. He's worth $50 has... million. Dollars. He's just Is gonna, he? Oh, he's got loads of money. That's awesome. He's, it, 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 they talk about like, oh, the rest of the guys, they got their shit together. It's like, well, Bam's the one that's a fucking like business. Like, he's, yeah. he's uh-huh. sponsored by everybody. He's branded all this shit. The reason right. he's like, that, he's constantly making money. Why'd he go on that tour then? Just for fun? More money. Smart move. Why not? He probably got some huge guarantee from like Vinny and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm sure Vin- he got that money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure he did from Vinny. Like, I don't. Well, I'm sure that I your dick way- will stay hard. Oh, if you use Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> use Bluetooth.com. No in person doctor visit. <laughs> well, what about Isn't money buddies? How it though? Be. Checks muddy buddies. Yeah. That shit rocks. Well, you're not. If you put chocolate on the check, (laughs) you're allowed to say "muddy buddies." Are you? I'm talking about a snack. I don't know what you think it means. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Talking about a delicious. I'm not on the DA. We just, just, we just muddy buddies. (laughs) No DL shit happening. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck each other in the ass, muddy buddies. Does that mean on the DL? All I know is that Dan Schneider is Adam, your race, and Stav, your width. <laughs> mm. No. He's, he's like us combined. No. He, you guys have a similar. No. Yeah. I'm much more vital than Dan Schneider. <laughs> I have a, I have a, 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 just a, a j- spirit j- that he lacks. Just a doc- we got a doctor online, too, calling. Uh, hey, uh, first time uh, caller. Uh, a big fan <laughs> See, of the we show. don't have lines. I've got his vitals no, here now. I am, and, I am more vital. No, first of all, <laughs> we spoke earlier, me and Simon Stav's uh, No, doctor. I don't know this man. He doesn't even know what vitals are. I do he know. couldn't tell you. And what. I wasn't saying my vital signs. His. I have a vitality the Dan Schneider, the child molester, lacks. Almost yeah, but you wouldn't say you're more joie vital. De vivre. We've, we've looked at a joie de vivre. And <laughs> no, not. that's not a medical. You can measure right. it. We're yeah. actually, we're, we've got his joie de vivre up here on the <laughs> no, computer you don't. now. And no, we're looking and, at okay, it. fine. What does it say? It says you're gay. <laughs> Fuck. It says you're both gay and your joie de vivre is less than Dan Schneider's. No, it is Damn. not. You take that back. I can't take it back. I'm a doctor. <laughs> yes, you can. I'm a doctor at the Mayo Clinic. Look at the uh, no. I did not pick that oh, hospital because I thought it was mayonnaise. That's why he picked it. No, he, came I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he came Before in. Before you he, say it, I didn't pick it I, for that reason. I, I didn't come in and was confused and sir? asked, where's the mayonnaise? Sir, it is in your chart. I, <laughs> you thought the I didn't ivy bags were <laughs> giant Heinz <laughs> mayonnaise packets. You thought they were Hellman's mayonnaise packets. And you, 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 you said your not. insurance was chicken cordon blue cross blue shield. <laughs> <laughs> I the blue did cheese not. that you mistakenly <laughs> identified your insurance as blue cheese, blue shield. <laughs> <laughs> I never what did asked that. What kind of I have Metro Plus. I mean, we had we asked you what kind of insurance. No, I didn't say that. And you said blue cheese, blue shield. <laughs> I did not say it's blue cheese, blue shield. <laughs> <laughs> None of that is true. 
Uh, it's all true. I'm sorry. It's all here in the chart. <laughs> so you know what? I have actually. Hold on. I'm I'm, I'm Nick's doctor, and uh, we only have one line. Well, I'm from know. a different hospital. Well, yeah, from, what hospital is that? The one right by the one Adam was born in St. John's Hospital. That was the yes, that one. <laughs> we don't have to keep saying that. <laughs> I'm from that one. <laughs> I it is, they would have we we, we handle the births of gay men and the adult care of even gayer men. It's Catholic. And that's why Adam and Nick both go here. And uh, Nick's gay also. <laughs> As a gay man, I need constant care. I need to go to the doctor constantly. And that's why I trust St. John's Hospital in Los Angeles where Adam was born. It's not true. That's not where I was born. <laughs> I know that I have anything I need from St. John's, be it gay medicine or g- filing with the state of California to get a new birth certificate and listing St. John's Hospital as my hospital. I don't know birth. why you're putting this out into and the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> A number of incredibly unstable listeners. Anyway, yeah. In conclusion, I'm much more vibrant than Dan Schneider. And I've You said you're more vital though. I yeah, both. You're, you're not though. We heard from your doctor and then no. we heard from my doctor that all he said was that I was gay. <laughs> so he didn't refute anything. <laughs> yeah, he did. My doctor just seemed to <laughs> disclose information that should be confidential. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, a so doctor. Is mine. First of patient. all, that's not that wasn't my doctor. They may both be bad doctors. You just said so is mine, acknowledging <laughs> that it was your doctor. No, no. So he's we've established not my, doctor. my doctor is telling people that I'm gay, which is you know, frankly it's fluid and it's a matter of opinion. <laughs> it's no opinion. He I'm knows being medically. treated for being gay, which means in practice I'm not actually gay. Yes, you are. I just go if to you're the being hospital. treated for having the flu. You still have the flu until it's I go, cured. No, yeah, but yeah, if you're not sneezing, you're not fucking contagious. No, the, but you are contagious. I'm not contagious. Yes, you are. What are you? So th- you're saying you're gay? No, but we're in the same. You room. caught I haven't his caught gay? it because my immune system is very no, strong. But we just oh, heard from your doctor. Your vital? Said, I'm actually still on the line. No, he's, he's not. First of all, we're that's doing not his blood doctor. test. <laughs> no, and while I he, don't have a doctor. He is gay. We checked, and he does not have your strain, or the, the, you actually don't have a strain. No, so no, he said you don't have your strain, which means that you didn't. <laughs> so you're not contagious. You may be gay, but you're not <laughs> contagious. Stav is also gay, but from a different. No, it's from a different uh, oh. outbreak. Is what the files the files are no, sir. Not, dude. I'm about to call the, the police. Files. Hold on, the files. Hello, <laughs> is this the, <laughs> uh, this is the police? Uh, police, uh, put your hands down, doctor. This is you're a, reading from false documents. Uh, this is Detective Alonzo with Internal Affairs. <laughs> No. Uh, we actually <laughs> fuck that, over Alonzo. That police officer is gay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't understand why the. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <clears throat> I got the head of the FBI on the other line, dude. Actually, uh, but uh, this is Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> you got him on you, the phone. <laughs> how, how, you the doing? how you doing? This is Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I just wanted to say, Stav has less vitality than Dan Schneider. I've seen Dan at my island numerous times. <laughs> Stav got less Stav's never time. met me, dude. And uh, he doesn't know how vital I am or vibrant for that. Listen, matter. the only reason I'm telling you any of this is because the Clintons tried to have me killed. <laughs> well, that's something I'm we ready, can all agree I'm ready on. to join the resistance. <laughs> Jeff, welcome to the resistance, Jeffrey Epstein. You're gonna start doing yoga. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing yoga. Get flexible. I try. I did. Can some, you even tie your shoes? Yes, I can very oh, okay. easily. Okay. I can tie my shoes so easily. How, what's your method? I take them off, take my shoes off, <laughs> I tie them <laughs> loosely, and then I and put then them on the ground, your... and I brace myself on two surfaces, <laughs> and I slowly, over the course of about 15 minutes, get my shoes in, just like everybody else. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, how do I tie? What's my method? Yeah, just like, just like everybody just else Just like everyone does. else. He puts, yeah. his, he puts his shirt on one leg at a time. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like everybody else. You put your legs through the neck hole. Yep. <laughs> Pull it up. <laughs> That's right. Slip your arms down through it. You mm-hmm. should just get like a like a spray booth. 
and just spray my clothes on. Spray your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Just get hosed down at the end of every day. That would be in incredible. The morning, <laughs> <a> shower. <laughs> you just have a like an artist like make like a a, a masterpiece <laughs> on you every day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a business meeting with a suit painted on me. You just see my dick so clearly. <laughs> well, no. Even if you were completely No, naked, you would see my dick no, very you, clearly. It would not be seen. It would hang down nicely. And it will not be seen. <laughs> yes, it will. It's, just... <laughs> it's big. Well, not big, but big enough to be seen with a naked eye. Yeah, I don't mean to brag, but you can see my penis with the naked eye. No, my doing? doctor is not on the line. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. This is uh, Franklin Cutlass. I'm, uh, I work at the observatory <laughs> here at the Prospect what Park observatory? Zoo. What uh observatory? -huh. We're here at the uh, Prospect Park Zoo Observatory. That's not a real place. I'm the, uh, leading, they have a zoo there? I'm the leading optometrist no, at the... Uh, Why would an observatory have an optometrist? It's, uh, well, an observatory, it's a lot observing. of people, they, they don't know this, but bas it's basically just big glasses. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so, not. It, yeah. yes. The telescope is like glasses. The boss of the telescope is called the optometrist. Is that really yeah. true? And sir? we have the the telescope pointed at Stav's penis as we speak, and we've got nothing. Yes, you read. do. Mm -hmm. the charts, First of all, where you came are, and it's a black me. hole. Here, hold on, let me hold the phone up to the machine. Boo. So you can tell it's completely flatlined. What? Uh, <laughs> That's not how looking at things works. <laughs> 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 What's this? My dick is so small it's not registered. So if my dick was it's big, it would go beep, beep, beep. Oh no. There's not a single sign of life here. And I've I've well, checked with all, is, wait, I've checked with all my colleagues and all the all the instruments are dialed in correctly. So it it's dick. so small it's dead. It's uh boop, boop, boop. No. Yeah, so as you can see that's we use that as a control. That's we're just picking dicks at random here. Boop. Boop, boop. It seems to be okay, we'll point it back at mine just to check. Boop. No, come on. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> My dick is dead and small. Anyways, we got to go back to looking at stars because this co it costs ten thousand dollars to move the machine. <laughs> well, that's fucked up, sir. Mm -hmm. Dude, Nick, you got some weird friends. Man. I've got cool. Mm -hmm. I've got friends in cool places. <laughs> you got some. It's you got Alonzo some. from Internal Affairs. <laughs> Your doctor. My doctor, the lead optometrist at the, at the Prospect, Prospect Park, Park Zoo <laughs> Observatory. <laughs> <laughs> Two places that make sense together and exist separately. <laughs> Dumbass. Stop. Do you have to take breast control medicine? No. Okay. Why would I do that? To breast con control? To, to yeah. keep them down or up? To keep them down. First of all, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. No. You don't need to get angry. I'm, just I'm pretty fucking peeved, partner. I just was okay? asking. Because no, number cool one, out, dude. Cool out. there is no doctor. <laughs> number two, uh, the optometrist is not real. And now you're asking me about breast control medicine? I was just asking. I've never taken I've heard it. about folks. Yeah, I've sure. It's, it's in clinical over, trials, but it's not ready yet. There was two guys in the train that looked like you. <laughs> they were big, fat, bald guys, and they were saying... I just recently started taking breast control medicine. <laughs> I, I think you misheard that. They say, I don't think that's a real medicine. <laughs> no, I've heard them. They're like, I'm so glad I did. I can't wait to recommend this to other guys like us. <laughs> I, am, I, I am nothing like I those thought, guys. As your friend, I thought of you. First of all, naturally, I have little, like, for my body type, little titties. Mm -hmm. We'll admit, for as fat as I am, my titties are pretty small. We can all agree, Right. Uh, from certain angles, I guess. Yeah. Come on, guys. You've <coughs> seen fatter guys, less fat guys with bigger titties than me. You will admit that. Yeah. Let's say, let's put it this way. It could be worse. Yes. It could be worse. It could be <coughs> worse, but it couldn't really be better. It could be better. It, it could be better. At yeah. this particular weight, no, it couldn't. I have the lowest titty to stomach ratio of an obese man that you've ever reg you regularly obese no, you man that you've admit that. Seen. Yeah. I say, I've, yes, I admit regular, regular. obesity. Pre-diabetic. I'm on the record as being pre-diabetic <laughs> and regular <laughs> obese. <laughs> Admittedly. <laughs> and for those uh, classifications, uh -huh. my titties are as little as they could be. I, I'm glad we're all in a silent agreement on this I, We should talk to your doctor about that, probably. No, <laughs> we should not talk to my doctor. First of all, that wasn't my doctor. 
I'm in need of you and I can't. I'm thinking my about how shows. they should just get rid of Three Musketeers, the candy. The candy bar? It's fucked up because it's like you. It's no like, one ever. Oh, I'm gonna it. have a Milky Way, and then you're like, oh right, this is the bad one. I don't even like Milky Ways. Milky Ways are better than Three Musketeers. No, Snickers, Three Musketeers, is Snickers is nice are better than both. Piece. Fuck Snickers. They got the overrated. Crunch. But the the peanut gives it texture. Fuck peanuts and Milky Way is too soft. No. Cookies. Stop, I think this is just your breast control medicine. It's not, I'm not speaking. on breast control medicine. <laughs> it's your breast control medicine <laughs> acting up. <laughs> I'm not having a breast flare up right now. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's like, <laughs> from, time, <laughs> from time to time, your tits will be huge. <laughs> Take, you're prescribed three Milky Ways and a three Musketeers for that. Yeah. And they'll go right back to normal. <laughs> and have have you guy. ever tried to put your luggage in your pants? In my pants? Yeah, it just says, pretend it's your ass. <laughs> <laughs> is this a general question, or is this in the same vein as in my own breath control? <laughs> is this another <laughs> fat-specific <laughs> question? It's a similar... Yes, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> just walking on. The blame of the duffel bag. <laughs> this is my ass. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, This ma'am. is what my ass looks oh, like. Ma'am. I-, I believe you're des- describing my ass. Thank you. <laughs> I'm fat as shit. <laughs> and asking to see it is a fucking discrimination <laughs> against said, me. I purchased my one ticket <laughs> as I <laughs> as I am required to do by law. <laughs> now I will bring <laughs> my regular sized ass to my seat. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's straps hanging out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we can see the straps. Okay, well, look, bitch. <laughs> look, I'm getting when, on this fucking plane. When you weigh 400 pounds. When you're pounds, fat, when you have to take <laughs> breast control medicine, you, it's a side your, effect. Your ass Throwing is, ass straps is <laughs> a side effect of my breast control medicine. You can take pictures of your <laughs> ass and see how strapless <laughs> it looks. Did the hot tub full of piss ever happen? Yeah, we like everybody peed in it for like three weeks, but <laughs> but we the never, party we was never, canceled. We didn't have enough pee to fill up the hot tub, so the day wow. of the party, one of my duties was to get uh, yellow Fit. food dye <laughs> and fill it up with water. Even, <laughs> I did even the hot tub full of pee. Even you that's how even that's swing. how shitty this party was. You couldn't even get Dude, real it piss. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking that shit. That wasn't even on our mind. After a while, That's we said, a- <laughs> we said, how are we going to get it out of the woods? First Damn. of all, this thing was in the woods. Scumbag Vinny is like a, a real life version of Gil from The Simpsons. <laughs> so you killed someone. No, I, it was just weed related. Oh, oh yeah. just weed? In Connecticut weeds. It's like illegal still very stuff. illegal. Yeah. And uh, but no, you know, they do that because now it's about to be legal soon. So they're trying to get. Yeah. He said they were like, what, what, what was like, how was it weed related? You're like, yeah, I was smoking weed while looking at child. Honey, <laughs> 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 get, get in here. I just read in News 45 that <laughs> Vinny killed Adam. <laughs> but then in the midst of that it, there was really another weird. article that said I scammed a bunch of people. But that one was halfway true. So it, like, right. I was like, wow, at least that's getting mixed. Was that up a between- real article? Or was that a photo? That was another fake article. Yeah, oh, Photoshop okay. article. Yeah, interesting. I don't know who does it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you guys are a fucking is, idiot. If the retard's following you guys, it's yeah. text. It's a Photoshop article. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't copy you are, and paste you, it. That's how you. That's how you write a fake article. You open up Photoshop. There are a couple someone, diabetics. I sold insulin. it to someone else's oxycot. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like in private, you're like, none of those stories about me are true. I, I've been lied about. I've never ripped off anybody. And then you do the show and you're like, I used to, <laughs> I used to go to concerts and, and put a, a, a under construction sign on the wheelchair ramp to collect extra ticket money from handicapped people. <laughs> we are not far off from that. It's yeah. like, I know I listen to the show, you make up a lot of shit, but when you describe me, you tend to be spot on. <laughs> You're a, you're a, you're a hero, man. Dude, okay, you must you have got gotten your ass wrong. kicked a couple times. For Look this, at my right? nose. You got your shit what happened? fucked up. I, I've gotten into a lot of fights. I've knocked a few people out. <laughs> um, yes, I've gotten I've gotten beat up. I've got you know I've gotten in my. This share is not fights. what he asked. For. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten my ass. That kicked wasn't the question for anything money related in comedy. I actually there's video of me fighting a comedian and kicking his ass. Nice <laughs> <laughs> over over that situation. There's video and we're selling the video. And we're, on yeah. Daily yeah. 
If you buy the video, you get a T-shirt, but you got to mail in a video of you watching the video to P.O. Box 386. It's true, guys. We do have Do You Watch Big Mouth T-shirts at uh, TheVinnieBeetleShow.com. Meat, yeah, meatball, meatball Marinara Productions. <laughs> Palisades, New Jersey. What? What is Vinny Beetle Show? Is you have a podcast now? I figured I I never really did a podcast, but I figured just just coming off out the here, strength of your appearance of the, on our show, <laughs> <laughs> I felt like these people will want to listen and hate me. They probably one of them will. might kill me when I'm fifty. Or They're something, not going to kill you. I'm going to go for it. You know? Yeah. Where yeah, I would do like the token white guy, like the M word on stage. No, none of that. No, no. but I would say everything else. You know? Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> Real shock value, you know. I'd yes. walk in and talk about getting black Listen, pussy y'all, and I'm shit. not going to say the nice. N word, but spick, chink, <laughs> dot head. Yeah. Oh, 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 we're going all in. Everything else. Everything else. <laughs> Everything else. I did a Trayvon Martin just joke. One time. Black people, oh. just whoa, 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 black people cheering at the top of their lungs yeah. <laughs> for every other racial slur. I did a Trayvon Martin joke one time, and I left early because I, I didn't do well. And there was like four. Oh. <laughs> it's like 400 black people. I'm the only white. There's one other white comic on the show. And you after also the sh- kind of look like George Zimmerman. <laughs> <laughs> and after the show, there's another fat white comic on the show. <laughs> George Zimmerman's like, I think Zimmerman's a black man. <laughs> and a bunch of black dudes went up to the other comic and were like, are you the fucking guy that said the Trayvon joke? And the guy was scared shitless. He's like, no, he left. Wait, wait, wait. So you got away with this because black people couldn't tell the difference <laughs> between, between me two, and the other fat between white Between two white people. Yeah. <laughs> So I got. I what was the joke? Them. Can we hear the joke? They're like the fucking dinosaurs Dude, it, in Jurassic I've, Park. Sadly, <laughs> even though I, you wouldn't think watching my YouTube videos, I've been doing it for ten years. So this had to be six or seven years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know, man. You, you, Sometimes I just would I guess say it was like, anti- "Oh, well, you know," like I would say something about a cop shooting a black kid in New Haven, and. And say what? Yeah. It would just pop, man. Yeah. <laughs> just doing like wrestling promos, kind yeah. of on these black comedy shows, and it would kind of, I don't know, it yeah. will. So, well and, enough for me to And convince. you would be pro-officer in that regard? Uh, yeah, uh, no. 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 I do a lot of gigs, too, where I do, st- like, um, stag parties where I what make was fun the, of the room. <laughs> what was the Trayvon yeah. joke? <laughs> what? What was the Trayvon He doesn't joke? know. But, Just like, what, try and remember What it, was dude. the sentiment I gotta that you hear expressed? Of the joke? That yeah. they were upset about. It was about. definitely about me saying it was good that he died. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> not, not that, not that... George Zimmerman didn't break the law. It's good that Trayvon Martin died. <laughs> not that he was standing That's his something ground. Something to do with like um, the man not, doesn't remember. Not specifics. feeling like you had to cover up with the hood. You're saying remember. beyond you remember jokes from beyond, 10 years ago? beyond even the point that George Zimmerman was making. <laughs> what um? <clears throat> now would you be like a high? Would you be like a, an Epstein type figure for a billion? If you were. A would you have your own island, but you would have to sort of arrange for rich men to fuck fourteen-year-olds? <laughs> I would never have that much money because I feel like I've reached my peak in life. But no, the, the you don't know problem. how high you can fly, man. Okay, Adam's been on my side this episode. I don't know <laughs> if that's like a subtle like that's his way of telling me I'm a fucking loser. Or something. No, I'm not. I'm I'm just a <laughs> no. Nice yeah, guy. you're right though. I don't know if I had a billion dollars. I don't know what I would do. I don't know if at that to point... To get a billion dollars, <laughs> would you... you... <laughs> <laughs> You're saying if you had a billion dollars, you don't know if you'd fuck kids or not. I I'm asking... You wouldn't fuck kids. If you, for, for, no, here's what you... For $5,000 a year, you would be the guy facilitating the rape of hundreds of children. <laughs> if we called it something different, <laughs> yeah, I might be able to do it. <laughs> Yeah, we're calling it Camp Kill TBS Yourself. TBS reports or something. We're camp taking these kids yourself, to the Camp yeah. Kill Yourself. On a p- Hell yeah. Hey, look, I come from a place where you got to do what you got to do. So these kids get a free vacation in the island. Somebody's going to fucking rape them. Might as well. Might as well make $1,000. Look, E. Jean Carroll got raped, and now she's doing every checkers in fucking Sarasota. She's doing great. She's about to do a fucking yeah. MMA fight with Bagel We're, Boss. I'm selling her panties in the parking lot. <laughs> Showboat September but 7th, get, Bagel get Boss. I'm actually the one wearing the panties. She's never I'm even just, put them on. She's never even worn the panties. I've been making my bitch wear her panty, wear panties, and then I've been selling them as E. Jean Carroll's rape panties. Oh, my God. <laughs> Admitted that he looked at child pornography. <laughs> well, now you repeat it. 
Yeah, but I didn't say. Hold on, I didn't hold say on. what kind. We'll edit it. Well, let's record over. Uh, everyone knows. <laughs> everyone knows yeah. you look at child pornography, but what we're cutting out is this. The ebony. The the, the, <laughs> the ebony horrifically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just toddlers with huge dicks. <laughs> just fucking grown women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're fucking they're fucking forty two year old women. Yeah, but they're just young boys with just dick, nine dick, and a half. Dick oh shorty, work is shorty. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> Go on, work for now. Yeah, <laughs> the pacifier. In the One of my everyone friends. just looks at a pedophile and they think, oh, you'll take any kid. But pedophiles have taste. They do know? have taste. Yeah, just j- like Jeffrey Epstein bent over with a ball gag in his mouth <laughs> and like these r- extremely rare toddlers he has flown in from, <laughs> from Africa just yeah. fucking him in the ass. He's a wealthy man. <laughs> yeah, punish me. Those boys make a good living, dude. They're, <laughs> they're like You deities. gotta go into niche. They're deities yeah. in the, from where they're that's from. That's the way to yeah. make it in this industry these days is you have to cater to a niche audience that will like, pay. That's my religion. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the temple's about. That's what the temple's <laughs> Big dick toddlers. <laughs> 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 yeah, one of my friends that I, w- that I played football with, uh, uh, a, a black gentleman, said that when he was like nine, an old lady uh, raped him, essentially. And I believe him. He was like not. <laughs> he wasn't like trying to brag. It was like people were talking about how they fucked when they were like young as a joke. They're like, uh-huh. yeah, I-, I had sex when I was eight years, like just joking. Yeah. And he was like, what about you? And he was like nine and he had like this <laughs> just like he was like staring he off into the distance he wasn't bragging he was not bragging and we yeah. were like what haha <laughs> for real he was like yeah and then he just like solemnly told the story of like this old lady saying she needed help like I don't know uh-huh. like with a chore or something and her riding his little ass dick oh his little God. boy's dick and that's and he was and everyone was like it really I gotta say killed the mood of football practice yeah cause we were all talking about fucking when we were 11 as a joke it was a real towel snappy kind of conversation it was a very towel snappy conversation and then he really <laughs> then had to bring it down with that rape he told the very and he was really good at football too I won't say his name. I don't want to dox him. He's but been running from it ever since. He's you know? been, yep. He was a defensive back. Vinny's, <laughs> Vinny's getting too excited about his comp town appearance. Huh? Was that? Vinny's getting too excited about his comp Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, gonna, texts he, me, he texts me after his set of Funny Moms. He's like, bro, my li- you changed my life. <laughs> 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 he texts me after his set of Funny Moms. He said, best day of my life. <laughs> 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 oh, Nick, you should have seen yeah, that. That's set. awesome. I just like to imagine him at Disney World, and he's talking to Goofy, and he's like, bro, we can work together. <laughs> like, like, honestly, meeting you, this is one of the greatest moments of my life. And we can work together, <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to do a tour. <laughs> what is it's it? It's just some Hispanic guy <laughs> that is like, eh, no, no, se, no, no, the end. No, no. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? The guy no, shows up for the, the first ball. tour. Yeah, right. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, I know you guys thought you were going to see Goofy, but we got Bam Margera <laughs> instead. <laughs> it's a bunch of four-year-olds. <laughs> And he's like, look, my dick looks like a tuna can. <laughs> he's pulling his penis out in front of all the kids. And then the mother's like, well, I would expect this at the E. Jean Carroll show, but <laughs> not the Goofy show. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, man. Yeah, um, salute I think to of the sexual fantasies. <laughs> salute to Big Vin, dude. Yeah. What is it about? Because he's objectively a bad, morally bad mm-hmm. person yeah. but know, it's refreshing that he's honest about how bad he is what no. makes what makes a character like that like at least palatable charisma charisma he does he's have not a that weird charismatic yeah but see people like don't understand what charisma is they think it's like just fit like the, there are people that are like donald trump is extremely fucking charismatic right. and yeah. that's why he's president people think charm and, he's and a charisma bad person. is the same they, thing. they exactly they think it's like because barack obama is charismatic but donald trump is similarly similarly charismatic maybe more like vinny's not charming but yeah, he is he's charismatic. not charming but he's very charismatic he's a good salesman uh-huh. he's, 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 he does he's a, have a little glint in his eye that's I will the kind say. of guy you <laughs> like you know he talks about selling used cars it's like you didn't sell those cars because he got one over on those people it's because they felt bad for him because he's a pathetic guy and you're like all right i'll buy this shitty car yeah. i'll buy this shitty he's selling girl scout cookies in the form of like a fucking you know uh-huh. actually i like girl scout cookies i love yeah. them you know what he's selling is that like uh what is that the gift wrap company i never so like they make kids sell like gift wrap 
Oh, that was never a thing. We always did chocolate bars. Or chocolate bars or, you know, like yeah. any, like forks. Like We talked yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, That's Cut what Vinny's cow. doing. But as an adult, he's like, yeah, I'm selling Bam Margera for my school. Right. And they're like, oh, this this retarded school is <laughs> selling tickets to a Bam Margera redemption <laughs> tour. Uh, yes, I get me and my husband, Larry, will spend $80 a piece. Uh, let me just get my checkbook for the, a piss hot tub, you say. Oh. And your your name is? Oh, Vinny. And you're, how, you're 32 years old and a half. That's, that's nice. That's very nice, Mr. Vinny. Here's your check. Mo Have tricks. you ever thought about a different universe where... Gay sex is straight, <laughs> and straight sex is gay. Sir, Sir Ian, please, just yeah. what's on the script, sir? Yeah, just, getting, <laughs> just getting high with Gandalf. No, think about it. It makes more sense, right? <laughs> that guys would fuck guys <laughs> the same, rather than guys fucking women. They're different. That's Ian true, Ian trying to fuck Orlando Bloom on yeah. the set of... <laughs> I'm just saying it makes sense to me. <laughs> Oh yeah. wow! Or, that, I've never thought of it that way. I'm I'm too high right now. <laughs> Shut up! Just keep puffing. <laughs> <laughs> just keep hitting it. <laughs> Is this just right. weed? <laughs> as long as you can keep speaking, you're not high enough yet, faggot. <laughs> Gandalf, is this with just weed? Is this laced with anything? I didn't know you got wet leg loss. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf lacing his weed with fucking angel dust, uh, GHB, and dick pills. And Ralph was like, he's like, man, I don't want to make you nervous, but Uncle Dave's in the audience. <laughs> so you might want Dude, I can't. And I was like, I wish I. I what got, is that? I gotta go back that? and find that email he sent me when I like just didn't want to do a shitty show. And I was like, ah, I got a flat tire. And then he like sent me like the stats on what the yeah. donut could do and how far it could go. That was awesome. And I was like, <laughs> you got me. I'm lying. I'm not doing your show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna come. So you found you figured it out. I'm lying to you. <laughs> we both knew I was lying. <laughs> yeah. Just accept the. The fucking yep. the society. Yeah, <laughs> this is purely <laughs> a courtesy I'm doing to not say fuck you. I don't want to do your dumb shit. Accept it, please. Yeah. Salute yeah. to Uncle Dave. Yeah, sorry, my mom has mesothelioma. I can't <laughs> oh, that's cool because mesothelioma you can only get. Oh yeah, you're right. My mom's fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. want to drive two hours to perform for a nine rednecks in <laughs> Western Maryland. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 was the pinnacle of fucking gaming. Mm -hmm. That's like, that was it. That was the game. Nothing. Adam, you said you had a friend that had to drop out of college because of Well, it. he had to repeat a year. <laughs> Danny had to repeat a year because of Call of Duty. It's, Salute. It was he murked too much. It was <laughs> fucking, it was perfect, dude. And it like, it was so addicting. Yeah. I would fucking wake up at 3 p.m., get like a six pack and some tacos from next to my apartment. Sounds pretty tight. And then actually. I would play Call of Duty Modern Warfare until it was time to lift weights. And then I would go do that. <laughs> And then I would go back and continue drinking and playing that game until 6 a.m. And then pass out. And that was my life every day for like seven months. <laughs> and that, that, is, that is it. I would do a spot here. I would like feature a Cap City like once a month. Maybe I go to Philly and feature there, but I didn't. Just not, be playing Call of Duty in your brain. How did you afford that? You didn't have. A, you had that day job. I or? I would teach defensive driving. I well, I also like temp for a while right, right, too. Right, right, right. So I would do temp jo jobs here, and then uh, Joe Stats was the apartment manager. So, gotcha. So he would anytime like somebody moved in, he would give me half off rent. And say I referred them. So my rent was like often three hundred dollars a month, <laughs> Hell yes. which was paid for by teaching defensive driving once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, prior to that, so I you had to work a total of maybe four days a week, a month. Yeah. To to afford that life. Barely, barely anything. And then I would like temp when I did have that temp job that lasted like a month, and it was they were paying me like fifteen or twenty Damn, an hour. That sounds awesome. Yeah, dude. and there's no income tax in Texas, so it was like uh, living in Texas was a joke. If you made like I, like uh, you make like seventeen to twenty k a year. Your rent at the time, you know, 10 years ago, was like nothing. Yeah, Austin's yeah. expensive now, right? Yeah, now. I and mean, also, like, prior to that, I lived with, like, Chris for a year. And he, uh, like, he would pay me the rent in cash, which I would never spend. 
So I just had like cash on hand from like the other half of the rent right. and on top, like I was working at home and making like, I think like 13 an hour. Nice. And yeah, so I had zero. So yeah, you had time to I had like zero expenses. Yeah. At that point, when I moved into that apartment, I had something like, I think like seven grand saved or something. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to focus on comedy. And <laughs> <laughs> did not. You just yeah. played Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Fuck, I miss that shit. I can't wait to just quit, give up on life completely. Yeah. And just do that again. That's mm-hmm. going to be reti- that's what retirement homes are going to look like for our generation. Yeah. It'll just be a bunch of old fat motherfuckers getting fucked up and playing Gaming. games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I the can't. best actually not that it was that and then what I used to love is when I when I did work at home at the call center, I would bring the phone out into the living room. And I would just get drunk and play uh, Lego Indiana Jones <laughs> while, while on the phone with customers. <laughs> you can play that drunk for sure. Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's the only game I could play when I worked at the call center because you can't lose. Yeah. It's, it's for no, babies. It's for, literally for babies. Yeah. So I would just get really drunk and high and they'd be like, my email doesn't work. I'd be like, hang on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was trying to figure something out on your account. And I'm like just making a Lego guy put like a, a purple Lego on top. <laughs> to unlock some kind of Egyptian puzzle. Massive respect. Yeah. I used to play Snood at my telemarketing job. That was my, that was how I would game. You guys fuck with Snood? Uh, what's that? That's like a you shoot like you a shoot ball. Shoot a little ball. Yeah, yeah. I, I played that shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, salute shooting. to American Government Mortgage, my former place of employment that definitely, definitely aided the fucking mortgage the crisis. Recession. Yeah. One hundred percent. The Great Recession. My boss Doug used to show us his nuts all the time <laughs> and talk about cheating on his wife. Pretty, pretty chill dude. He talked about it with everyone. Did she ever find out? I don't know. I don't think so. He said he got head while his dick was soft on the beach in Ocean City. <laughs> 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 he claimed to have like, gotten sucked off from one of those Ukrainian teenagers. Nice. <clears throat> and that he couldn't stay hard. Nice. Is and that a thing in Ocean City? There are Ukrainian teenagers that oh, suck yeah. you up? That's yeah. that the whole place is staffed by like sex trafficked fucking Ukrainian. Oh, they're all like... Seasonal employees. Yeah, they're like, or welcome to M- M- MR Docs. <laughs> <laughs> I, we have shirt to sell you. Please don't fuck me, ass. Please don't ask I my lo- manager lo- to fuck me, ass. I love to come from Ukraine to sell to sell hermit crab to to drunk uh, the rapist from Pennsylvania <laughs> to uh, rapist bros from Pennsylvania. <laughs> There are 35 of them stacked into a suburban, and they come here to rape me <laughs> from Allentown. <laughs> a, 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 an entire Chevy suburban filled with rapists from Allentown <laughs> is on their way to have spring break in my ass. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, we got to play Come Fest, dude. Off season. And secrets. When should we do it? February? Mm. My birthday weekend, dude? Yeah. This is like it was <laughs> terrible <laughs> weather. Come Fest secrets. New York Magazine interviewed Jeffrey Epstein's bodyguard. Oh, shit. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. What did he say? And I <laughs> yeah, will always love you. Damn, my man's talking on the record? Yeah. I would be scared if I was him. Igor Zin- Zinoviev. I was sex trafficked from <laughs> Russia. My sister was, yeah. me and my sister were shipped to Ocean City. Yeah. To Doughboy's Pizza. Mm. What did Mr. Gishkinarvnyev say? Uh, I'm, well, good? I mean, I'm, this is an article I haven't. Adam's doing his Adam? own thing. I'm reading about, I'm reading about, uh, about Epstein as well. What do we got? Well... TMZ is saying that Epstein either hurled himself off the top bunk or had his feet to the ground and leaned forward to cut off his air supply. What? I think that they think that he hurled himself off the top bunk. Oh, is that other going to try and explain why the neck, his neck bones were broken? Yeah. Didn't they also, didn't someone also say they heard shrieking? Yeah. <laughs> from his jail? You can't shriek while you hang yourself, no? 
I don't know. What if he was like, I'm killing myself? They say Jeffrey Epstein's blood vessels in his eyes popped when the air supply was cut off by the bed sheet that was wrapped around his neck. What if he did kill himself, but it was like The Godfather 2, where they were like, come on, man, do the right thing. Like Bill and Hillary were like, they, oh, brought, yeah. his, they brought his, they brought his they brought pedophile his cousin from, from Israel. Israel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're like, Jeff, hmm. you, have to, you have to take one for the cabal. I guess his bodyguard is Russian, so you know every liberal now is like, well, Trump is... It's, it's collusion. It's the Russians. <laughs> God. God damn! You should you should kill yourself if you. Think. It's gonna be so awesome when it's Joe Biden mm. versus Trump in a dementia off. Yeah, <laughs> just like, <laughs> and Trump is just flustering Biden's dumbass. Who did Biden? Do? He debated Sarah Palin. Yeah, and then also who's that other fucking idiot that ran with Romney? Paul Ryan was that him? Oh, yeah. That Paul fucking Ryan loser. ran for vice president. And he got worked by Biden, I think. This interview is... Re- I don't know why they published it. This is just some Russian guy. And so these are the questions. By this time, you had stopped competing as an MMA fighter? Not really, actually. You were still competing? Yes, maybe I stopped already. Maybe I stopped already. Uh, with <laughs> Virgin <laughs> Islands in Palm Beach. It was... I started working in Palm Beach. I would see him only when... Um, uh, where the fuck is it? Uh... And when he has to go to big jail, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that is verbatim. Does what he they say big? Yeah. Wait, but, what you just said is what is it's written. This is verbatim what is written <laughs> in the New York magazine. <laughs> yes, maybe I stopped already. Maybe I stopped already. Yeah, he was in the Virgin Islands in Palm Beach. It was, uh, he started working in Palm Beach. I would see him only when, uh, what the fuck is it? Uh, <laughs> when he has to go to big jail, actually. <laughs> 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 All right. That's when he was at Palm Beach the first time. I started before working with him in New York and Virgin Islands. You were in New York also? Yeah. You drove him in all three places. In New York, I didn't drive him. In New York, he had driver, whatever his name was. He was like old family. I just trained with him in New York and traveled with him. And I just drove him here in Palm Beach because other places he had different driver. They're just personnel, you know, you just drive him. Somebody drive him in New Mexico. Somebody drive him in Virgin Islands, actually. <laughs> I just drove him here in Palm Beach. <laughs> you went with him to all the other properties? Did you go with him to New Mexico also? Yeah. You worked with him and traveled with him 24-7, so that means you were on his plane, correct? Yeah. You lived in his guest house? Yeah. <laughs> you lived alone in the guest house? Of course. In Palm Beach, when we stay at Palm Beach, we have a guest house, and there's a property manager who lived there. He was working there before me. It was a Polish guy. He yeah. was <laughs> a Polish guy. Did he have bodyguard abilities like you? No. You were introduced to Epstein by a middleman. So how was it when you first met him? Pretty good. I never heard anything from him. Let's say it was improper, rude or something. He's always polite. Always nice person, basically. Always smiling. <laughs> always smiling. Yeah. Is he just got his dick sucked by a 12-year-old. He was always in a great mood. Yeah. This is just this is ridiculous. What did you teach him? Basic workout, lift weights, and a little practice some self-defense. Like boxing, kicking. <laughs> Was he a good <laughs> athlete? He's in pretty good shape. That's like, we got an exclusive <laughs> interview with Jeffrey Epstein's chef. And then they're like, what about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Like, I, that's, it's a sandwich that has a peanut butter and jelly on it. Uh, and Jeffrey liked to eat these. So, yes, he would have uh, sometimes uh, for lunch, uh, maybe, uh, but uh, not dinner so much. Uh, you have uh, different uh, different meals, you see. It's a breakfast, it's uh, uh, eggs, and uh, lunchtime, usually a sandwich, and then dinner, it's like a spaghetti meatball, or maybe a piece of grilled fish. <laughs> You're like, wow, earth shattering, earth shattering interview with a man who made lunch. <laughs> There's fucking nothing in now, there. Now, Mr. Epstein, video, has he ever heard of spaghetti? Yeah. There's a video from like Inside Edition or something of a girl that was like, I think she was a flight attendant on the Lolita Express. Damn. And or she's a woman, <laughs> whatever. And did, she said, wait, that hold on, shut up, uh, real quick. Er, did he ever talk about his case? Why was he in trouble? No, he never talked about that stuff. He never talked about any of that stuff. No. Really? No. <laughs> yeah. Exclusive. We have nothing. <laughs> Why did this guy even go on the record? 
Did he even know he was on the record? I don't know. It says, like, uh, whoever wrote this says that they interviewed him in 2015 when they were at the Daily Beast, and now he's recanting everything he said. Oh. So in our conversation in 2015, he describes his relationship with teenage girlfriends. So many times I tried to stop him. I tried to tell him my opinion about that. He didn't listen to me. That's the reason why I'm not working for him no more. I make him do that to let me go. Do you remember saying that? And he says... It's not the teenage girls. I never see the teenage girls. I tell you, I never see teenage girls. Plenty of time when I work for him, I never see anything on proper teenage girls around him. That's what they say. My man is trying not to get got right now, dude. I think it's just like, you know, yeah, it could lower his profile. So now you say only when you saw him. You know, it's funny, too, is like liberals go after Russia, and it's like Russians just lie. <laughs> but oh, yeah. you have to like understand that's just like a part of their culture. Right. Mm-hmm. It's not a part of our culture. We're supposed to have integrity. Mm-hmm. So people like the Clintons or whoever who are lying, corrupt pieces of shit, it's worse than when fucking Putin does it. Because Putin's just doing what he knows of how to course. do. Of course. All of the po- people Putin has killed, it's, that- it's like if you were able to save them and bring them to America... Within a month, they'd be committing insurance fraud. Mm-hmm. That's, That's what right. just, that is just what they know. It's that thing about the scorpion and the monkey, or whatever. The it's fuck. the scorpion and the it's monkey. It's the scorpion and the monkey, a classic <laughs> scorpion <laughs> and the monkey. Where he stings him at the end, or whatever. Where the scorpion stings the monkey. <laughs> Or, like, no. Come on, come on brother. A, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, that's not what the oh. monkey sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The monkey sounds different. <laughs> I, uh, maybe I've confused it. <laughs> come on, man. No, no, no. You sting that's my the scorpion. Head. That's what the scorpion sounds oh. like. Oh. For some reason, I get. No, uh, not even him. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not the monkey, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a, there's a video my friend sent yeah. me. Here's another thing you said to me last time about Epstein, the girls you saw at his house, specifically about moments when you're trying to offer him advice about his conduct. Sometimes he tries to make joke. He'd say, thank you, Grandma. I don't need your opinion. So, like, when the Russian guy was like, you need to stop having sex with kids, Jeffrey. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. Epstein really was on a hot winning streak. <laughs> if you're a pedophile, dude, you're just like, okay, man, I'm going to be okay, actually. Yeah. He's the best, dude. He had a hot, I mean. He was going for that Larry Nasser uh, record. Damn. Nasser's in jail, right? That's yeah. what happens when you're a solo pedophile. You get to spend your, the rest of your days getting raped in prison. Nasser's definitely getting raped. <laughs> Nasser's getting his whole absolutely worked over, and he deserves it, if you ask me. Yeah. <clears throat> it's called Justice. Scorpion and the monkey style. What were you saying, Adam? Oh, yeah, there's... Well, oh, yeah, that Inside Edition thing. There's a girl, this woman who's oh, yeah, like, the yeah, I worked, on the, I worked on the flight attendant, I'm, or I worked on the plane as, as a flight attendant. I met Bill Clinton a bunch of times, and he was great. Like, we went... We... Uh, we I... I worked on that trip to Africa with him, and he uh, took me shopping <laughs> and asked me to pick out a gift for uh, Chelsea. And when he, uh, when we were on the plane, he had liked to ask oh. me to make, sh- to make uh, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And so for some reason, the flight attendant, or the, the producer, gave her a, two pieces of bread and peanut butter and jelly and at like the end of the news item, she's like making the peanut butter <laughs> and jelly sandwich to like recreate making <laughs> Bill Clinton a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's the most insane thing in the world. It was like, yeah. what were those producers from fucking Inside well, Edition? Well, this proves thinking? it. She's not. She's not lying. Yeah, it's like, w- like if you give them enough of a story, they don't know what to do with it. Yeah, you like know. was she fucking Bill Clinton? Uh, may- maybe it seems like it, it right? sounds like it. But let's check. But why back. they say like, can you make one of those? Yeah, Checking back in on Igor, it's like uh, the reporters. The, this is mostly this reporter arguing with him that he said or didn't right, say right, something right. in 2015. So then now they're saying it's exactly what you said. I can send it to you. Here's something else you said. It could be tricky, you know. Normally he always checks his newspaper. It's nothing about me. I say no. He say they forget about me. And when I mentioned Epstein was being exposed for teenage girls, you said or sorry. And when I mentioned Epstein was being exposed for messing with teenage girls, you said, I'm not surprised at all. I'm just surprised how long he can be outside the real world. Someday, <laughs> it's going to call him, and it's going to be real jail. You have so much money, you can pay it off. Me personally, if I caught him doing something with my daughter or something like that, I'm not going to go to police. I'll do something else. Much worse. 
<laughs> that guy could try to sue me and manipulate the situation with his money. That's the American way. I know he screwed up a lot of fashion girls also. That's a different story. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> he laughs. He laughs, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember saying that? I remember said one thing like, if I be the father and somebody screwed up my daughter, I don't give a shit how much money I have. I definitely do some bad thing. That's what they said. Before that stuff, I don't... He's like, don't let know. me be on the record. I yeah. will murder anyone yeah. who fucks my daughter. That's, that's why he's fucking walking this back because he told this reporter he would kill Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Igor, I'm not making this stuff up. I was very careful. And he says, I'm really careful too. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you, pal. Yeah. Also, if you're this also reporter, fuck this reporter, exactly. Yeah. Why are you trying to fucking literally endanger this because, motherfucker's because life? Because here's the thing: all journalists are fucking sociopaths, and they only care about their own glory, uh-huh. right? You know, so yeah, yeah it's, he's not yeah. like we're uncovering any truth. Everyone knows Epstein's a fucking pedophile. Yeah. All you're doing is just making this man's life more dangerous. Yeah. Reporters will endanger and slander whoever they need to to get their story across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck them, dude. Unless they Enemy work, at, the unless people. they work at reason, in which case they're just autistic. Yeah, those are the only people. Those or are arguing for no um, age of consent laws. Well, that's because they're autistic, right? And they're like, well, if you think about the numbers, <laughs> it's like you have to think about the people. And they're like, I don't understand. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. The rest of them are the rest of them are a symptom of sociopathy. The reason ones are a symptom of autism. Mm. Beautiful, yeah. It's the monkey and the scorpion. <laughs> the monkey. Classic like, Man, don't be writing. <laughs> no, no, no. What you be writing no. about? It? I tried. To, no. I told you that in confidence. That's not. And the scorpion's what the like, monkey it's not my like. fault. I had <laughs> autism. <laughs> why? Why are you doing that? Actually, I'm. That's what it, I'm just. That doing. one's fine to differentiate the characters. <laughs> That one's fine. If I was, I wouldn't just do. Hey, I'm a monkey. monkey hey, scorpion. I'm a... I don't think I see. You. Yeah, that's because you you're not looking in the right place. You're not looking dude. in the right. You got to read between the lines. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP Rocky's fables. Mm. ASAP, ASNAP, ASNAP, ASUCK's fables. There's there's one from a website called hecticdad.com. What's it about? The scorpion and the monkey. Yeah. Shut up, dude. Shut your bitch ass. But this man. is like this is the him getting into a fight with the reporter now. I realize others tries to talk to you. Others tried to talk to you. Um uh did anybody offer did he ever offer you money? Did anybody try to silence you? He says no. Epstein never tried to give you money. I wonder what he was capable of doing since he settled a lot of lawsuits. And then he says, nobody ever wanted to offer me money. I don't care about money. I want everybody to just leave me alone. Just one thing. When somebody from newspapers write and from everywhere call you me, Red Army fucking commando, what's that mean exactly? Yeah, so this reporter's like, hey, this Russian guy that's just trying to earn a fucking living driving around the fucking pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Let's, bring, let's drag living. him back into the spotlight. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. I mean, it works. We're reading this shit. I, I would click on this shit. Yeah. I'm clicking on all the Epstein shit, dude. Mm-hmm. This is this guy's Vigo in fucking Eastern Promises. Yes, he really is, dude. Yeah. They're about to make him go back to the old him. Yeah. Dude, I love that picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Bugs. Yeah. I love that. Meme so much. I was talking about that the other day. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> Igor's about to kill this journalist, dude. And he would deserve it. Yeah. If you ask me. Listen, what you say is between you and me. Like this guy, like, look at the, the Russian guy publishing. It's saying this. Listen, what you say is between you and me. And then they publish that. You have a history at this point. One night you told me, for instance. That's insane. One thing you told me is he got a heads up when the authorities were going to come to his house the night before. You told me we get phone calls the night before at 8 o'clock. The police why, are going to Why you? Exp- yeah, what's the expose? You told me here? that, Igor. Want me to read the quote? Well, you can read whatever you want right now. Just don't. You can put yourself in big trouble. You said he will always do something wrong. There were some nights in question. See, it's funny. It's because like, if this journalist got murdered for doing this, it'd be like, he told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he told you you're putting yourself in trouble. Because this isn't a pedophile. This is just a Russian person. Yes. Which we have, you know, mm-hmm. which we have all agreed are, yeah. by their nature, sneaky. I think it's it's really time for the West to lose control of the narrative completely. Mm-hmm. You know, 
So you're thinking uh, Eastern a Russian, philosophy, Chinese, more of like yeah, an Orthodox, mm-hmm. you know, but still Christian, but Greek Orthodoxy. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm baptized. Just sort of like an Eastern yeah. Eastern Orthodox authoritarian regime <laughs> that rolls in and kills everyone. Okay. Then we all become Russian liars. Yeah, that's. I would. Yeah. I would like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, You'd I like to dive back into that? We keep Greg Proops in a prison. We keep Greg Proops in a prison where he gets to comment on everything but above a dunk tank. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, corruption? Uh, no thank you. <laughs> and then just, he's a uh, uh, fire hose filled with piss hoses in there. <laughs> you think the Russians would beat the Chinese, yeah. though? Corruption train. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the Chinese would beat the Russians. I think the Chinese got Russia, the upper hand. Russians... Is a, is a is a lazy drunk country. They're chaotic. They're too much chaos. Yeah, China will like let millions of people die. Just so will Russia will too, but they're not as organized about it. They used to. Mm-hmm. In old WW two, they did. I that. don't know, man. Russians are dangerous. It's like, what if Asians were white? <laughs> that's what. You know? That's what Patton said. Damn, dude, when you Russians, put it in that man. I've heard Russians say that themselves. Yeah. That's yeah. why Chechens are the fucking worst, because it's like, that's what, like, what yeah. if Asians were white, and but Muslim. what if they were Muslim? Yeah. yeah. Those motherfuckers are tough, I will yeah. say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, their national they, sport is MMA. They love dying. They love they it. They love being killed by <laughs> the government. Damn, dude. Fuck. Yeah, this is great. Um, I'm telling you to give you a chance to remember because we talked about this stuff. I know it's hard. I don't know what you mean by put myself in trouble. Let that go. Seriously, let that go. <laughs> Why is it so important? Are you worried about the local cops? Listen, you're really smart, and I'm not going to offer that over the phone right now, okay? Oh, my God. Jesus you're really Christ. smart. Like, we- <laughs> you have no idea. Please. Jesus what Christ. do you mean by that? I can't explain you. I can't explain over the phone any oh of this. Oh, my God. This is fucking, what is it, Naomi Watts being like, but what happened to the baby? And Vigo being like... You need to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just driver. You need. To <laughs> you really need to drop it. I just drive car. That movie is so good. I love that fucking movie, dude. It's so fucking good. You Ugh. said that last time, and we didn't talk for years. You can tell the world who this guy was. You were with him for a long time. You know what I mean? I totally understand you think he had could have had help committing suicide. First of all, I have to go right now. I have another client. Still training people? Yes, but just be careful. I'm not kidding. So what's your email so I can send you? Don't do any kind of that stuff. Just don't play seriously. Can you tell me why? I can't. I can't. Maybe I ask you just one more question. Just go ahead. Have you been talking with anyone in the government, the FBI? Have they come to you? Long pause. Great talking to you. (laughs) Seriously. We talk later. (laughs) Yo, wow. honestly, fuck this reporter, dude. Yeah. He comes off like such a dumb asshole. Mm. Here's from another thing from New York Magazine. How Moscow Mitch is helping the Democrats. Oh, my fucking God. Dude. What is the point? Why are they calling him Moscow Mitch? I don't know, man. The world is so gay. Is. That that would happen like all the fucking time on the truck. Is like mirrors would come off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah. And that's like, you know, I mean, nobody's... Nobody's stopping for that. I talked to one of the guys I worked with. I'm like, do you stop? And he's like, yeah, one time I I hit a guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the threshold. Yeah. He's like the mirror fucking like knocked, knocked some old guy out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, as he's like turning the corner, he's like fucking knocked. Him. And he's like, I got out. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he was like, oh, it's fine. I was like, all right, later. I'm sure he did not say it's fine. Yeah, yeah, he didn't stop. He ran yeah. over that old man. <laughs> so if you want a powerful cop. That's what that show Power is about. <laughs> 50 Cent 50, raping people. Yeah. Raping children. Yeah, 50 Cent being like, yeah, you know, the show's called uh, Power because it's not about, you know, sex. <laughs> it's about, you know, I don't, how's he, he like clenches his teeth. <laughs> yeah, he talking like this. He's got, That's pretty you know, good. A little bit like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, not yet. Not anymore. Not no, yet, no, yeah, I yeah. lost. I lost. I lost. Sorry for a second. He don't like these. <laughs> no, he, he don't like these. I'm, I'm using Blue Chew. From Blue Chew. Yeah, 50 Zane here for Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> do not be a pedophile. Yeah, this shit do not be a pedophile. <laughs> because I took a Blue Chew and she said my penis is so hard I must want to get full. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she uh. fuck my ass and say, look how much your little penis likes. See? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miguel, we're real sorry about that, but did you take the blue chew? <laughs> but, but she said it was candy. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch all, all the science and Kirk commercials from uh-huh. the 1990s. Mm-hmm. If you, what was it? If you have a phone, you are a faggot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Having phones is gay. Yeah. Um, Having a phone is gay. <laughs> If you have a phone, you are a faggot. <laughs> Science and Kirk. You know like some white the, teacher trying to fucking reach out to black kids that right. hate him. You know <laughs> who the coolest plays. MC of all time was? Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> One of those kind of Oh, teachers. yeah, the poster was Shakespeare with the sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, suck my dick, I'm not going to fucking learn. How about you let us get pussy in the classroom? Now <laughs> we're talking. That's cool. Want, how about you put some sunglasses on my, my dick? My dick and my <laughs> balls. I want, some, I want <laughs> double layers. Sunglasses I want them, on my I want dick them, and balls. I want and I want them getting hovering sucked. Hovering down on top of my dick like the deal with the dog. <laughs> well, I get my dick <laughs> in science class. <laughs> that, then I'll learn yeah. about covalent bonds, um, you dumb bitch. Excuse me, Mr. Garrity, how about we measure my dick in Stacy's ass? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that makes sense to me. You, f- you measure each girl's pussy, mm-hmm. and then you dip your dick in each pussy, and that's how you know how big your dick is. Uh, Mr. Garrity, come to the principal's office immediately. <laughs> uh, one of the parents said that you're... This is just a cruel joke, right? You're not actually letting the kids measure their dicks in the girls' pussies, are you? I, I was trying to be cool. <laughs> you said sit in I a gotta tra- reach these <laughs> inner city youth somehow. I spent $900 on Kangol hats last year, <laughs> and it did nothing. They, you said let find a way to reach these kids, and I said letting them get the get wet, get <laughs> get their dicks wet in class. I figured, yeah, <laughs> just stand and deliver. <laughs> He's like, hey, do you want to change your life? Maybe you should get some pussy while doing math. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would have learned so much if it was like, you will get head if you Or if it was like this. Veronica Vaughn taking off one piece of clothing. No, not really, because I could have just jacked off. But if they were like, memorize a fucking entire chapter of this book. But you have to get the answers right to have her take her clothes off. But I don't care about seeing titties, Adam. Yeah. I can see titties. Uh, today we're going to learn fuck. about the gooey. When you're 10 years old, you could not see ten. titties? Well, yes, but not 10. We're talking like 13. We're going to learn about the, the gooey breastimal system. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to all hold down Erica, and we're going to nut on her big pre-developed tits. Her I don't know about the holding down. Well, oh, no, that was an essential part of... Oh, really? Yeah, no, the, the girls gooey in the classroom are not... They are not on board with them. Oh, I thought they were on board. It no. was all consensual. No, 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 no. This oh, is the okay. fellas in the class. <laughs> I see. This They're is a saying, fellas yeah. uh, geared towards the fellas. Yeah, yeah. guys rule. So how would situation. the women learn? Yeah. Well, look, uh, I guess someone filed a Title IX complaint, so we have to burn the school down. <laughs> <laughs> because we found out what was happening in Mr. Garrity's class. <laughs> Suck my fucking penis. <laughs> I'm fucking gay. Suck my fucking penis. My dick small as shit. Suck my fucking penis. My little fucking gay <laughs> ass penis. <laughs> my little fucking yeah. fucked up penis. What are you boys watching in there? <laughs> Power Rangers. <laughs> okay. Would you rather molest a kid or drive drunk? <laughs> drive drunk? I guess so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess it would have to be drive drunk. <laughs> would you rather? <laughs> I thought that uh, Cruz and Joe List guy was a faggot. <laughs> it turns out he's, you know, he's from South Boston. <laughs> <laughs> from Quincy. So, yeah, I, guess, uh, I guess all that stuff he says is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be real. <laughs> We they there's never been any gay guys. There hasn't been a single gay guy. Yeah, I'm from from, uh, from Quincy. So a lot of times, uh, guys guys will come up to me after the show. They'll be like, oh, "All that all that gay stuff. That's just a joke, right?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gay. I'm like, but well, you're from Quincy. <laughs> I said, "Yeah, some people from Boston are gay." <laughs> then I don't know. They just start fuming and seeing red. It gets me kind of horny. Yeah, it gets me horny. <laughs> Bite him into the bathroom to cool down in the toilet. <laughs> and, uh, listen, buddy, looking a little red in the face. Maybe I'll shove your head in the toilet and fuck you. Maybe I'll suck you off from behind <laughs> while your head's in your bowl. 
<laughs> cool off from the, the tank. Back. Yeah. <laughs> well, I suck your dick from the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> suck me from the other side. <laughs> suck my dick from behind. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Ask you to suck on my dick <laughs> from my ass. <laughs> Charted black kid. Just sitting in the 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 library singing that, and they're like, "You have to be quiet." And you're like, "I'm singing the fucking full house." Theme. I'm doing the full house. I'm song. singing the full house. Shut theme. up! Fuck you, bitch. Fuck off! Fuck God you. damn it! Shit! You fucking bitch! Shut up! <laughs> Shut the hell up! I'm Just on the phone. Sh- Dude, how about looking at porn in the library when they come over? They're like, "Excuse me." You're like, "Shh." <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to shut the fuck up. I'm I'm just I'm getting hard ma'am, quietly. Ma'am. You're supposed to shut up <laughs> in the fucking library. My friend George saw a retarded man jacking <laughs> off in the library one time. <laughs> <laughs> his his head was right by the screen uh, yeah. and he just had yeah. his dick all the way out. <laughs> It was in our college library. That is perfect. <laughs> well, you seen that video of like that Asian kid beating off at the computer, and the black guy walks up to him in the library. He's like, "Hey, man, I got a question." And the Asian kid immediately pulls the chair forward, and he's like holding a folder over his head. He's like, G- "Fuck, get out of here! Don't to take a picture." <laughs> I have not seen yeah. that. And he's like, why well, you got to beat your meat in the library? He's like, get the fuck. It's my right. <laughs> get out of here. On, on Here you go with your identity stuff again. He tried to blame it on my fat. If he was like, listen, if you lose weight, it'll definitely stop. But he was like, I don't know. Maybe you're too fat. Mm-hmm. So he was, you know what? I changed my mind. This I am like a guy being like, and the doctor said... That I got HIV from having unprotected gay No, sex. it is not the same you thing, you that? motherfucker. This homophobic doctor <laughs> said that I it got is HIV not the same thing. from getting blasted constantly <laughs> at the Greyhound He station. did not fix my problem. <laughs> if he had said, lose 50 pounds, you won't piss anymore, that's not what he said. He was like, just lose weight, we'll see. I'm not losing weight just to see. <laughs> yeah, you have to be sure. <laughs> I have to be sure. sure. <laughs> Stop just... Sitting with sunglasses on and a cane in the doctor's office. He's blind now. I'm not losing weight just to see. There's got to be more incentive. I can still smell and taste all the chocolates. <laughs> honestly, in terms of enjoying chocolates, uh, sight is the lowest on should, the totem pole. Honestly, the next move for you should be becoming blind and getting really into Zydeco music. What's Zydeco? You know, it's like the music from the Popeyes commercials. What the <laughs> fuck have we done with our lives? No, uh, you mean done, what have I done with your life? You, <laughs> that's true. Was Adam, it? if you mind not moving around so much, your diaper's picking up on the mic. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. We can hear your diaper scratching. You know I don't wear a diaper. <laughs> well, then what's that sound, Adam? Adam? I'm, just, I'm just letting you know when you fidget Listen, like that. You're, you're, he, you're wearing what you're not wearing. It doesn't matter. It the doesn't point matter. is just stay still. Just stay still. For the sake of the recording. There's, uh, I, there's I'm some, staying as still as I can. <laughs> I've been a statue this entire episode. Your diaper's picking up. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to be... Uh, not trying to be fucked up or anything, man. Listen, we'll cut all this out. Don't worry. Please Just admit you're out. wearing a diaper just, and we'll cut it out. Just say you're wearing a diaper and we'll cut it later. You will cut it? We will. Just admit that you're wearing we'll one. So why do you need me to admit we'll it? We'll go ahead and cut it. Just go ahead and... We'll cut it. No problem. We'll go ahead and cut it later. Just you say know. you're wearing a diaper. Just go ahead and admit you're wearing a diaper and we'll go ahead and cut it. <laughs> I'm wearing a diaper. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the cutting device. Oh uh, no! That, I thought you do that in post. No, it's, well, we mail the podcast off, and then our office is closed today. Yeah, dude. That's I'm what ju- that's what doing in me. post means is that you mail. Go to the post office. Oh, you, post you have to watch well, it post the mail. The mail. <laughs> Shit. So that's not going to happen, I guess. Well, yeah, damn. Totally horrific ideas for stupid tattoos. Try to keep it to like five word descriptions or less. Okay. Maybe I can do one or two. All right, how about this? A swastika, Nick. Yeah. but all every branch of it is the N word. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrific. That does fit the yeah, yeah, really perfect. bad. You go there, get that tattoo. Yeah, fifty mm-hmm. percent off. <laughs> My, Miami's famous musical group, <laughs> Two G's in the middle, just hanging out. Yeah, we're the Two G's. We're the Two G's. My girl Naisha and Orlanda. Hanging off to our sides, 
Or the two G's. Or the, the two middle. G's in the middle. <laughs> 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 Just two white Tragedy producers. struck for two G's in the middle when it was discovered that the entire group was just in blackface. <laughs> he, he would shine. He, he shine, was sh- going around shining a laser pointer into retarded kids' eyes. Oh my god! Which dude. is the cruelest thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's and then, so objectively cruel. It's yeah. just so mean. Yeah. That you, you can't. They uh, don't know what a laser. You know is. what? I don't care who you are. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's playing a video for us. <laughs> Come on, get to the part where he says Get to the part where he Well, he's putting the balls in the ass right now. Boo, yeah. Take a look for old time's sake. <laughs> it really is incredible. It is so funny, dude. <laughs> I do that one with the gay kid at the freestyle club. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Making that boop hard with my mouth. <laughs> you can fuck my ass. <laughs> All right, you lose. Okay, time's up, Marcus. <laughs> no more gay freestyles, man. <laughs> Mr. Johnson said, you got to give me my whole time. Everybody gets their time. <laughs> you can't kick me out of freestyle club just because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking on his dick Sucking on his penis Making his penis hard <laughs> Fucking my ass Fucking my mouth Oh my god <laughs> Shut up Marcus <laughs> yeah. God damn Marcus it doesn't even rhyme <laughs> <laughs> Well lunch is over I guess I that's... hate this fucking club <laughs> Freestyle club It's <laughs> a gay kid ruining freestyle club <laughs> Suck Rap about some other shit, man. I can't wait to suck a penis. <laughs> the veins on my lips. We don't care you gay. Just stop saying Feels gay like shit. like the bridges on a Snickers bar. <laughs> <laughs> Rap about guns, man. Yeah. I got my nine on me. Okay, there we go. And I can't wait to suck on it. <laughs> like a penis. It reminds me of a penis. I can't wait to suck on my knife. Damn. That's pretty dark. Yeah. <laughs> Season two episode Bop Gun is like such a fucking good episode. Bop of Gun? Yeah. It's Robin Williams guest stars. Is Where he gets bopped off. He gets bopped off. He gets hit. Ooh, I'm getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, my dick's getting sucked. My dick's I'm being raped. <laughs> I'm bopping being, off. I'm being, Someone's got a gun. I'm being raped here by a criminal. Off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, Ooh. is it? Oh, he's got free legs from Long Island. Oh, he's from Long Island. <laughs> oh, it's one of those free oh, legs. He's, he's, got, he's got a flower in his hair. <laughs> oh, he's John Lennon. He's bigger than Jesus. <laughs> now I'm bigger than Jesus. Now I'm getting hard. Oh, I'm confused by my own body. <laughs> I don't know if I like it or hate it. <laughs> oh, I'm being raped. It's rubbing my prostate. Prostate? How about a constate? What's the opposite of a prostate? Is it a pussy? <laughs> <laughs> man, man, can you just stop doing that, please? <laughs> Quiet. I'm yeah. trying to I'm get trying my, to nut, get my nut off. I'm trying to. I'm trying to rape you, man. <laughs> no, I would say that's a sharp dressed man. That is a sharp dressed man. Everybody crazy for a gay guy with a hard <laughs> ass dick. <laughs> you got it. Girls go crazy for a guy who sucks dick. <laughs> 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 Industry secret it is. Well, a lot of people think would think that Steven Tyler was the guy around, but he wasn't. It was Todd Rundgren. Yeah. So she should go by Rundgren. 
It's a cooler name. Yeah. A father, that's just a man that nutted inside the pussy. It takes a real man to be mm-hmm. a father. And that real man <laughs> is Todd Rundgren. <laughs> Those guys on Mari. Yeah. I don't care how many people busted inside Brianna. I'm going to raise I'm gonna that little... I'm going to take all the financial <laughs> responsibility. <laughs> I'm going yeah, yeah. yeah. to I'm I'm ruin my own life. Even though... <laughs> well, that guy gets to keep raw dogging other Even women. though the test went even further and said that my dick was small for no reason. <laughs> they included that part of the test. <laughs> Even though Mari read it, and the test says that your dick is small. <laughs> That's inappropriate, Mari. Ooh, I'm gonna raise these kids anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna raise them like my mom. You, they my own <laughs> because you my huge bitch, Brianna. You my bitch. I just want to fucking walk around the food court at the mall with you, <laughs> and I want to get into fights at Fye. I want to slap your big face around at FYE <laughs> and raise them like they were my own dumbass kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just, just because these kids don't have my shitty genes <laughs> doesn't mean they're not going to be fucked up anyway. They're going to have the fucking abuse. I'm not. Doesn't mean I can't abuse them. I, as long as I get to <laughs> abuse these kids, <laughs> then it's fine by me. Because a real man is is not just some sperm donor. A real man is the guy that lets his wife fuck other people. <laughs> it takes a real man to not to just completely give up <laughs> and capitulate to a world that demands everything of him, including his dignity. Damn, that's dark, bro. Yeah, yeah. If we, if we all know 100%. the one, the one Maggie. Jones. When she had her fastball. Yeah, that's when she was really uh, peaking. Would you, I mean? Would you rather fuck Maggie or Jake? Maggie, <laughs> you've reached the desk of Charmaine Ultrasol. Mm-hmm. If you'd like to leave a message, please hang up and call us back when we are closed. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Just hanging up every call like that. <laughs> the guy being like, uh, Charmaine, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Have you been <laughs> directing customers to call back when we're closed to leave a message? If they would like to leave a message, yes, <laughs> Philip. Is there a problem with that? Uh, well, you should be taking the calls. Am I not taking the calls? Well, you're you're taking the calls, but technically and then, yes. And then what am I? What then? What am I doing? Well, the call has been taken, hasn't it? The call was taken, and I gave them an option. <laughs> if they would like to leave a message, they can call back when we're close. Then I, I what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to not take the calls or take the calls? These are your rules. <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna. I don't want this to turn into an HR thing again. So. I'm going to go hang out by the candy machine <laughs> and just uh, wait until this government contract ends. <laughs> and they fire us all. <laughs> it was for some... I got the job off Craigslist. It's a company that like handles moving electronics. So you need like just a basic <laughs> understanding of like plugs. And then they just hired you off Craigslist. They That's hired, awesome. They hired like, well, they hired like 50 people off Craigslist because they mm-hmm. move an entire office in a day. Right. Damn. So you get there in the, like like 6 a.m. They're like, you know, if you're new or whatever, like here's how it works. It's just some company that like special. They, yeah. they probably get a contract for $20,000. Exactly. Yeah. The fucking They move. pay you minimum wage. They pay you. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. Get, you get $15 for the day. <laughs> And you, uh, yeah, you just ba- you just like, have access to like government servers. Yeah, you bag you bag everything up. Like you know, you go into somebody's office. Like they're they're supposed to take all their personal effects, but yeah, it's like moving like five hundred workstations or something. Damn. So it was like a massive job. Yeah. Um, but there was like I mean, and yeah, it's like fucking DOE. Like nobody, it's not a fucking production company. Right. It's not something. It's not like multimedia or whatever. And there was some guy in his office that had two IMACs. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, there's absolutely <laughs> no way that this is necessary. That this government worker has two fucking $5,000 computers. I love that shit, dude. Just yeah. put in a work order and hope. Yeah. Hope they need to spend money before the next budget so they show that they've spent, so they don't get their budget taken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most, it's the dumbest shit of all time. It's uh, like, well, we didn't need any money. We saved actually $10,000. They're like, what the fuck? Go buy some dumb shit. Yeah, right. Or else they'll take it well, from us. Well, time to have a birthday party for Lorraine's cat. <laughs> well, she needs a birthday party. That's true. Fucking whore, Lorraine. Yeah, she's a slut. One year at my old job, they for, they forgot my birthday. I heard she fucked that janitor with Down syndrome. <laughs> no, she didn't. I would love to be the guy in the office spreading like middle school rumors. <laughs> yeah, I heard <laughs> she has her pussy's huge. I heard Charlene had nine abortions over the summer break. 
Like, what do you mean summer break? <laughs> well, I, well you know, I was gone I for was, a week. I was gone. I was learning how to smoke weed. <laughs> 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 I was, I was making a guy, bong out of the other a, guys a Mountain Dew bottle. <laughs> but the other guys who work at Blockbuster <laughs> over the summer were learning how to smoke weed. <laughs> we heard from a black guy that Lorraine has had nine abortions. <laughs> <laughs> he came in and... <laughs> from a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> the black guy told us. Yeah, some fucking black guy came in. <laughs> <laughs> he said this. <laughs> yeah, dude. Were well, you calling him a liar, dude? That's fucking yeah, racist, that's racist, bro. Man, will you hate black people or something? <laughs> yeah, Mark hates black people. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to tell him that Lorraine had nine abortions. You know, I don't know if you heard about this, but some black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and sure Mark, you've heard about Mark it. Mark said, "Oh, that sounds like a lie. A typical." N lie. <laughs> his direct word, his exact words to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, we fired you six <laughs> years, six months ago, man. Yeah, I know. I work at Blockbuster. <laughs> I just come here to smoke cigarettes and hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Showing up an hour before your Blockbuster shift <laughs> to have lunch at the office job that fired you <laughs> <laughs> in the shared courtyard. <laughs> yeah. I just to hang see, out I'm, at the cigarette spot. I'm trying to see my friend. <laughs> I miss these guys. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Lorraine Lorraine's pussy's in her ass, actually. <laughs> Lorraine actually she gave birth out of her ass over Cause the of, summer. Because the Chinese guy fucked her in the <laughs> ass. Yeah, she let some fucking Chinese guy fuck her. <laughs> Can you please so stop telling us the race <laughs> of the people in your fake rumors? Hey, even though it's not technically yeah, racist, it feels it? racist. <laughs> Yeah, apparently when you die, there's a chemical that floods your brain, and it's the same chemical that's in pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you trip. <laughs> it makes you trip, dude. If you go down on a girl, you'll go fucking insane 25 years later. That's why I don't do that shit. Not only that, it's gay, too. <laughs> Yo, dude, I heard Mark ate out that fat girl's pussy. You mean Mark's wife? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. He went down on, on Mrs. Chamberlain. <laughs> yeah, his wife? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. He went down. Isn't that gay? <laughs> That's a 37-year-old man. <laughs> Shit, I gotta go, dude. Block, blocky's opening up. <laughs> Damn, my 17-year-old boss is gonna be pissed if I'm I don't fucking, get there. I'm doing blockies and... I'm doing blockies. I'm like 15 minutes, dude. <laughs> There's a retarded guy that once he comes in every Tuesday to ask me about Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> ask the same goddamn questions about Ratatouille. Yo, I heard Charlene fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> no, he told me. <laughs> that fucking black guy was like, yeah, you see man, you know that Ratatouille reach on? <laughs> Guess who topped him his ass off? <laughs> Get, uh, hey, check this, man. I know, I know for a fact on sight. He's got a little. He's got a helmet on his dick too. Oh. They gave him a little helmet that he wear. He be wearing on his dick. <laughs> no, that's what. Yeah, some black guy. Just dude, go. this black guy, dude. Just a diff. Just some guy doesn't work at Blockbuster either. Yeah. Just hangs out, yeah. spreading rumors. <laughs> the source. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just the black guy that goes into rent Need for Speed at make, Blockbuster. Tell the security guards to fuck off. Just telling the security guards at his office job, like, yeah, you're a fucking loser, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> yeah, try and take my ass to fucking in school suspension. <laughs> what? Do it. <laughs> you can't touch me. You'll go to fucking jail. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't. You can't. You're not a fucking fucking rent a cop. <laughs> <laughs> John, come on, man! Please just leave. Please leave, man. Please just leave, dude. Don't make us ban you from the you, whole building. You're getting worse. <laughs> you're getting worse. You said one thing, and now you've completely regressed to being a 14 year old. <laughs> uh, just came here to practice smoking, dude. I'm just doing my Sublime <laughs> tabs. I'm doing. I just downloaded some Sublime tabs, and yeah. I'm smoking cigarettes, dude. I got yeah. a lot of pressure at home. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna. My get parents it. are splitting up. My 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 dad said that I can't do it, but when I go to Ocean City this summer, I'm getting a, a tongue ring. <laughs> <laughs> Girls like that shit, dude. dude. Even though I don't eat pussy, it makes you better at kissing. <laughs> I'm gonna be so good at kissing <laughs> next year, next summer when I turn 38. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna be so good at kissing bitches yeah, at Benegas. I met this Ukrainian girl at MR Docs who said she can get, <laughs> she she can get o, uh, KB. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are smoking mids, dude. Yeah. This Ukrainian's got KB. This Ukrainian dude. girl said she knows where to get KB. <laughs> What's KB? Kind bud, bro. Come on, dude. Oh, that's a Maryland thing or something? No, no dude. BC. Clearly, you don't smoke weed. Kind BC, bud is kind, like what like BC, hippies say. BCKB. <sighs> wow, dude. This BC, man, I know. BC Crondo. Mm, yeah. This man doesn't know about weed, dude. Check this shit out, dude. That's you smoke mids. 1968. You smoke mids, like, Adam. There's no, a, I don't. There's a black guy that yeah. comes in. Don't say that on the fucking black podcast. This black guy was I'm supposed to admit, this no, don't that say that on the MR podcast. <laughs> you said plenty of stuff about me on this podcast. He say, yeah, he says he can get AK-47, which is government. It's the government. The shit they're yeah, growing yeah. a lab. The dude. government, it's called White China. <laughs> <laughs> I remember... It's made by white Chinese people. <laughs> I remember my friend Nate was trying to sell, uh, or actually my friend uh, J- John, a different guy, was selling weed <clears throat> at some point. In my life, <laughs> and he got all this weed that had like you know when you'd be like, dude, look at the sh- look at the strain, yeah, dude. dude, look at the colors, and it was like kind of orangey, yeah. And he was like, what do I call this? Like it's okay weed, and I was like, dude, just call it like Maryland Red, uh-huh. right? And then uh, and then some guy tried to sell him weed, like he was like, dude, I got this other guy was like, dude, I got this other batch, it's crazy. And uh, and he was like, "What's it called?" He was like, "Arizona Green." <laughs> so it's just it's like not even a fertile <laughs> state. It's just completely it's selling and bullshit. You ever sell weed? Yeah, I sold weed for what was it? Four months. Oh, that's right. Remember when Adam was a fucking drug dealer? Mm-hmm. It was fucked up, dude. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. You can take. You can place bets <laughs> about yeah. how many abortions Charlene had over the summer. Yeah. Anyways, no, we're gonna start talking about mybookie.com dot com in a second. <laughs> but I just I told you I was in Starbucks uh-huh. the other day, and I oh, yeah, you the, the, over the barista just being like, "Yeah, no, he came in here and he said that uh, he said you know I over uh, I OD'd in the bathroom uh, like two years ago, but I'm rich now, got my life together, and living at the Ritz Carlton." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he said he's rich. He turned his shit around. Yeah, you know how rich people go to Starbucks, tell baristas how rich they are. They live at hotel. They live at the Ritz Carlton. They live at the Ritz Carlton. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can borrow a gun from Dan Crenshaw and kill myself with it. You should. That would be the best way to go out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be like, Dan, come on. It's me, your boy. Come on, dude. Let me borrow a gun. It's your boy, me. Dude, it's me. Let me borrow it. Come on, dude. Let me see one. No, I need it for cool. I need to just be chill with it. <laughs> That's why you borrow a gun from a friend is to be chill. To have it in your fucking... Oh, have I, it right here you in think your I waistband? Need to, I don't have time for a background check. Dude, Man, I just on. need to borrow your gun. Let me just see it real quick. And not do anything with it. <laughs> uh, turn well, that's, turn. The, that's the genius's turn. Yeah. yeah. You, you just take Trump words. in there. Oh, damn, dude. I know that's a cat's food, but I got excited. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard treats hit a bull, yeah, Nick has automated treats for his cat. Oh, that's so funny! So and I was like, it's "Damn, not, it's not treats; it's food." Yeah, food is treats. The cat's, cat's not getting automated treats. That kind of defeats the purpose of treats. I guess the cat gets treats when it does something. It's for like positive reinforcement. You know, just you give your cat no. CBD? The, p- the purpose of treats is to enjoy the treats. There's a. The the purpose is the, of the treat in and of itself. No, it's to train the cat to do things. No, no, no. I come when back in. And you know what? This is exactly our fundamental philosophical difference. Mm-hmm. You are fat. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will ever be good. And when you really think about it, it never was. No, the famous Polly Walnuts. That yeah. shit's so good. Mm. Do you ever feel? Well, Christopher's like, do you ever feel like nothing good ever happened to you? And he's like. Yeah, nothing did. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's great. Still trying to get over be- being vampires. That's cool. So you don't think even a guy was a vampire ever? They're like, you can make a movie here, but it's not, uh, you don't say with vampires. Is that where they make all the Seagal movies now? Yeah. Like Romania? Yeah, and like fucking Hungary and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Damn, we should write an where's, action movie. Where's Budapest? Hungary? Hungary. Yeah, I think that's where. I know, it was, man, I should get back into watching this. Seagal movies. We should, we got to finish take, that series, dude, that we started. Oh, that shit was amazing. <laughs> Which series? 
<laughs> and so it was like fucking true justice. Yeah, man. yeah. It was clearly With set it was in New Orleans. It was supposed to be in New Orleans, but they shot it in fucking like Vancouver. In Seattle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Seattle. So it's like, you know, he plays Elijah Kane, who's a former Cajun, who's now uh, like <laughs> Seattle police. Yeah. And so it's him and they going, f- <laughs> they it's him, he's constantly going into the, like the bayou. <laughs> yeah, but it's in so, Seattle. It's in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, y'all, y'all, y'all done come around here too long, being kidnapping girls. If I find out who been doing that, we gonna have problems, son. <laughs> you know, where it's like this mix of, because like, after Glitter Man, he was he just became you're black. black. You're yeah. a black man now. Yeah. yeah, you you got your black belt in. You got yeah. I'm a fifth degree blackface. <laughs> I was reading about a family that went to some like go kart track in Michigan. They were mm-hmm. on vacation, and then the wife, uh, her scarf got caught in the axle. Jesus and, Christ! Like, fucking, she's just permanently in a. Uh, she's like Terry Schiavo now. Jesus, <laughs> off a of what? A Ferris wheel? Off a go kart? A go kart? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't really feel like it, honey. Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. Come What's on. the worst? It'll be fun. It'll yeah, be fun. Right. <laughs> it's for babies. <laughs> Go kart. Mm-hmm. That's what the bitch gets for wearing scarves, dude. Yeah, that shit is so cruel. Like anytime I see like a, you know, it's like this is this is uh, Galen and he's five and he's a freaking badass <laughs> kid, but he's got cancer, and yeah. we need we just need. It's like yeah, I don't care. You know, I don't care about this. I don't care about... Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem particularly tragic to me. Maybe it's because it's ubiquitous. But a woman that, like, begrudgingly goes to some fucking dumb... And that guy probably... Nobody wanted to go on the go-karts. No. They're like, I guess, fuck it. We're on vacation. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Mm -hmm. do something. Yeah. (laughs) We should all do something together so we can have... And then it just rips your wife's head off. (laughs) And you're like, okay, well, I guess that's our vacation to Michigan. Yeah. You ruined it. Damn. Vacation getting decapitated. Vacation now. That sucks. Because that's one of those things where it's like, in so many junctions, you could have been like, let's not do this. A hundred, yeah. Let's not fuck. Let's not do any of this. Let's not go on vacation to Michigan. No, that's, first of all, that sucks dick. Let's not even look at the go kart place. No. Let's not bring our kid to our shitty trip to Michigan. No, let's just fuck. For let's put a our second. foot down when he wants to d- demand doing something. Can mm-hmm. you imagine the kid if he like threw a tantrum for that and your mom's retarded the rest of your life? Yeah. Well, he's probably like, you should have wanted, you should have agreed sooner, bitch. Yeah. It's guys like that that reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like, the they have to live re- with that pain. The for show's the rest really of their life. helped. <laughs> they're like, I <laughs> killed my mom. <laughs> By demanding to do a go, so I can really relate to when you say you're depressed, and it's like, no, I can't relate to you at all. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. no, your life is awful. I'm sorry. I'm really fucking sorry. No, I just terrible. have such a stupid brain. Like, yeah, no, my life's really good. My life's great, <laughs> but in I'm fact, a piece of I'm, shit. I'm one of the luckiest people in the entire world. <laughs> yeah, easily, <laughs> absolutely easily. I'm living a lottery ticket life. Yes, you have a horrible situation. I've, I have never considered any kinds of consequences. The amount of things that have just gone my way when they should. <laughs> I'm not a good guy. I don't deserve it. I'm not particularly talented. There's no. There's no justification for any of it you were just a child that wanted to go to, uh, very earnest and sincere wanting to ride a go-kart mm-hmm. should not be blamed for this but on yes. a vacation but please to escape your parents bickering your probably. parents bickering and now your father has to live with that for the rest of his life <laughs> and you every yeah. time he looks at you come on just once that's what he sees <laughs> oh my Replaced god in his head <laughs> <laughs> Just dad, please just once. Just one time. Oh Mom, you God. too. It'll be fun. Mom, come on. You want you never You guys do, never want to do anything you together. Never do stuff with me. <laughs> <laughs> this will be good. We'll all do it together. <laughs> oh my God. Just the, the beeping from your mother's machines in the other room. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Each Beep. breath. Is a is another dollar out of your life set your family's life savings. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have NHS over there. Oh, I guess nice. that's you know what. It oh, is, it's Canadian? No, I think they were British. Oh, they were British. Oh, they were British and they went to Michigan. I think so. Yeah. Oh, oh that no. sucks. You know dude. what? It's funny. It's like now I'm like reframing the story where they're like, "Come on, let's ride the the go kart." <laughs> what's the worst that can happen? These f- fuckers don't have healthcare. These fake motherfuckers. They don't have healthcare like we do. <laughs> 
go ahead, crash into me. I'll go, I got, I got um, 10 million dollars, uh, pounds worth of free band-aids back home. <laughs> Yo, what, the, what the fuck is going Denise, on? Denise, your scarf, <laughs> your British scarf. Is, <laughs> your big stupid British scarf is caught up your in the- Burberry scarf. In the lorry's wheels. <laughs> How about four of rocked. these books by black women? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That gives me that gives me triple pussy. Oh yeah, you give him give him some some Marquez, and you're getting oh, top, yeah. top shelf pussy. Mm-hmm. You give a twenty a twenty year old a copy of Love in the Time of Cholera. Oh, yeah. yeah, you line yourself up mm-hmm. with some Primo Vagino. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you can say that one again, brother. Yeah, Primo Vagino. Primo Vagino. Oh, I thought you meant that idiom. Like, no, I mean, I you please, wanted me to say it again. I did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I meant it both figuratively and literally. I love referring to books as pussy tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to cash in a pussy, please. Yeah. Oh, and then, I, you know what? That's, I want to make a shirt, and it's got John Waters on it, and it says, if someone reads books, you have to fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if a man gives you a book... If a man gives you a book, you've got to you suck You must dick. fuck him. Bitch. <laughs> you stupid bitch. John Waters. John Waters. <laughs> <laughs> and just a different gay guy with a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> is this the picture? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Buscemi with a Photoshop mustache? <laughs> That's been Steve Buscemi and Miller's Cross. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the tuxedo, yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. The in cheating the Sims, from my neighbor's in wife. the Sims because they speak like you know they're like <laughs> mm-hmm. but I can't remember if you have a black character. Is he like about a wood about Did that does that happen in the game? I do, I'm gonna say no, oh, okay. but I'm not positive. All right, I just wanted to check. <laughs> It would be awesome. Come back up and I dig it down. Come on, bow to big it down. Come on, bow to a duck and we ready. Okay, now what about a Chinese? Yeah. Thing? I mean, it's just, yes, Chinese. It's just Chinese. big Chinese. <laughs> They're That's speaking easy. perfect Mandarin, and everyone's yeah. like, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Such gibberish. gibberish. <laughs> yeah. Absolute nonsense. Oh, yeah. Do I suck dick? Nah, what? Do I fuck good? Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Having gay sex? What? what? No, <laughs> Having what? straight sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, the one. For sure, that's my that's, shit. That's a love, dude. Gay yeah. on the inside, straight on the outside. <laughs> gay on the inside, straight on the outside. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream paint job. <laughs> I'm shit, dude. I think about pussy, fucking. I might. I actually might start thinking about pussy in a second here. <laughs> yeah, hold now on. Now that you reminded me, get in a minute hold or on. two. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna start thinking. I'm about actually pussy. gonna start thinking about it any minute now. <laughs> In fact, I was gonna I, I was gonna clean some stuff around the house, but I think I'm gonna mm-hmm. sit here thinking about pussy. Yeah, instead. I'm gonna just think about pussy. Yeah, and any Dude, just right. My, in it's one. all about Penis visualization. Going in in three, th- two. <laughs> Let's all think about what? pussy at the same time. One. Wow, I love. Oh pussy. my god, dude! This I, stuff is I can't get enough. I'm, right now, I'm like visualizing it. Yeah, I'm actually, like I love. It's visualization. I'm actually thinking about it right now. I'm seeing the pussy cheeks. Yeah, I'm seeing the little pussy the balls. balls. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I can't even wipe my own ass. I'm not gonna. I never even finished wiping my ass. How are you gonna wipe my? Say you wipe my memory. Away? That's so mm-hmm. true. That's true. Well, Yana, they wipe your ass for you. Yana, <laughs> saying here, my client molested this child, and then her memory was wiped. Mm-hmm. I can't even wipe my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is the situation where that is what he's arguing against? I can't even. <laughs> I can't even wipe my own was ass. Guy, wait, his client molested the kid, but her memory was wiped, and then he's arguing against the idea of a memory wipe. Uh, yeah, I, can't, <laughs> I can't even wipe my own ass. <laughs> you going to tell me that this little girl had her memory wiped? I do not believe it. Not not for a single day of the good Lord's Christmas <laughs> will I believe that this child had a wife. I pull down my pants and show you the shit smeared up all, all the way to the top of my ass crack right now. And it's, it's not a matter of technique. Okay, uh, I guess your client is guilty then. <laughs> 
If well, she didn't have her memory wiped. <laughs> no, what I'm or saying. she did have I'm it. saying she's lying. Oh, okay. Because if she had her memory, if the point I'm making is that I, how could she have her memory wiped could, if you no can't saying, yeah. wipe your ass? Because they're saying she remembers it If the it lawyer now, for the rapist can't wipe it. She's saying they remember it now, Bluetooth.com. She's saying <laughs> she remembers it now. <laughs> <laughs> They say she remembers it now, but she right. did it before because her memory was wiped. <laughs> right. And what's understand? crazy is he is probably like, what does a memory wipe even mean? Yeah, they say that she took a blue pill. Morpheus, my client Morpheus, <laughs> gave her a blue chew pill, which wiped her memory. I'll have you know that blue chew is actually a dick pill. It's the best in the business. I take it myself. As a man that experiences an inability to fully wipe his own ass, it's often hard for me to get erect when a woman is recoiling from the smell of my booty cheeks covered in shit. And I go to bluechew.com. No questions asked. No doctor visits. They connect you with an online specialist who'll get you diagnosed with bad dick in a, in a uh-huh. heartbeat. In a Tennessee heartbeat. In a, in a yeah, the, that's the right. Staccato <laughs> rhythm of a of mm-hmm. a Tennessee heartbeat mm-hmm. by a quarter note. You'll have some of those famous blue jazz <laughs> blue gum pills sent Thank directly you. to your house. Thank you very much, Mr. Morpheus's lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Morpheus's lawyer in a rape case. So they're gonna sell they're gonna <laughs> tell me that my client wiped this little girl's memory with nothing more than one of the most effective dick pills on the market today. <laughs> G- generic brand Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable format so it can work it works quicker. up to twice as fast <laughs> as the traditional medicines, but not for wiping the memory. Of this little girl here, mm-hmm. who I, I, I will assert again, I can't even wipe my own <laughs> ass to completion. That's I bad. dated this girl who had this dumb friend who got pregnant because, like, she was dating some guy that was like, "Oh yeah, I ride a bike and I drink uh, Mountain Dew all the time, so you should just let me bust in you." <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's no sperm in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. He was just nutting. Respect. <laughs> like, not even no condom pulling out. Yeah. Nutting all in her <laughs> pussy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I brought a bike. <laughs> Respect, dude. You guys did some alt comedy for the good old boys? <laughs> I think we were driving through there, but I don't remember what the fuck was going on. And we got barbecue. Or was that with Brandon? I don't fucking know, dude. The point is, it fucking scared me, and it was like a little shack, and the barbecue was good, but everyone was like even fatter than me, and it was sticky, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and everyone was ugly. And I like, who's like this it. skinny boy coming out of here? <laughs> oh, this man think he fancy because he got most of his teeth. <laughs> 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 we got a little anorex. We got Callista Flockhart coming through, <laughs> showing off the <with> chompers. <laughs> <laughs> what is way wayfish? <laughs> Eat some, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. You got my man coming to here looking about ten pounds. <laughs> yeah, that was cloud. Oh damn, dude! I just got spooked like a lizard because the sun disappeared. Spooked like a lizard. <clears throat> spooked like a lizard. Spook look like a lizard. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, like a- there was some libertarian guy that was like, "Oh, so Greta can talk about." Yeah, but oh, that yeah, guy, but, uh, what's his name? He's Murphy trolling, right? He has to be. I mean, I don't think. No, he was. I think he's actually he doubled a libertarian. down. He, I think he's actually a libertarian, but the guy <laughs> is. <laughs> his whole thing is like just saying, just coming up with the most wild shit to say. Well, no, he, 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 he stopped in. He does not like finish the take. The, the take is if it's it's okay to listen to Greta, but for Epstein not to fuck sixteen year old yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is that's so awesome. That is. Oh, oh, children cannot want to die, yeah. but I can't get my dick sucked by them. <clears throat> First of all, the questions they do them in reverse order. Which is like, what the? F- how are you supposed to know? The first question he goes. You know, he says, let me get uh, famous paintings for $200. I'm like, okay, what painting? Well, I don't know the fucking paintings. Yeah. And though. he says, this, uh, her famous smile, this guy says, her famous smile is known all over the world in this classic painting by Leonardo Not da Vinci. Not clicking, yo. Ask me in the regular way. First of all, there's only one answer to that in this faggot. Yo, yeah, you know, you your, fr- your boyfriend Leonardo paints for you, yo? Yeah, first of all. There's only one answer to that one. And I, I'm and not going to say it, 
Yeah. But I may have already done <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, fuck. Yeah. The fucking council said we're not supposed to say slurs no more. The, yeah, my <laughs> I'm by my the rules of my probation. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yo! I got caught stealing car batteries, <laughs> and I can't call people gay no more. They said no more slur. They charged me with a hate crime <laughs> for st- for calling everybody a faggot at the Napa <laughs> while stealing batteries out the back. And how did I know they was all gay? Yeah. I was just calling them that because they called the fucking police on they, me. Yeah. <laughs> Come to find out, them them were all fucking gay. It's a gay napper. It's a gay napper. They did a they did a now this a little sixteen second video Dude, about I, it. I keep being called out by that now this company. <laughs> Every two weeks, yeah. they got me on there. They fucking, got a new fucking video about my God. A video yo. of me saying some shit <laughs> like we ain't all been mad before. <laughs> yo, you put a fucking, you put the D to your grandfather's house on the Ravens beating the Browns. You're going to say the N word a couple times you're when go- it doesn't come in. You're going to get into a fight with a child at Panera Bread. <laughs> You go, yeah, that motherfucker was looking at me, yo. <laughs> that little, thing. and I don't care what people say. Chinese people can read people's minds. They can read. They, they should go on that Epperty show. They should go on Epperty. Yo, I was watching Epperty the other day. <laughs> it's my face. It's I this, fucking love Epperty, yo. yo. This famous orange bridge, and I was like, boop, 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 the Garfield Bridge. Yep. And mm-hmm. he's, no, turns out, come to, to find out, gold, ain't even no Garfield Bridge no in Garfield the world. Bridge, it's the Golden Gate Bridge. Which the first of all, bitch? Then why is it called go- Golden? Yeah, it should be which Golden no, Bridge? The orange, is famous. No gate. There's no gate. Ain't no fucking gate it's there. A, your options are gate or bridge. You chose bridge. Should be called the orange. Orange bridge, bridge yo. Not the, the orange gold. bridge into Homo Town. The gay town. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Damn. <laughs> delete this, yo. <laughs> delete this live blog I that we're that. doing. <laughs> Yeah, everyone was telling us we need to get into Twitch streaming. Mm-hmm. So, but th- no, don't nobody snitch on yeah. us though. Yeah, we got a show on NPR coming up called Our Talk. <laughs> it's like Car Talk, but with hard R's. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got a letter here. My my uh, 1993 Honda Civic <laughs> is having trouble starting in the winter. Okay, and uh, I, I I've used so what I've used cold start cold that cold start stuff before and that works, but for whatever reason now that's not working anymore. And sometimes it stalls a traffic light. Okay, so what do you think that could be. First of all, you Shut black the bitch. Fuck off. I don't know. <laughs> Who the fuck you think Hold on, yo, that you're getting you... mechanic stuff for free from me? <laughs> Wait I've never second, touched yo. a car in my How life. How do you know what race she is? Because it's our talk. Oh, okay. Everybody's... Okay. Wh- you every- assume everybody's black. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you assume... Yo, and for, here's the answer to every question. Go to that fucking gay Napa and steal whatever the why fuck you, you need. Get, why don't you head to the... I'm not going to say it, but the faggot Napa? <laughs> no, yo, stop oh, saying oh, it. Oh, right. Dude. We're about to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because it's, it's like, you know, this show makes too much money. Yes. And it's like, wow, this is weird. And it kind of puts you in like a weird, like, you know, it makes you feel weird. Mm-hmm. But then I think about stuff like that. And it's like, that guy probably has so much money. It's like, it's not even, he didn't do anything. Yeah. There he was did. already. He had one dumbass idea for yeah. a second. I know, but it's like balloons already existed. That's true. He's like, what if there was just, but it, all it did was you. You put it on his, and because they don't work either. Yeah, they stop working about four. They four never soon. work. You have to sit directly on it. If you put it under a cushion, it won't work. I remember trying to prank people with a whoopee cushion when I was a kid. You do you put it under the chair and you, or you wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they just sit on the chair and nothing happens. <laughs> and you're like, well, this is fucking this fucking sucks. This is stupid. And then you make them just sit on it. That, it would just never work. I tried hiding that fucking thing everywhere under the carpet. Hmm. You know, be like, hey, mom, come in here. She'd be like, no. Be like, can you (laughs) please? Please. I never ask anything, please. Can you please come in here? I'm like, can you stand on that lump? (laughs) (laughs) Please, you're gonna you're you're gonna be such a fucking dumb bitch. Yeah. You're gonna accidentally fart. (sighs) Does nothing. Be like, you farted, you you (laughs) piece of shit. (laughs) Fuck you, mom. Fuck you, you You fucking farted, you dumb. (laughs) Nice job farting, (laughs) bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Ha, 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 ha
<laughs> what did you fucking fart, you <laughs> idiot? You're so you stupid. You fucking stupid <laughs> piece fucking, of shit. You're stupid. Go back to supporting I'm my glad, life. I'm glad you got a divorce. <laughs> I'm glad you're go being, go back to drinking in the kitchen, I'm bitch. Glad by alone, having, I'm glad you're ha- you're experiencing a divorce right now. <laughs> fucking farting, <laughs> fucking farting ass, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's how you wanted it to work, but it, it just didn't work like that. <laughs> that's how you wanted it to go of down. Course. All you wanted was for that to happen, for you to say those things <laughs> uninterrupted. <laughs> For about seven minutes, just tee off on your recently <laughs> divorced mother. Just to fuck her ass up you, for farting. And she's like, I guess I probably did fart. You gaslight her. Ga- <laughs> gaslight your mom with the whoopee cushion. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make her rethink some things. <laughs> that is the problem with whoopee cushions, man. Uh-huh. That whole thing we just said. Yeah, she's like, I don't think I farted. You're like, well, maybe it came from your pussy. <laughs> your divorced pussy. <laughs> How do you even... You're, you're six years old. How do you know these things? How do you even Shut know... Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, or I'm going to tell the fucking... The arbitrator that you beat me. <laughs> I'm gonna run, Admit you uh, farted I'm, out of your pussy, I'm gonna, or I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna you hit s- me. I'm gonna sign an affidavit. <laughs> I'm gonna find an, a file an America's brief, a friend of the court that says that you beat me. I've got it in my prankster kit. <laughs> I got right next, it came right next to the whoopee cushion. <laughs> it came with the whoopee cushion. It's an affidavit <laughs> it's a, already signed and notarized and that child, your parents beat you. And a, a child <laughs> Affidavit. Make your parents' divorce worse with the, the with the sneaky devil prankster kid. There's a whoopee cushion and a signed affidavit declaring that in, whether you put your mom or your dad's name in here so that it says they beat you. <laughs> buy the special molestation add-on uh, buy, just that like, comes with a, bu- a hand buzzer. Just like Harriet the Spy. <laughs> And use these doctored photos of your dad getting a blowjob from the babysitter. Just cut and paste your dad's face. Just get a picture of your dad with the included Polaroid camera and paste his... Use the double-sided tape to paste your dad's face. And then use these pre, pre-stamped envelopes to mail them to your mom. What does, <laughs> with a note that says just felt like you should know just wanted to trick do pranks to your parents <laughs> kids only kids only only kids allowed. parents if you're in the room walk out right parents now. are not allowed to watch this commercial <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude that's a good product a little pranks to that little devil prankster kit uh-huh <clears throat> It's a suction cup to put hickeys on your mom's neck while she's asleep <laughs> before your dad gets home. And this is just a little cocaine to put in her coffee so she, she puts, fails her drug test. So puts, she gets fired <laughs> from her secretary job. And then she won't be able to support you. You'll get to live in an orphanage you with get a bunch of cool kids. Just boys only. <laughs> Playing Genesis all day long. Doesn't Se- that sound great? Doesn't that sound cool? There's Sega Saturn at the <laughs> orphanage. It's just, it's just a, a product of, um, of the guy who owns the orphanage to molest <laughs> children created. They just have it overrun with young, mischievous boys. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Now, the coolest, Made by Haim Saban. The coolest prank. Now, introducing the fake. Uh, uh, the fake mammogram results oh, no. <laughs> collection. <laughs> you can sneak into your mom's at the doctor. Sneak into your mom. You can make her think she has breast cancer, <laughs> and then a note from your dad that says that's why he left. <laughs> it's because he doesn't want. He already knew. The idea of your mom's breast being sick disgusts him. It's just disgusting. All of that and more in the deluxe little pranksters the, the, kid. The, 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 the prank helping kids be the baddest boys 
<laughs> for kids only. <laughs> parents, no, not allowed. No one watch. Parents don't watch. <laughs> it's a vault. There's a vault with a combination <laughs> lock on the outside. <laughs> and only kids know the. It combination. says kids rule. Riddlings, you have to be on Riddlin to use this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell your mom you're gonna keep setting fires in this school trash can until you get. If you don't get this if you little don't kit. Get this kit and a sweet prescription to Riddlin. <laughs> that you need Riddlin every day. <laughs> every day you need Riddlin medicine and the prankster kit. <laughs> from the bottom of the pool Yeah and Then you look up from an aerial view And you just see Big ass SH Yeah GSH mm-hmm. Wait What? GSH no. Your initials No that's, no, that's My initials are SH no, My name is Stavros Halkis Gay Stavros There's no Halkis. What? Are you fucking serious, oh, I'm dude? I'm sorry, man. The contractors already did the pool <laughs> Fuck How much is it gonna cost to fix it? You can't Because the water's already in there there's no way uh, you can't take the water fuck. out. Fuck. That's how pools are set up. Fuck. Now. Well, what am I going to tell people that come to my house now? I don't know. You can tell them it stands for something other than gay, but... Well, yeah, of course. That's but not my name. The problem is is that there's uh They're going to know I'm lying. No, there's a butler who hands out little notes cards to people that says the G stands for gay. <laughs> what? And we already Whose paid... butler is I'm that? I'm sorry, but we already paid the butler. Who? How much? Went to Kinko's and... How much is the... What could that possibly cost? <laughs> for how long? Does he have a lifetime contract? Look, he's union. So you <laughs> he's in the union. <laughs> when does the contract look, ran out? Look, you can't get rid of that guy. He's in the union. Right? Oh fuck! Well, this is really fucking annoying. Yeah. Can we ask him to hand out something else? Um. Well, I don't know. I don't, <sighs> like what? A sign that says I'm. Not, it doesn't stand for gay. A uh, sign? You want him to hand out a? So then only one person will get it. Uh, you're right, dude. Fuck. That's impeccable logic. Well, I suppose I'm going to have to tell people my first name is Gay and my middle name is Stavros <laughs> from now on. There's no other way around it. <clears throat> but I got to be honest with you, man. I'm not too pleased about it. The Joker at a mass shooting. It would have yeah, been the best been culmination. Poetic. Great, because we went with, whole... with Matt and Matt was laughing the whole movie. Mm-hmm. And there was a black woman in front of us who kept like turning around, looking scared. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> and Matt laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Matt was you know, laughing like, the entire I guarantee movie. all these dumb fucking blogs have people convinced that they're in danger by going to the Joker movie. Yeah. I know. Lethal injection is the literally the worst way to do it. Really? It's like the highest failure rate. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. 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 And you're just in pain. You're in pain. No, I thought you go to sleep first, and then they like that often doesn't work. So there's like two drugs. The first one like is supposed to like knock you out, knock you out, and the second yeah. one stops your heart. But if the first one doesn't, because you can't get like doctors to do it because of the Hippocratic oath, so they just have like you know a prison some guard, guy fucking prison. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll get overtime for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Is he black? Yeah. <laughs> if he's black, I'll do it. But if not, <laughs> I ain't doing it. I brought my own super soaker. I got yeah. Can I do it with my? Can I plug own? my own super soaker into the tubes? <laughs> can I put my super soaker yeah. in his ass? Yeah. I we ran out of the poison, so I've been using my piss. <laughs> I've been drowning them in piss. <laughs> it's what I do with rats. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking do it. Fuck it. Who cares? Yeah. I ain't got shit to do. I ain't got shit to do till 8 p.m. till Ravens play on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one time I'm pretty sure I downloaded child pornography. <laughs> but other than that. <laughs> <laughs> what does he say? So Seth Simons goes, same energy, and he posted a picture of the Joker and Donald Trump. Oh. Which is like. Shut. God. Oh, oh my God. You fucking loser. And fucking Norm MacDonald wrote, hey, you fucking piece of shit. It's you that's the Joker, a failed stand-up that kills someone who got a TV show. I cannot wait to meet you, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. That's so that sick. That is awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, everyone, attention. I'd just like everyone at uh, 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 Bergman & Associates to know, for Karen's uh, 57th birthday, we have a special guest. Frank Sinatra is going to be singing <laughs> in the office. 
<laughs> hey, everybody, how are you? Thanks for having me here at the 110th floor of the North <laughs> Tower here. <laughs> It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> Eight oh two a.m. How you doing? Beautiful clear skies. I'm so glad I don't have to take the elevator. It takes so long, doesn't it, folks, to get down those stairs? And there's a beautiful big bird outside saying hello. And he's getting closer. You can. <laughs> Dude, I would watch that. I would watch a show that's just a bad kid that fucking just hurts people's feelings. Honestly, I would love to watch <laughs> just it. Yeah, it's called Bad Kid. <laughs> yeah, just an eight-year-old with emotional problems. <laughs> yeah. It's like pulling You're the fire fucking along. ugly. Just fucking like, just uh, raising his hand in third grade and the teacher calling on him being like, I heard you got raped over the weekend. <laughs> Some, I heard, I walked past the teacher's lounge and I heard that you were raped on your date. And the teacher's just like, the tea, like glory, a single tear going down her face. That's not appropriate, Derek. Derek, go to the office, please. Derek, go to the office. Stop telling me I got raped, please. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, every weekend you tell me. Okay, I'm going to go to the office, but I'm going to be laughing about you being raped in there. <laughs> <laughs> just the just the <laughs> shit he is. Yeah, absolutely. This is a show called <laughs> Shitty Kid. Shitty Kid is a great show. <laughs> oh, fuck. Did your husband break off the engagement because you're yeah. fat? Uh, your husband left you because you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we're cutting and pasting, are you going to cut uh, your wrists and eat pastries? <laughs> 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 because you're fat. <laughs> and your husband left you? <laughs> I'm just asking! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that, would be, that would be a perfect show. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Derek. Ma'am. Go, just go to the office. Just Derek, she's crying. I'm not answering. Just go to the office. Derek, she's crying. She opened up to us. Can I have 50 cents for the vending machine on the way to the office? No, Derek. <laughs> Can I have 50 cents for the vending machine in the teacher's lounge? Derek, I keep lending you money. <laughs> can I have the key to the teacher's lounge so I can get a fucking Minute Maid? <laughs> the next, the next year, I'm I'd not trying to cuss. I just don't know. I'm mad. <laughs> and if I had a minute made, maybe I'd fucking feel different, bitch. <laughs> He's six. <laughs> <laughs> He's in first grade. <laughs> They'd put my man straight up in special ed. <laughs> It's just a rude kid with a bunch of retarded kids. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the behavior kids yeah. going to special ed. Which are the worst kids to be around retards? <laughs> the bad behavior kids? <laughs> really, yeah. It's literally the worst kind They're of like kid. prison rapists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting those retards in Jed Pop. <laughs> Adam, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 okay, Jonathan. All right. Stop telling the retarded kid to shut up. <laughs> Just being written up. He told the mentally disabled student to shut the fuck up <laughs> for trying to spell his name out loud. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck. What? He's an idiot. He's That's what the term stupid. used to be. I read it in the fucking encyclopedia. Okay, well, why don't you read other things in the encyclopedia? Why don't you suck my dick like you never did to your husband so he left? <laughs> okay, just go back. To Can that. I watch Pokemon? <laughs> Can we turn the TV on? Can we Pokemon turn Peppa on? Pig on? <laughs> this is the fucking five-year-old that loves Peppa Pig. He's still five. Asking you about your abortion. I'm trying to watch Bob the Builder. <laughs> Um, can we put the TV on? <laughs> but it's fucking raining! So it means we can't have recess later! So we should be able to watch videos in class, you fucking bitch! Because yeah. Philly's a pretty cheap yeah, one. Yeah, you know, that's the reason, yeah. But like, DC's DC, way more expensive. DC and like, Boston's way more expensive. Yeah, I keep, I keep typing in Silly Belfia, but it doesn't come up. <laughs> Silly Belfia. I don't know why when I I try to take the train, but when uh, I type in Silly Belfia, <laughs> the, the city does not come up. <laughs> okay, are you trying to go to Philadelphia? Yes, Silly Belfia. <laughs> okay, well, you're <clears throat> retarded. <laughs> oh, How no. Do you <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Day Labor will return next Thursday at 8 p.m. on ABC Family.
<laughs> will we ever get the George Lopez show? <laughs> will we ever get to Silly Belfia? <laughs> Tune in next week to find out. Yeah. Uh, when I get to Silly Belfia, I can't wait to have a Billy B steak. <laughs> <laughs> they make the steak out of Billy Bees. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Billy Bees so much, but they are pointy to me. <laughs> they make sweet honey, but they are so pointy <laughs> to me, the Billy Bees. <laughs> what is the Billy part? He's what does like he he's think? A blood, dude. That's why he talks what? like that. What does he think Billy Bee means? I think he thinks they're bumblebees. Oh, okay. He thinks a Philly cheesesteak is a, a Billy Bee, bee steak. steak. And that Billy Bees are bumblebees. Because he eats bugs. Gotcha. gotcha. And he loves bumblebees because they make honey, but they're also they're, too pointy. They're pointy for him. <laughs> <laughs> they're a little too pointy. He's scared for his, about pointy. <laughs> for his taste. He's he could do a duller bee. He's too, I love to have a birthday because you wear the hat, but the hat is too pointy. <laughs> He's scared I'm a, of I'm scared of my birthday because the hat is too pointy for me. <laughs> Will George Lopez have a birthday? <laughs> Find out next week on ABC Family. Yeah, my man must hate forks. I'll tell you that. Yeah, much. the forks pointy. I was going to take a test. They see this in ship test, but the pencil is too pointy. <laughs> I know all of American history. I can pass the test, but I'm a fr- scared of the pencil. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? They just announced the Bam Margera Bipolar Tour hosted by Scumbag Vinny P. Hell yes, dude. <laughs> Hell wow. yes. Wow. What's the lineup? Where are they going? This let's, can't be real. Let's plug their dates. They're doing a Dinopoly Stone Mill. Is that a real <laughs> place? <laughs> Jeez, back in the mix. He's got another spot. Listen, I got a new business. <laughs> It's failing terribly. You gotta help me out here, <laughs> guys. Guys, I'm underwater. My fucking <laughs> cocksucker brother in law. He owes me three hundred thousand dollars. The Napoli Stone him. Mill is that what it's called? Yeah, I guess so. I love it, dude. Gene DiNapoli from Cumtown will appear. <laughs> <laughs> they're just oh my that's, god that's a good piece of they're like that, it's like Vinny is like one of those fish that just like exists in the mud at the bottom of a fucking swamp <laughs> yeah. he's a fucking he's just tilapia feeding, feeding on the shit and he just eats of <laughs> shit oh my god man. he's eating squid good for shit. him so they're 7 p.m shit. showtime uh in tuckahoe new york Damn, i guess this dude. is a real thing when is it you got to go to www.scumbagvinny.com. Ah, uh, he's handling ticketing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did he make a website, Scumbag? <laughs> Jeez, Vin. Um, what what day is it? I don't. It does it not. Does, the flyer doesn't date. say the date, huh? The, the flyer, but Bam posted on his account. So wait, maybe they, it's a joke. I don't know. No, it's real. Is it real? You looked it up. I mean, Vinny's been texting me about it. Oh so. hell yeah! There's no. I thought it was breaking news just now. There's no time or date. We got to go to scumbagvinny.com to find Smart, out. Smart, dude. Smart. Drive the I traffic. I want to go see Bumble Bam Borgenia. <laughs> Do you have a ticket to see Bumble Bam Borgenia? <laughs> In West Chester? I want to go to West Chester. No? But when I try to buy the ticket to Silly Belfia to go to West Chester, they say that it's sold out. <laughs> They have a bath filled with pee-pee. <laughs> they say they have a, ba- a pee-pee bath to go to the bathroom. December 9th. Dude, the description on Vinny's website is amazing. December 9th. Our mission is to deliver an amazing experience of a great night of entertainment. <laughs> unlike something that has unlike something that has not been done before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is that? So no, he's true. just struggling. So true. For the shows that we did do with the Bam Margera Unfiltered Tour, all of our fans had an amazing <laughs> For time. For the shows that we did do. <laughs> <laughs> He fucking absolutely And knows. we are going to give that experience times 10. <laughs> Special appearances, live stand-up comedy by Scumbag Vinny Beetle from the Come Town Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Scumbag Vinny Beetle from the Come Town Podcast. Along with his explanation of the mess with Bam's, 
with Bam, including going to Walt Disney's World. <laughs> he <laughs> called it Walt Disney's World. <laughs> no, <he didn't. laughs> yeah, I, I'm going for Valentine's Day. I'm about to go to Walt Disney's World. <laughs> yeah. The return of Homo. <laughs> <laughs> Basically called me the Gordon Gecko of gecking pussy. You know <laughs> Hi, I'm Gordon Gecko, and I geck. They call me that because I geck pussy. Geck pussy. I geck pussy. <laughs> what is that? Well, you mean like geck? You're fired. You beat up on TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> so sick. Bam knows not to do that with Vinny because Vinny's from an Italian neighborhood. That's right. <laughs> you grew up in a rough neighborhood. I grew up in an Ital- Italianzo style mm-hmm. neighborhood. VIP meet and greet available at all shows uh, comes with a photo op with Van. I, I wanted to get a VIP ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Do wow. they have a VIP? General admission. Do you have a banner legation? Let's let me let's go ahead and click and see what the price is. My guess is <laughs> they're well. going to be very reasonable. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like two hundred fifty dollars for the regular. It is fifty dollars. Not so bad. Steel, steel, and for the man, I VIP love, experience, I love, it is a hundred dollars. I love scam <laughs> artists, dude, because it's like they never. Well, the they VIP, don't understand like the very basics of like, you know, like, uh, like figuring out like a balance with the market. Right, right, right. They just they never. They're like, man, I'll sell you this. The stolen laptop for nine thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like, like make no. the tickets thirty dollars. That's still robbery. Yeah, but people will buy. It's them. robbery to charge anything. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's right. going to get canceled. <laughs> 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 Knowing that, just you know. But I listen, mean, don't go to that show. But go to the Napoli Stone Mill and just have a nice piece of pie. Yeah, go support support Gene, Gene if you have to. I would say do that. Should we go eat at the Napoli Stone Mill? Mm-hmm. Is it a restaurant? I, I don't know. Let's check. Let's check it out. I'm glad Gene's back on his feet. Me too, man. And I'm glad he's still keeping the Napoli name in the in the business. You got it. That's a name that means something, you know. Uh, it appears it's called the Old Stone Mill, but I think the uh, Napoli Stone Mill Restaurant. Oh, it's a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Traditional Italian cuisine. What else? DiNapoliStoneMill.com, everyone. Yes, they are on Grubhub. Yes, they are on DoorDash. The Smashley. How you doing? My <coughs> name's Gene Ooh, the Smashley. They'll, they'll also have... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, please. No. That's a good one. My name's Gene the, Sna- the Smashley. And, you know, they like me because I smash. <laughs> I'm Elvis. I smash. <laughs> I smash I'm pushes. Italian. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. I'm Italian and I smash. Um, <clears throat> they're, they'll be having Mara Geist, spiritual medium, oh. at the Napoli Stone Mill on November 6th. They gave up on the black comedy thing, though? <laughs> they, won't, they won't have black comedy <laughs> there anymore. Yeah, we got black comedy. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be, there's going to be blacks. <laughs> oh, still one of the best the way, days of my saying life. Saying blacks like you're painting someone's skin that color, is it? You're slathering on shoe polish when you say it. Black. 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 Black comedy. Black. <laughs> yeah, dude. You make more money just having vending machines. Than stealing them? Than stealing them. Yeah, it seems very cumbersome <laughs> yeah. to steal a vending machine. She's in broad daylight putting chains around the vending machine and... And <laughs> attaching it to the back of my car, <laughs> just driving up, just sparks, <laughs> yeah, ripping it up, ripping it in from in front of the community pool. At least you're like, yeah, we know where he's going. We go to that pool hall. <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> they just meet you there. Yeah. All right, Mullen, give us back the vending machine. Just give us the vending machine. Back. <laughs> Uh, fellas, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an Italian business. <laughs> There's nothing nothing shady going on here. Just a couple of Italian guys hanging out drinking Surge. <laughs> drinking fucking Sprite remixes out of our beautiful machines that we brought from home. <laughs> For lunch. 
Our wives all gave us. All me- packed this a vending machine. Hey, all- <laughs> <laughs> As you can see by the serial number, this was. It says. Mine, Nick's vending machine, don't touch here where the serial number used to be. So. Where the serial number's been sanded <laughs> off. So I don't, I don't want to hear anything about the public swimming pool. Okay. <laughs> None of us mentioned the pool, Mr. Mullen. <laughs> Or, or, or Mr. DiCrescio's <laughs> grocery store. I don't want to hear anything about that. <laughs> I just want to enjoy my lunch that I brought from home. <laughs> Chained to the back of my car. <laughs> <coughs> that is correct. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, well, if I had a toddler, they would be getting none of that shit. They'd be getting pussy, dude. Yeah, they toddler. would be getting pussy for Christmas. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stop crying and fuck your pussy, yeah, son. Stop. We got you a pussy. Because <laughs> you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna appreciate this when you're older. <laughs> Some fucking prostitute. You're crying now. But you know, when you're older, you're going to thank me. You're going to think shit. about this memory and love it. Uh, yeah, you're going to be glad. Now fuck her. That your daddy was. A, fuck her in front of your whole family. Was a player. <laughs> Just a Russian guy that drives See, me around. He's like, what are today, boss? And I'm like. To the fucking vending machines, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we got, you know, you yeah. know where we're going. Oh, you know where we're going. We got the chains. <laughs> but we're about to make some money today, pal. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna. We're gonna make about twenty five dollars. <laughs> then go to jail for three years. <laughs> Steal and vending machines. Yeah, but the, the parts. <laughs> We take the money in the machine, usually about forty four dollars. Yeah. <laughs> four dollars. Walking like fifty feet into the mall with a chain that's clearly <laughs> going out the door, <laughs> looping around the vending machine. They're like, Sir, sir, excuse me. Sir, what are you doing? I'm He's like, nothing mom. to see here, boys. I'm just going to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm a, I'm actually a police officer. I'm an Off FBI duty. agent and a police officer. <laughs> just keep adding <clears throat> That's right. I'm in the CIA. I'm in the central. I'm in the bureau. I'm in a PIA, the piss intelligence agency. Mm-hmm. I can drink any liquid and tell you if it's piss. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hired by the government to do exactly that. Uh, now I suggest you let me do my job yeah. before I have you drop those trousers and piss into my mouth. It'd be nice having that job because you get a lot of money. The problem with having a lot of money is you don't know where to put it. So that's true. Because mm-hmm. being a vending machine. Aficionado, as I like to call myself. Yeah. I I tell people I'm in the sanitation business. (laughs) (laughs) Like, you work with garbage? And I'm like, well, vending machines, mostly. (laughs) Vending machines, but I wish I was in the mafia. (laughs) (laughs) So I tell people I'm in the sanitation business. I affect an Italian-American accent, and I... I do very low level <laughs> stupid crime. <laughs> I pick the stupidest, the mo- kind of crime that makes you the least money and draws the most attention. Yeah. Putting chains around machines in busy locales and driving away <laughs> as they drag on the street, oftentimes getting caught on mailboxes and yeah, hitting children. We call it this thing of ours. <laughs> 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 his, his, his fucking accent like killing a pedestrian while <laughs> whipping a vending machine around the corner of a town 50 miles per hour and it smashes into the front of a gelato restaurant <laughs> it kills a woman and her six year old mm-hmm. uh-huh. your ridge wallet yeah, which is you. a great wallet a great which wallet. is so good that it makes it very easy for Stav to remove the card and read it it was it was a blast it was it, so it, it was, was very easy. fun it sounded it was fun. I was laughing the whole time. They got an RFID blocker <clears throat> in there, which blocks oh, boop, <laughs> boop, <laughs> and uh, the other people with identity disorders. <laughs> <laughs> I I actually had so much old shit in my old wallet to keep the shape of the wallet, so right? The stuff doesn't fall because it got so puffy. It gets it. puffy, yeah. and then it's like, well, if I get rid of, it's this... like a pussy. You have to keep stuffing with other guys' dicks, exactly, mm-hmm. to make your dick feel good. Sounds like right. my old lady. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, my wife is so loose that I I have to let her fuck other guys 
And so they, that you can keep her tight because if their dick wasn't in there, yeah. there would be no... <laughs> to be clear, you're <laughs> fucking her while their dicks are in there. Yeah, yeah. Right. and I just want her to be happy. Yeah. You're basically fucking the center... Oh, I don't want center. her to be happy. I want to feel something. You're fucking the center of two dicks that yeah, are both yeah, in your yeah, wife's pussy. Well, it's you're four splitting dicks, the actually. difference. Mm -hmm. No, nah, it's just... Lane's two. splitting. Yeah. It's funny. Indian food is like fucking now. It's like what? Fucking, where it's like... I love it, but I don't want to deal with the consequences. <laughs> yeah, I can only do it every, like, couple yeah. months. It just makes me feel like absolute shit. Yep. And then I got to go get tested afterwards <laughs> to see a doctor to make sure my insides Your are Your ass is <laughs> uh, ruined forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. He's cool. Jeffrey Epstein. He was half black from the waist down, baby. <laughs> no. mm. Dad had a goatee. No, my dad. My dad had a good. How'd your dad? Your dad, awesome. your dad you talked to your dad after awesome, the World dude. Series. I did. Yeah. Is he stoked? Well, my dad. My dad's so funny. He's like, he like he, uh, like uh, literally right after the game ended, I was like, "Hey, congrats! I'm like, hope you guys are. I hope you having a nice night or whatever." He's like, "Yep, going to bed." <laughs> He's like, "That'll help me sleep soundly." Today. He's been waiting. <laughs> 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 His reward for his team winning the World Series is one nice <laughs> night rest, as opposed to the waking nightmare he lives the rest of his time. <laughs> this will be nice. I'll smile tonight. <laughs> I'll be happy going to bed. <laughs> just <laughs> just God, not having an anxiety bro. attack for one night. <laughs> so wait, somebody just somebody sent me a message on Instagram and said, Kid from my high school stole a soda machine from outside a liquor store, chained it to the back of his Durango. Hell yeah. Cops got him literally one block later. <laughs> <laughs> I love Incredible. It. That's so funny. Incredible <laughs> respect to that man, yeah, dude. Jane had maybe 50 feet of slack. <laughs> <laughs> Just going around corners. <laughs> so funny. Salute, dude. <laughs> Send that man a, a bunch of free merch, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> There's just a line of cars backed up for 15 miles. Just 15 honking. miles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of people want, just want the new Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> Lord, if they got that retarded boy doing a good morning, Vietnam again, when the new sandwich coming out. 15 miles. <laughs> Haven't waited for the D.C. from Baltimore. I'm the next town over. <laughs> I'm trying to go to the Popeye's three towns over from here to get my, my spicy chicken Popeye sandwich. Because mm -hmm. I've been done seeing the commercial. Mm -hmm. It's back. I've been back. done seeing the commercial. Okay. To interrupt this character. <laughs> Adam, you have a review of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I tried it today. How did you feel? I thought it was normal. <sighs> wow. I haven't had it yet. I'll... But I didn't have it in the shop. You, you know what I mean? It, you would have it fresh. Like fresh. I got it delivered, but it came pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It was a under 15 minute Did delivery. Did you get fries with it? I got Cajun fries. The Cajun fries go off. Of course. Fuck, I love Popeyes. And you know what? I had some Cajun fries left over. I ate them like four hours later. Still tasty. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Some of the most reheatable fries in the industry. Really? It's say. true. McDonald's fries suck Garbage, dick though. after like 20 minutes. McDonald's you have to eat like as it's coming off the Immediately. Fucking, as it's coming mm -hmm. off the griddle. A hot McDonald's fry though. Great that way, stuff. If you get backed up on some Good Morning Vietnam stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I waited for my food for 30 minutes. There was a guy who kept saying, good morning, Vietnam, into the headset. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> That's right. Very good, Eric. That's very good. That is correct, Eric. Good job, Eric. <laughs> uh, people are mad. There's a helicopter outside. Apparently, the cars are backed up for 15 miles <laughs> into the town over. They refuse to take him off, though. Yeah. They don't 15 him. miles makes me think about 15 Minutes of Paradise. Remember that game? Hey, folks, oh, right wow. here in Hanoi. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, he's good. becoming Robin Williams. Yeah, he's just very what good What if it's at a it? story? It's the only thing he's good at. What if that's Robin Williams coming back? He's like life? a savant. Yeah. No, he's he's haunting a retarded From voice. Saigon to Hanoi. Yeah. Oh. The Hanoi. I'm the Hanoi. The Remember that guy, the Noi? Pizza, <laughs> pizza, <laughs> little Caesar. I wonder what, 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 what happened to little Bruno. <laughs> You got a little Caesar, but have a little Bruno. <laughs> yeah. Brutus? A little Brutus. <laughs> little Brutus. Little Brutus. <laughs> little Brutus pizza. Yeah, now they call it something like that. Good morning, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Mm -hmm. And the movie's called Mrs. Shoutfire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's like, first of all, I'm going to be loud. And she's like, <laughs>
I'm coming. I'm coming from the old to, school. I gotta be honest. If somebody pitched that to Robin Williams at the right time, oh, one hundred percent, of course he would. Done it in blackface, yeah, with a, a cameo by Billy Crystal <laughs> as the jazz man. For whatever reason, there's like the audience applauds when he first comes on screen, <laughs> like a sitcom. There's no, yeah, there's no audience for the rest. There's of no the audience. Movie. But Billy Crystal shows up in blackface. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. He just stands there smiling. The away, Kelly Bundy <laughs> treatment. Waiting for them to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Cheering for him. Waving. That yeah. would be awesome. That would be an awesome flourish in a yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, like Tar- not unlike yeah. Quentin Tarantino. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, he would do, he does. When he writes things. the N word? Yeah. And then, yeah, he goes, you say and then the, the first thing Billy Crystal says, he goes, you know, he waits for them to calm down. He's like, Sorry, I'm late. I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> then the audience laughed. I'm like, good to see you, Billy. You know, good, Billy. Yeah, Billy. <laughs> nice, pe- nice penis, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> no, very good. Very, very good penis. Good penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Annihilated that bit. <laughs> Annihilated. <laughs> yeah, Kill streak. Very, very good. Very good. Penis Billy. Very good. Penis Billy. <laughs> hey, man, thank you. Well, how does, what did he do? Not Sammy like Davis Jr.? Oh, yeah, sure. What would he do? Hi, yeah. it's me, Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> Thanks for noticing my penis. Thanks for looking at my penis. <laughs> well, I don't even know. Uh, I, have no, I have no idea. Nice penis Billy. Hey, very, very good penis, Sammy. <laughs> Ooh, let's get it hard. <laughs> <laughs> and his kids are just sitting there screaming. <laughs> Is he in the blackface sucking I'm trying off? to win you back <laughs> from your slut mother. <laughs> She's a slut. She's That's a, a fun whore. word, isn't it? Slut. Because you can hear the dicks going in her pussy when you say it. <laughs> slut, 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 slut. <laughs> You're going to hear him hitting the back. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, doesn't it, Billy? Nice penis. Yes, <laughs> Billy. Does it sound like that, Billy? Yeah, does it sound like that, Billy? Back me up on this one. My kids are here. <laughs> You're going to back me up in front of my kids. Dad, we know it's you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's talking in his regular voice. You're doing your normal As a fat voice. black lady. Mm-hmm. You're just wearing a black lady clothes. <laughs> Oh. Mrs. Shotfire pulled her dick out and was complimenting Billy Crystal's <laughs> dick. <laughs> Mrs. Shotfire, Jessica said something very strange. To me. <laughs> First of all, do you know Billy Crystal? <laughs> you know Billy Crystal? Because my ex-husband, Robin Williams, was good friends with him. <laughs> and I'm always worried that he's going to try and use a disguise to sneak <laughs> back into our lives. Oh, hell yeah. This, so this is like kind of a Curb Your Enthusiasm style uh, show. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. Or uh-huh. movie. I, I mean, I would could have sworn it was you, Robin, but I'm pretty sure that he killed himself a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> in his way out. Mr. Shotfire, I have to be honest with you. I, I really thought uh, you if somebody told me that it, you were Robin in disguise just doing blackface so you could compliment Billy Crystal's penis, <laughs> I would believe them. But luckily I know you I, I know you, he, you committed suicide. <laughs> Ooh, that's or good. He did. He committed. He did. Yeah. So he, you he, must be Mrs. Shotfire. Yeah, that's a weird coincidence. Isn't that crazy? The week after he killed himself. Get that penis in there, Billy. Billy, you know, you know, show my pe- show my children your penis. It's the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> Everybody's out and Billy's <laughs> penis is up. <laughs> am I gonna suck it or am I gonna fuck it? <laughs> it's the world series of Billy's penis. <laughs> 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 oh yes oh yes oh wow damn salute to sally fields getting her cheeks clapped by fucking mm. james bond dude mm. oh movie. yeah he plays the other man yeah pierce brosnan i always thought it was weird when his son catches him peeing in the mrs doubtfire clothes and he's peeing standing up and his son's like all like well, isn't that the reveal his son knows and they're on cahoots now Mm. Well, I don't think that he knows it's his dad. I think he just thinks Mrs. Doubtfire is a penis. No, he knows it's no, his dad. It's, what is that how he finds out? Be like, it's me, your dad. Yeah, of course. It's a major I, I part know, of the movie. I know you'd recognize my penis anyway. <laughs> now it's no Remember when Crystal's Uncle Billy penis. would come over? <laughs> <laughs> I have news for you. That's not Sammy Davis. <laughs> 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 I don't want my husband, ex-husband's friends showing my children their penis anymore. So this I have a restraining why we got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> you and 
Billy Crystal <laughs> would come over. <laughs> you Billy yeah, Crystal Ted a recut, dancing. A recut, a recut of like <laughs> you'd be fucking hilarious. He just recut this is that part so it opens with the scene of him in the dress and his daughter seeing his penis while he's missing. <laughs> and then cuts to Sally Field being like, Robin, I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> so he was already dressing up like that bitch. <laughs> he cut out all the Harvey Firestein mm-hmm. shit. Just nothing where he's normal. No. <laughs> and then that movie. Oh, and a customer's <laughs> down for me like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she left him because he was doing Mrs. Oh, Dab- heavens, <laughs> child. He was already pretending. <laughs> oh, good heavens, child. <laughs> that movie ends and they don't get back together, right? It's no. Like, but they're happy now. Yeah, and they're happy. She's happy with her new man. She's getting her fucking the pussy message stuffed. of the '90s. Uh-huh. Every movie in the '90s was like, you know, those things will kill you, and some guy quitting smoking. Yeah, while you know, like an alien's hunting him. Right, right, and right, then, right. And then you know, it's like divorce. Divorce is the it's worst actually, thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's good. Yeah, because your like, parents still love you. You know, as much as people talk about like white people being overrepresented in media. Like the, the divorce. The, the divorce obsession. In the was, 90s, yeah. yeah. It was insane. Or the dead parent. Well, How successful, like, Pearl... I mean, Pearl Jam is a good band, but yeah. all of their songs are like, I just found out I have a stepdad. <laughs> now I'm pissed. <laughs> and I'm singing about a gay pissed. guy. That Eric wasn't actually my dad. <laughs> oh, he didn't realize that wasn't his yeah. dad. My real dad died in Vietnam. <laughs> and now I have to drink a beer. <laughs> Here I am drinking a beer at 2 p.m. Later than the 20s, but yeah. Mm-hmm. How much later? This motherfucker's old as shit. Yeah. He's not a not 100 years old. <laughs> this is like it's <laughs> close, bro. A, a seven year old Jack Nicholson sitting at the dinner table and there's no dinner served, and his mom's like, or his sister's like, I'm going out on a date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see one of my fella friends. <laughs> if you catch my drift, little guy. There's a couple of hot dogs in the ice box. Feel free to help yourself. I'm going to go suck off an entire fleet. If you catch my drift, I'm going to blow... A bunch of sailors. <laughs> I'm going to put their dicks in my mouth. 1937, which by pretty close to the 20s, by the way. We yeah. don't have any mustard, but if you want to squeeze some of the old cum out of my panties <laughs> and use that, I'm sure it's pretty sour by now. <laughs> <laughs> so horrified. <laughs> so he's like, I guess I gotta be an actor. I gotta, I gotta fuck all. Souls. Jeez, mom. I guess if you want to be a whore, you don't have to. Be, <laughs> might have to be such a whore to my face. <laughs> I'm six. Wait, so he found out <laughs> in his thirties. Yeah, I guess he found out when he was thirty-seven, bro. Wow, that would yeah. fuck me up. I guess. What? If, yeah. What if he jacked off? I mean, not that he jack. Not that you jack off to your sister. I don't know. I don't have a sister. But mm-hmm. what if he jacked off to his sister? And then he was like, "Wait, mm-hmm. that was my mom." Yeah. Mm-hmm. You think that? W- Listen, I'm doing this because I'm trying to get you into that nice new retarded <laughs> school they have down the street. <laughs> but I already go to school and I'm not retarded. And that guy's the foreman at a steel mill. <laughs> Listen, Listen, shut up, God. will ya? I'm your mother, after all. Just kidding. I mean, um, uh, uh, you'll figure it out later. <laughs> and then just gawk, gawk in front of him. <laughs> little bass. You gotta bass. have, yeah. Jack Nicholson. You, <laughs> hey, it's Jack Nicholson's mom here. <laughs> Fannie Mae Nicholson here from mybookie.ag. <laughs> If you're sucking dick to put your son through high school, <laughs> the retarded <laughs> public high school. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jack, sometimes it just feels good. I can't help it that I get to do what I love for a living. Maybe one day you will too. <laughs> Maybe one day they'll pay you to act like a faggot and cry all the time. <laughs> Can you imagine such a job? Maybe they'll find some way to record it for posterity. <laughs> like a photograph, but it moves and makes noise. Yo, fuck Tom Brady, yo. Tom Brady's fucking gay, yo. 
You could say the guy sucks dick for a living. <laughs> Thank not you, Jack Nicholson's mother. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I yo, think. bring that stanky old pussy over here, yo. <laughs> I'm trying to get head from Jack Nicholson's mother, yo. Yeah, my pussy also smokes cigarettes. <laughs> 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 yeah, was you was you the fucking Joker? <laughs> I love. I just imagine Jack Nicholson's head on a fucking shapely woman, dude. Can't we all just get along? Yo, say the they say the N word from the departed while I fuck you. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite part of any movie. Yeah. When they say the N word. That's the thing. Hi, I'm Adam's coworker and I wanted to have information on his medical <laughs> on stuff. How his pussy surgery. <laughs> how his how that. good his pussy screw like, is healing. <laughs> I'm really not supposed to do this, but he's got a big fat vagina. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not healing too good. <laughs> you said you're also a doctor? <laughs> no, I didn't. No. Oh, okay. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> He's kind of <laughs> annoying, honestly. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, I don't really like him. <laughs> he fucking sucks. Imagine your doctor being like, oh, that guy fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> that guy is such a fag. <laughs> A doctor wouldn't say that. <laughs> you know yeah. they think some guys suck that they dude, see. Yeah, but they dude, wouldn't say I hate it. being a doctor. <laughs> being a doctor fucking, fucking dude, being sucks, dude. dude. You, got, you got to seal up this man's <laughs> pussy. Dude, I thought it was all going to be put, like awesome pussy. I thought I was going to suck clits. <laughs> Sucking on clits. Just like what a molested child <laughs> thinks a gynecologist does. <laughs> I thought I was going to be sucking on clits and playing playing fucking tic-tac-toe in my mouth with them motherfucking titties. Spelling out and putting X's and O's all over my tongue with them titties. Why are you doing that voice, doctor? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's changed a lot since the beginning of this podcast. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm so high. Dude, dude. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm down so, a K-hole right I'm now. So, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm sucking up all the gases in the operating room. <laughs> I got everybody's files and I'm calling up their boys and I'm just ripping on them. Dude. I got the gas going. <laughs> I'm calling up. Look, this man, Eric, had to come in because his dick doesn't get hard. And I'm, I called up his frat. <laughs> and I told everybody, your boy Eric's just got a, his dick sucks. Yeah, what I do is I call everybody's emergency contact. Fuck, dude, I'm so fucked up. I'm so fucked up. Off it. What is this? Nick socks? Nick nah socks? <laughs> <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> the fuck is all in right, my well, office? Well, anyway, thanks, man. What thanks for fuck? telling me about Adam's big pussy. <laughs> what the fuck are all these like? I gotta take off though. What the fuck are all these canisters? <laughs> What I what do I even need any of this shit, dude? Next time I do surgery, I'm just gonna okay. fucking. Okay. I'm gonna try. All right. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be the bartender. Get <laughs> switch him up, dude, like James Bond would. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yo, tell Adam uh, what he's got cancer. I was so fucked up. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. And he was like, what? I was like, nothing, nothing, nothing. But maybe you could tell him because he's your boy. <laughs> yeah, I tried, but I couldn't keep a straight face. <laughs> I was laughing too hard, dude. I was so fucked up off gas, I couldn't tell <laughs> I couldn't tell Because they, they, they get pissed if you're fucking laughing at people. I told some bitch she had titty cancer. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I mean breast cancer. <laughs> I'm like, you got There I go again. Yeah, calling I mean, it titty cancer. I mean, you got to understand. I'm like, I'm <laughs> fucked up. <dude." laughs> yeah, it was a long weekend. We got all new gas in. I've <laughs> been trying out all the gas. <laughs> I'm your and mama, it, I'm your it, daddy, I'm that boob in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> want some folk, want some I don't weed. Believe those are the lyrics. I'm your but yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah, that's yeah. the lyric. I'm your mama, I'm your daddy, I'm that boob in the alley. <laughs> want some coke, want some weed, I'm your boob when in need. I'm oh, the right. boob man. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> now that one, I'm boob sure man. it's man. Right. Beep, 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 beep. Just boop, move boop, on boop. up. <laughs> Boop, boop. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Move on up. 
<laughs> the chewables from bluechew.com are prescribed online by a doctor and made in the USA. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. You suck ow on my penis. <laughs> Look, the cat's hugging me. Aww. Look, it's hugging me. <laughs> Look, the cat's hugging me. Michael, let it go. <laughs> it's Look, hugging me back. The hugger is hugging me back, everyone. <laughs> Michael, please let the let Mrs. Firestein's cat go, please. <laughs> Just I need guy. I need this job, Michael. <laughs> I shouldn't have warned you. Security guard's got an elf and <laughs> drank gun and fucking pointed at him. Uh, I'm sorry, Deborah. We really liked your resume, and we could l- really use a house cleaner, but your son, Michael, I mean, in other circumstances, if he hadn't have killed our cat, <laughs> we could have made an exception, but, it, you know, I, what's he going to do next? Is he going to be here the entire time you're cleaning? Because so far he's made more of a mess than you did. <laughs> Driving back home. Mom, are you mad at me? No, Michael. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> she just fucking of <sighs> mice and men's him. <laughs> <laughs> now stay in the car. Mm-hmm. We're going to leave it in the garage. We're going to let it run for a while and play your favorite songs. Mm-hmm. We're going to put on the Raffi tape. I want you to listen to Raffi. <laughs> We're just going to sit here for and a while. And just take a nice little nap for We're going to sit here and, and listen to Raffi. Nude Bunswick? Yeah, you put your bull, your bare ass out when the cops pull you over. Oh, I thought this good. was Nude Bunswick. I love that. I'm going to do that I on like the train. That. I thought this was Nude Bunswick, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got me going by. Sorry, I was looking for my phone. I was looking for my phone. <laughs> Sorry, my phone fell under the seat, and now my pants no. done come down when Sorry. I went and looked for it, but, you know, I'll pick them back up, but I'm getting off in, like, nine stops. <laughs> <laughs> a, so I'll, just, I'll put them back up when I'm Yeah, back, no, I'll pick them up, but I'm, <laughs> I'm finna get off in an hour and a half. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be gone in Philly, basically. <laughs> Yeah, I'm basically getting off in Philly. I'm basically getting off in Philly, basically Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> so I'm just going to yeah. just keep no, my pants a, down. This is the next stop. This is so the next stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, nah, I mean, my next stop is my shit. So, I mean, my pants get down. But, you know, I mean, look. Hey, look. My penis is in between my legs. My legs is sitting next to each other. Unless you looking over my shit, you ain't seeing my fucking penis. <laughs> so, if somebody wants to complain... <laughs> Maybe they should stop looking at my fucking penis. <laughs> He's hard as shit the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Completely Just torqued. Barely p- poking up. <laughs> <laughs> in between the legs. Yeah, yeah you just see the curvature <laughs> of the head pop yeah, yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Over the thigh, wink at you. How do you know it's not my phone? It I might st- be my phone. I was looking for it earlier, as I said. <laughs> yeah, come to Nude Bunswick on Wednesday the 6th or Lafayette, Louisiana. The eleventh, the eighth. I'm sorry, New Orleans. Yeah. The ninth. Fuck it. Let me speak to the air marshal then. Share me the air marshal. Does he got a gun? Can Tell he put it in my mouth? I, I'm not speaking. Are you a police officer? Then fuck off. <laughs> Unless you were ready to show, uh, request a uniformed officer. Unless you were <laughs> ready to request a uniformed officer, I don't have to pay for these fucking pretzels either. <laughs> no, they're not fucking complimentary. Put your penis away, sir. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting off soon. I'm getting my the next stop's my stop, so I'll put my penis away right around that time. He just keeps putting his hand on the girl next to him, Ty. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was my fucking penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that was my penis. My bad. They we can just, switch, though, just, if you want to put your hand on my penis. You just move it around. They just drag him out, fucking like that Cambodian doctor. <laughs> with his dick, fucking hitting everyone on the knees on the way out. Yeah. Let me go. This is my stop anyways. This I'm my, good. Just I'm let me out. Just let me go. <laughs> let me we'll go. We'll call it square. But this is my fucking stop. We'll call it square. We're I'm still in JFK. We're still in JFK. <laughs> <laughs> he immediately pulls his cock out the second he fucking sits down. <laughs> just audibly exhales. Like not even in the air, dude. Yeah. He just got his cock just out. <laughs> sweatpants pulled to his ankles. <laughs> Eagles like beanie on with the little like snowball on top. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just fat as shit in my sweatpants because I was too scared to wear jeans because they hurt too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about all the pussy I all was going to get. All the painful ass jeans. Because <laughs> you had to keep your hands clean. Mm-hmm. Um, to because you eat with it. To hold the king's balls <laughs> while he fucks your wife. <laughs> 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 so you have to. You know, the best job is is ferrying <laughs> dog shit 
in your mouth out to the fields to throw that, it up that's into, right. the, into the... Because those clean hands yeah. allow you those fucking... Exactly. Allow you first it keeps, dibs. It keeps the king from being pissed. That's right. Yeah. You get the finest piece of mutton. And then there's some guy that's like... Uh, uh, a- abacus, babacus, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's just, just a guy like in a fucking stone tower alone, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> he gets his own room with every like cool gadget that anyone's yep, come uh-huh. up with. He gets Galileo his own boy. comes by, and he's like, "Oh, actually, the the Earth isn't the center of the solar system, or whatever." And they're like, "Kill this man!" Yeah, throw acid down, get, pour acid y- down his throat, yeah, pour acid down his throat, and get rid of this guy. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the magic. <laughs> I think we've heard enough of science. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm going to try and turn rocks into gold <laughs> <laughs> for a hundred years. <laughs> What's the cathedral that's in Israel, the Catholic Church? Uh, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, maybe? Yeah. Sepulchre. I mean, there's a bunch of churches. That's got to be the most evil place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the Catholic Church I don't in know Israel. Israel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the pedophiles there? <laughs> That's the big leagues, baby. Yeah. <laughs> if a, you get transferred enough times in America, they send you over to that one. Mm-hmm. If you put up enough numbers. Yeah, you just go there. A guy like walks out the front door wearing toddlers as slippers. <laughs> <laughs> just got his feet in, <laughs> in like, their little asses. Just in two babies that are screaming and crying. He's like picking up the mail. And he's like, uh, how you doing, Avram? <laughs> Even though he's a Catholic priest, yeah, no, yeah, he I, still I'm, talks like I'm that. A Jewish, yeah. I'm a Jewish Catholic priest. <laughs> Mike was like, "Does anybody want to take this home or whatever?" And it like seemed like I don't know what he was asking, but I was like, "I don't know." And I went up to go get like a dessert, and I come back, and fucking the barbecue's gone. And <gasps> I was like, "What <gasps> happened?" And he's like, oh, I threw it out. I guess nobody wanted to take it home. What? And I was like, you fuck. That's that, insane. It was like, that was like $40 <laughs> worth of barbecue. Of beautiful meats, dude. Smoked motherfuckers. He threw out like, yeah, fucking like, like a bunch of shoulder and, oh. and fatty brisket. Oh, you can't throw fatty brisket out. I know. That's insane. Come on, man. Yeah. Anyways, his wife left him. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's only <laughs> They're like so my, dark. My uh, great uncle is buried. Really? In Crete. Why? It was cheaper. He was shot. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was shot down by the it Nazis. Was cheaper burying there. <laughs> this is the cheapest he's cemetery a, in the world. He's having a destination, he <laughs> destination <laughs> funeral. <laughs> he was in the RAF, and he was shot down by the On Nazis. On his deathbed, yeah. just looking at listings <laughs> for cheap funerals. <laughs> That's how he's spending his last moments. He's like, I got to get. One last I just need to die. <laughs> I, just, I need to die in Crete because I met this guy once. Well, I know I could get my dick hard by massaging it as a child. Mm-hmm. And I know one time when me and my brothers were having, we would often have dick measuring contests. Mm-hmm. And I remember one While time. While you were growing up? Yes. And I remember one time I is got the older hard. older brother just losing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like, no, I was winning. Thank you. Until Three years older. Than until, you. <laughs> first of all, two. It's a rigged game. Two huh? years older. Infant brother beating you in a dick. Two. Not an infant. <laughs> they were not infants. <laughs> you were four and they were two. <laughs> You're 13 years old. <laughs> 13 losing and 11 is perfectly reasonable no, to lose a dick measure. Just blasting the NBA jam theme in the basement. <laughs> Your mom's like, what are you doing, Doc? <laughs> We're playing a g- ma- basketball. Puts up a brick. Go <laughs> come down here. They weren't babies. They're two years younger than me. Where not, where's my baking ruler? <laughs> where's my baking what ruler that baking I use for? I don't know. What is the baking it's ruler? It's something his mom needs in the kitchen that he's using to measure his brother's penis. <laughs> My brothers are twins, and they're two years younger than me. I never measured my grown penis next to my baby brother's penises and lost. Thank you very much. And lost. For the record, I never lost. (laughs) The point I was trying to make, Nick, was that I would get hard. Putting your own biggest penis medal on yourself. Your your infant brother who clearly won is just crying. And the winner is me. I won. <laughs> I've never had a. You never have one. No. Most of the the never. fantasy dreams I have is like I'm on the battlefield, my face is painted, <laughs> there's a horde behind me. I did one time we, thinking about, and you uh, never get to rape the queen. Mm. You only get into the castle and slit her th- son's throat in front of her. Sure. And then right as you get hard, that's when your mom wakes you up. Yep. <laughs> Having you're going to be get late out of my bed. You're going to be classic late to game. <laughs> 
<laughs> Watching you say this with yeah, the chain mail like, behind you yeah. is like is, is is all too perfect. My mom's like, get out of my bed. It's like, mom, I told you I took a blue chew before I went to sleep, and I don't want to come in my own bed. I don't want to get come in my bed, mom. I have to go to work. I had a wet dream when I was a child thinking about... I have to go to my job at the video game store that I have so I can get cheaper video games. <laughs> <laughs> While I can continue to... You well, pay put all for, the rest of the money uh, back into the fucking more business. More money goes to gaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you thought about GameStop, I thought about for a while, but at a grocery store so that I would get... Specifically you just the, wanted more food? Specifically the deli section. You just wanted more food. Oh, oh my God. You steal like, little slices all day long. Or the butcher. The, be a butcher. Get fucking fucking ribeyes and shit. It'd be dude. funny if you worked at a grocery store and got fired day one. Because <laughs> whoever hired you, like you're like, can we take some of the meat? They're like, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, you gotta have yeah. one, yeah, a little yeah. bit, and then you're immediately eating half the case. <laughs> just uh, the there's a bite. There's you wouldn't even do it that. Human... You would just snack way too much. You yeah. would take one little piece and then maybe like another one twenty seconds later. In your mind, you're doing it every thirty minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like Vito working Absolutely. on the job site. Yeah, yeah. one hundred percent. You're like people you observing your real life. Time. You're just like, ooh, let me. Ch- I'll just try this. Just take a little try. Yeah, I've never had peppercorn mm, beef. Salsalito. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? It's cheddar? <laughs> what makes it sharp? Let me see if I'll unsharp. Well, it didn't taste. It didn't hurt my tongue. Now I'll go back tongue. to the other yeah. one and see. Interesting. Intra- very interesting. There's a line out the door. <laughs> I'm trying, like, without with my eyes closed to, like, match up every kind of cheese with yeah. what they gave me. We're, I'm doing the Pepsi. Uh, I, me and some of the customers are doing the Pepsi taste challenge <laughs> in the back. No, I thought it would be a fun thing for the customers if we did the, uh, the honey graham. Well, I'm doing it first to get all the kinks out myself. <laughs> Dude, I saw, so I've been doing it. I saw a Teddy Quality Graham control. flavor called Outdoor Adventure yesterday, mm-hmm. and the Bears got, like, a... Like a net and like a, a lo- like a, an explorer outfit on. He's like the but they're like butterflies and stuff. And mm-hmm. it's like this is just for eating inside. Yeah, <laughs> the kids would be like, oh, it's exercise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. It's your dick works flavored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guess who doesn't have tits? <laughs> Graham crackers. <laughs> also, what does that taste like though? That's I what don't I know. know. Ooh. It tastes like butterflies. Yeah. We should get a little box. <laughs> a little yeah. You're like, no, nah, I work in the deli. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this before. Just, no, trying, oh. I work in case the customers ask. I want to know. <laughs> I need a wide breadth of uh, knowledge. Yeah. Look, do you want me to be 100% committed to customer service or not? <laughs> Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to go through this store and have direct hand knowledge of, <laughs> <laughs> of the, the, of the of clientele item. of the product tell. <laughs> the product tell. I just show up. I'm not even working. I'm just eating. I'm just with a notebook. Mm, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'm, from, I'm from the newspaper. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing a review. Y'all take it easy. I'm gonna sleep here tonight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I got no, I just a... take boxes with me. I'm taking some work home to finish <laughs> yeah. up. Stop it. I, got, I got into a fight with my mom. <laughs> well, when I worked at Domino's, they let me do take home pizzas. So I'm going to take home some of the cash register. <laughs> of course. Real fat, huge guy, like 6'5. Sounds good. Morbidly obese. And he's got one of those like walkers. You know, sometimes like a little bit of somebody's ass crack will be out. <laughs> his pants were completely down, like under his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just the sl- best slowly walking in front of the whole lot. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, fucking that rocks, rocks. Dude. yeah. His entire, <laughs> his entire, his Jeez. whole ass. It'd be awesome. Chili is what I'm saying. Oh. In the ski lodge. Oh, mm-hmm. dude, you're just, just going up to Scandinavian women, yeah, being like, Madam, may I purchase your jewels? <laughs> Like, Can I excuse me? They're like that. Yeah, that's the, this the same guy from before. <laughs> you're drinking in a coffee mug. You have chili that you're sipping I'm on. Sipping chili. I'm pouring <laughs> bourbon into the chili. <laughs> <laughs> Got to Irish up this chili. <laughs> I love it. It's Irish fucking Irish bisque. Style. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of alcoholic pouring grain alcohol into his soups. <laughs> you can make any soup Irish style. Yeah. Uh-huh. Time for some Irish potatoes yeah. all gratin. Time for a little <laughs> Irish driving over to the, <laughs> the hotel <laughs> to see what the owner's key card might, what kind of trouble that might get me into <laughs> in some of these rooms. <laughs> 
I can't wait to Irishly visit hey, some yeah. of our female hey. <laughs> customers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, just Irishly uh, be accused mm-hmm. of rape. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a guy, just at a like, um, just like a barista at a coffee shop. He's making someone a latte, and then he's like pouring half the latte in another cup and pouring some water in the original cup, being like, "Mind if I Jewish up this coffee?" <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my latte Jewish, please. <laughs> Mind if I just Jewish this up for you? Wait, have you seen that clip of Chuck of Chuck Schumer? What no? He he goes to a a diner to give an interview, and he's like, "Let me let me tell you a little trick that that, that from the diner." He's like, "You order you order a glass of orange juice, okay? Then a tall glass of water, and then a third empty cup. You pour ten percent of the orange juice into the empty cup. You fill the rest of it with water." 10% of the calories. What? Plus, you can share it and more people can have orange juice too. <laughs> <laughs> what? The? Chuck Schumer. Just give yeah. people health care, you fucking I know. Dumb, <laughs> he, um, there, was, there was literally a fucking like Pacific Northwest Pacific Otakon going on mm-hmm. uh-huh. at the convention center. I was staying right by it. I rode the elevator with a family of cosplayers and it did not smell great, the boys. Mm-hmm. That shit was fucking horrible. You're just smelling yourself, and you're like, man, this family. This, <laughs> this family smells <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely this family and not me, the 35-year-old <laughs> who's addicted to <laughs> weed candy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, these fucking, these, this family smells like chicken wings in your own cum. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's yeah, weird, dude. Just staying there. Your belt doesn't even reach around your pants. It's just going into your ass. <laughs> yeah, it starts yeah. at the beginning, yeah. and then it just gets uh, swallowed up by my asshole. <laughs> wow, this family stinks. This family smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. It's everyone but me. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty much... Uh, Whole world just stinks, <laughs> except for me. <laughs> now to go that, get my second dinner. When I lived in Los Angeles, I fucking pissed my car while drunk, and I forgot about it. And then I would drive around and be like, "Man, this city stinks." <laughs> 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 That's so awesome. Uh, yeah. His homeless clothes was like trying to look fresh. He was like, yeah, doing, like yeah. checking his checking Hell himself. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, like adjusting his hat. Yeah, <laughs> right? of course. Just reeks of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it was like, hey man, hey, make the do, most do of your you. situation, I brother. Know, right? <laughs> He's maximizing yeah, it. Yeah, right. The fact I got doo doo like, in my ass. <laughs> it's like, I look good. <laughs> but I'm getting homeless pussy. Someone's got to get homeless pussy, and it's about to be me. It's about to be Lawrence. <laughs> you know, Lawrence is going to clean up. My cousin was visiting from Israel mm, when we were kids. Interesting. And he had a shirt on that said, um, it said, Gangster Sportivit. And I was like, what does gangster sport TV mean? He's like, you know, like gangster, but they play sports too. (laughs) 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 He thought he was about to set the U.S. He was like, yeah, I'm about to go to America. I got to wear my gangster sport TV shirt. Gangster sport TV. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no no sense. But I guess it just means black to them. You know, like. Yeah. You know, black people, gangster, Have you ever sports. Heard the N word? They play sport. <laughs> yeah, the movie The Wrestler should have been called The Guy Who Was Chill About It. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who was pretty chill about having a kid. God, I love when he's just like, he finally gets his crack at reconnecting. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm going to get my dick sucked in <laughs> <and do> cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's awesome. It, it rules. fucking rules, dude. For a career? For, yeah, you would get to, they would reboot House of Cards and you got to be mm-hmm. his role. I, I would be Frank Underwood. You would be Frank Underwood. I would turn to the camera and say, <laughs> the plot is set. Every, every... <laughs> what well, they don't know. Every movie now has been recast with the victims of the perpetrators <laughs> who originally had the roles. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would That'd be, be great. Uh, yep. I'm trying to think. what. So you have Ghost Dad with uh, the bitch from oh, yeah. Just Shoot Me. Or- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Plenty one of, women. of them. Uh, I honestly, all the Cosby projects. President E. Jean Carroll, 
Right. Oh, right. A lot of people think of regime change and they think it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> they think of Sharia and they think of the sexual thing. <laughs> 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 a lot of people think of uh, Bashar al-Assad, and they think they think about how sexy is. <laughs> the sexual fan. <laughs> okay, we'll be back after a break. We'll be back after <laughs> a brief break. <laughs> we are we are going to cut to a forty-five minute commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that guy that lived upstairs, uh-uh. he was like this like older guy. He was in Vietnam. He like was living off his pension, mm-hmm. and like I'd known him for years, and like what what like I kept finding out new things about him, just like wild things. While that, like hugging and kissing. No, no, no. So like one like day, going, like going, one day he's like, he's like, I, I while falling together. asleep. Yeah. He's like, what? He's like, I ever tell you I was a clown? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you were a clown, Jerome? And he's like. Yeah, he's like, well, get out of Vietnam, got a bitch <laughs> pregnant, circus was in town. <laughs> <laughs> this man joined the circus to be a fucking deadbeat dad? He, like, joined the circus to be a clown so he wouldn't have to take care of a kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy if you came shit. up with the most racist joke about the Universal Circus, <laughs> insane. <laughs> it's like, well, these black dudes are trying to dodge child support, so they put on a bunch of clown makeup. <laughs> Perfect disguise. Yeah. That, yes. Twink Jews. Ethiopian Jews. Ethiopian Jews. They're like, can we can we hang out? And you're like, no. No, 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 no. Get out of here. No, come on. Come on, bro. The chicks can. The you, chicks you know what we meant by Jews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we taught, no, Israel, no. you know what we meant by yeah. Jews. <laughs> The the you do you reboot Hanukkah, but it's weed oil that lasts for Ooh, thirteen days. I like or that. Whatever. I like that. And I get days. high with your parents. Mm, yeah. It's called a high Hanukkah. Hanukkah, dude. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Just listening ha- to happy Hanukkah to all my Hanukkahs out there. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> no, but it's it's the Q. Yeah, one. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I see what you were doing. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. The Q know. one that's okay to say. <laughs> it was not okay to say. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what was the guy you were doing that was like uh, the guy who the guy got caught watching child pornography? Oh, yeah, right. I thought you might be. Yeah, what was it? Iranian yeah, guy. Yeah, they'd yeah, be like yeah. Iranian guy being interrogated by detectives <laughs> yeah. because he got caught with child pornography. He's like. Uh, yes, I look at picture, uh, but very brief. <laughs> I look at picture very brief. I touch my penis like that. Just one second. One second. <laughs> maybe one, two times. Maybe, maybe just uh, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Nothing to very brief. I touch my penis. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay. Very uh, brief. <laughs> yeah. Very brief. I touch my penis. Very brief. I touch my penis. I look, I look one, two seconds, I look, maybe. Ju- I look picture one, two seconds, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we tour, we and, plugged a, it. and a bunch of people came out, and it was See really that? nice. Well, really that's because we're your you. friend, and we support you. And thank you. I think what we said out. was uh, a bunch of European people. People were like, oh, what is? There is a gay clown that is coming <laughs> to do a show. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What? Ian brought his own slide whistle. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do it Unreal. again. Do it again. Do it again. I mean, I don't even know how to process. Do that. it again. I can't Ian. even laugh. Yeah. I'm, it's this crazy. is the best. <laughs> Ian. And then they're like, stop, and they make you like edge or what? Yeah, some of the more advanced ones. See, I personally don't like to edge. I like to just be treated like a little prince who's come as. <laughs> Who's come is like a, a you know a, a delicacy. A del- exactly. Yes. 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 Can I be the jester? And taste yeah. it to make sure it's no. not poison. What am I? <laughs> and then you snowball into the yeah. woman that I'm fucking's mouth. I'm the like, come is good, sire. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> Two servings of mutton for Ian. Because <laughs> it's fucking dumb. Yeah, but it's I a s- throwaway for a I've podcast. Said it on- <laughs> Silence! <laughs> oh, okay, I've said it on the show before. That really does hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, the silence button is good, dude. <laughs> Thanksgiving is perfect time for some sexual healing with the mm-hmm. family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked. I fucked my yeah, parents. My name's Marcus, awesome. and I love Thanksgiving and incest. <laughs> <laughs> There's two things I love: it's cutting up that bird and cutting up my sister. <laughs> you guys are gonna make fun of me for saying this, but incest is definitely uh, up next. I want the technologic tech technologic uh, technologic. Techno- Just say it weird. The, te- <laughs> the technologic information age or whatever mm. the fuck. <laughs>
<laughs> the technology. Yes. Yeah. Revolution. <laughs> now you're cooking with gas, partner. <laughs> <laughs> now you're dialing my numbers. <laughs> now you Now you're calling me on the phone. Beep beep. Oh beep. yeah. Oh yeah, you're playing with my balls now. Oh yeah, now you're putting my balls in your ass and mouth <laughs> now, in that yeah. order. Now, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just fucking, just ordering a sandwich. One of the, you're chopped. Me like, yeah, let me get some of the, yeah, let me. Oh yeah, the arugula and the mm. red onions. Now you're sucking my balls. Now <laughs> you got my balls in your mouth. You fucking. Now whore. you're sucking on my balls. What is it, <laughs> Manuela? <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we're fucking your pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Get that bacon, those bacon crumbles. Yeah, Ooh. put a little bacon crumbles on there. We're in the mm, business. Now you're sucking the nut out of I'm my balls. Sucking my cock. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally no difference between Jeffrey Epstein and <laughs> fucking Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I had this, like, uh, really shitty idea. <laughs> Why not just be like, yeah, he's, somebody stole his Pokemon card. It made him really sad. <laughs> <laughs> the cops said that at a press conference. Yeah, actually. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. So they, we've concluded our report. We were it? told that... Uh, Jeffrey Epstein left a note saying somebody stole his Clefairy. <laughs> his, he had a foil. Yeah. He had a foil Charizard. He had a, he had a shiny Charizard. Very first edition, very yeah. rare, which are <laughs> worth twenty twenty five dollars easily <laughs> at the CD Game Exchange. That scene was so fucking funny when Pacino and Tony that the meeting. That yeah, <laughs> it was it's, the funniest. Like, thing. I mean, that's like it's like this. That scene is like these guys are masters. Fucking like uh, yeah. like Scorsese is a master filmmaker. Mm-hmm. This yeah. scene is fucking awesome. Incredible. <laughs> Dude. Ten versus fifteen. It's fucking yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah. And it's like it's like one of the best. Cocksucker. It's like one of the best scenes in in any Scorsese movie. So absolutely, funny. absolutely. Yeah. And then and he De can Niro, still do it. The bodyguards are incredible. The way De Niro responds when he calls mm-hmm. him a wop cocksucker. It's hilarious. like find a single scene in any movie directed by a woman that comes in anywhere. Oh no, no, anywhere close to that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see that woman try to make Robert De Niro look uh, fucking 30. How would she do it? By sucking his dick? (laughs) Is that how she would do it? Fucking (laughs) bitch. Silence. Welcome to fucking come down, you fucking pieces of shit. I love that. I, I got to figure out how. To Where's do that it. from originally? That just that came with it. That came with it. Yeah. That's a fucking billion dollar you, sound. All of this shit was already on the thing. That go on a diet, you fat bitch. That was in, <laughs> that was in there. <laughs> that was already on. Those are presets. Yeah, yes. I just I'm going through the presets. Yes. I got a couple of fun. What ones. else they got? Wait, my bitch, nigga. Buy your own damn fries. That a- I excerpt from Barack Obama's audio book. I can't believe with. the president would say that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wait, my bitch, nigga. Buy your own damn fries. You know Wait, who's that's totally, not Obama. You know it's it is. Obama. It's from Dreams of My Father. <laughs> yeah. It's from the audio book. Yeah. But he talks about his checkered past. And he talks about going and buy, going and getting French fries. Getting with, French fries with uh, and the time he lost his temper getting French fries. <laughs> You ain't my bitch, nigga. <laughs> Buy your own damn fries. Okay, that's yeah. pretty good. You know, never Buy your own that. damn fries. Is there Ben Carson's audiobook? Yes, that's it. That's good. No, because he has one where he talks about packing somebody. I don't know what he called it. Snapping. Silence! <laughs> yeah, that was it. I forgot which ones were which. It's okay, man. The point is, Ben Carson had a story about how he... He, c- he stabbed ca- someone, no? No, I think he said he said yo mama to somebody. Mm-hmm. But I would like to listen to that. So that came pre What was it? Huh? What was his book called? Like Hands of God. Yeah, or if something? these hands could eat pussy. <laughs> 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 it's called. I may be uh, I may be a brain doctor, but I'm still a, from the streets. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, that's we're on our third and fourth, if you count implied N words so far. <laughs> Well, we had a couple actual ones that were spoken yeah. by the 44th president. I know. We're getting so. into the danger zone now. <laughs> <laughs> Go on a diet, you fat bitch. <laughs>
This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the soundboard takes it. Once stop, did you see this? This is uh, fucking incredible. I can't wait to never. We don't ha- soon. And yeah. we, we were saying this earlier. I can't wait till we don't have to even talk. Dude, if this podcast. It's a string of soundboards. Well, so we're the money's this. been dropping off for a while now. Awesome. If we get yes. back on track, if we hit $100,000, I'm going full setup where I have just three different producers I'm passing notes to, and they're finding <laughs> sounds, cutting them up for me. <laughs> And then we get, I just, I, you know, and yes. it's, it's it, like girl talk. It's like watching a cartoon play a big Ooh. organ <laughs> where I got a bunch of different knobs and, I love that. and you Bad never enough. know a nice collage of sound. You never yeah. know because it's, it's 10 different radio shows at once. Mm-hmm. I got different bits being pulled. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, we we're go. playing. Yeah. We're playing Kirk, Mark and Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> we're playing uh, Mickey and Amelia. All the ever, anytime Everything. anything has ever been on Baltimore mm-hmm. morning. Yeah. Anything the junkies mm-hmm. that were briefly the sports junkies. You remember those guys? We're just a couple of guys talking about sports, doing heroin. <laughs> they and had one guy named Hench or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's nothing I'm I love so more. Cold. We go to the Orioles game and then I got robbed by a bunch of. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm <sorry>. dude. What? <laughs> I didn't even tell you what I. S- <laughs> That's your. If you're thinking I said something. Yeah. I just make that noise when I feel sick. Oh, that that was your noise. Yeah, no. You I, made that with your for, uh, with your mouth. Uh, yeah. That's the heroin makes it <laughs> <laughs> It just makes that noise. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, yeah, nah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's the combination of heroin and the sports. He needs to get <laughs> right, overdosing. man. Anyway, so there was a couple of hanging no, out. No, no, <laughs> I don't believe you this time. Well, no, that's, Maybe the first time. That's just the I make. <laughs> okay. It's my <laughs> We all got <laughs> You gotta respect your <laughs> <laughs> He it said, really seems like you're doing, you're talking right now. Respect your elders. You got to respect it <laughs> that you make. Wait, I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> you make. <laughs> yeah. The... No, stop. First of all, mm-hmm. right before you make that noise, now you started <laughs> no, floating no. into an end zone <laughs> before you make it. <laughs> no, the I'm making is. Look. Sometimes I do too much heroin, and I make it. <laughs> you make it. Nick, I don't know, man. No, but stop. What? If he's it's making, just a, I make when I'm when I'm I'm fucked up on heroin. Oh, okay, the noise. The yeah, right. Ah, stop. This is a this is a sick man. So here. you're saying noise for everyone? Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> Well, come on, man. I'm trying. The system's got me down. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like most of my stuff I got together, but people, there's a tell. Everybody knows I'm a heroin addict because I go in a store and they hear me saying, and they know. <laughs> they hear you saying noise. They hear me saying <laughs> noise. And they know. So I see. Okay. Oh, I'm just one of these guys. One of these noise guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> noise music. And they know I can't <laughs> I can't get my shit together. Classic yeah. Baltimore I'm su- noise I'm sucking guy. some. Just so I can get another bag. <laughs> <laughs> You're sucking some noise noise? No, I meant to say something else. But <laughs> my illness. <laughs> my illness. <laughs> my, I got my guy got sick. <laughs> At the end of that sentence. Okay, all right. Well, we don't have to get into it anyway. See you later, sports junkie. Yeah, no, Good I'm to talk get to my, you. My stuff. Oh, there's that guy with money too. <laughs> Oh, oh no, the he's sports dead. junkie is dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh my god, Carl got shot by <laughs> <laughs> by noise. Carl got shot by noise. The fuck are you talking? Oh, Carl told you that shit too? Yeah, no, he was lying. <laughs> yeah, that guy was racist. Oh man, well I'm glad he's dead. Carl yeah. the sports junkie? <laughs> Carl the sports junkie was a racist. Oh but he's my dead god, now. I don't like that guy. And that's the good news. All mm-hmm. racists should be dead. All racists should be killed without a trial. Yeah. Hey man, can I can I get some of your French fries? Wait, my bitch, nigga. <laughs> Buy your own damn fries. All right. <laughs> okay, all right, man. All right, Obama. All right. All right. <laughs> man, the president's always being mean to me just because I'm a heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. That's rude of him. That is rude of him. I'm not going to call the president. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. What? 
It's my, it's my, I make. As okay. a heroin addict. No, Carl is dead. All right. We've been Carl. over this. He was Carl killed. is dead. <laughs> Don't want to die, you fat bitch. Shirley Temple. No, what, is that the no, bitch's name? She's got the little, be. the little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nailed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here in beautiful Vancouver, <laughs> and I got a dick in my ass. <laughs> Vancouver's a great city. It's one of my favorite cities. I love coming here and shoving a big fat dick right up my ass. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson, you're having gay sex in Vancouver. Dwayne the f Johnson here. <laughs> no. For, for WrestleMania 27, this is a great event. We've, we're raising money for kids who are also. F <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay wrestler Dwayne <laughs> the f Johnson. <laughs> if that's not his name. The Rock. He's saying The Rock. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <clears throat> oh, fuck. This is, I love the damn soundboard, Dude, though. the soundboard's great. That's really good stuff. It really takes it up to 11. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we having a party out here, baby. We having gay sex. We having a party. Silence. <laughs> um, fuck. I Do you feeling... see? Oh, continue. No, I got nothing. I say I'm, I'm starting to feel weird all of a sudden. Yeah, I I just mm -hmm. found out I have diarrhea during the Mac Weldon read. So mm -hmm. if I get sick from you, man, are you on You can't tonight? get it from my ass. Oh damn. No. No um, frantico. I guess I'm hanging out alone. This is probably a good hang. Hey, it's Dwayne Johnson here. <laughs> I'm on Frantic at the stand tonight. <laughs> doing all my bits about sucking cock. <laughs> Just sucking off a couple of guys. <laughs> yep. Can you smell my ass while it's getting fucked? Let me get this straight, yeah? <laughs> you want to have sex with my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. If there's one thing I want, Shaw. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hobbs Which, I can't. Gay Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. Hey, it's me, <laughs> Hobbs. <laughs> That's his name, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I and thought I'm, you were Samoan. You could just be um, Hobbs, um, huh? Um, <laughs> 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 I'm regular Shaw. <laughs> Regular. That's even more offensive. It's, it's sort of a Tom and Jerry, <laughs> a Tom and Jerry situation. Oh, is that like a Cockney slang? Yeah. No, Tom I'm, and I'm, a, I'm trying to not get my ass fu <laughs> fucked. And, and Hobbs is chasing me around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being chased around by Hobbs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Nothing wow. like a beep, dude. It, it, beep, beep, beep. Beep is the best. It's I mean, literally I, taking, what, 200 honestly, episodes? I feel bad for fucking kids growing up today without beep. Beep yeah, is incredible. Beep. beep. Yeah, beep makes Doing it. Doing that in class, yeah. your teacher being mad yeah. at you, and dude, being like, what? The funniest shit in the world. I used to love watching Jerry Springer. And, oh, yeah. And they would have an episode, Jerry Springer would be like, "We, she's in third grade, and she's having sex with black men twice her age. <laughs> Let's bring her out, Delilah. And then it's a little girl, and the audience is like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. It's the nineties, Jerry. I'm gonna do what I f want. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I f want, Jerry. If I wanna, I can do it if I f want to. Boo. I'm in third grade. Boo. Boo. Yeah. My question is for uh, the little shorty. If you a ho if you if you don't know your ABCs, then why are you on your knees? <laughs> <laughs> and then they Boom, go in! Yeah, the audience yeah. like tries to fight the guests yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I love it. Right. Jerry's on a new show. I didn't know this. I was mm -hmm. home with Thanksgiving. If you in grade three, why do you got HIV? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, so do you see our friend... Uh, our friend, friend of the show, Hillary Clinton, was on uh, the Howard Stern Dude, show. Howard looked horrible. Mm. Dude. What the fuck? To see your heroes. sucks. To see your heroes be complicit in that. I mean, he's just mm -hmm. a rich guy now. Like, and what? You know, you think Bernie's... Uh, I can't do Howard Stern at all. No, it's it's deep. And it's like New York. It's but Long I have, Island. I have no idea it's where to... super low. I have Long no Island. idea where to even <coughs> come in on it. I'm gay. No, it's... <laughs> 
I can't do it. You can't, you I'm can't do Howard any Howard Stern I and I'm gay. I can do a couple impressions. <laughs> Hold on, I'm nailing yeah, yeah. it. I'm actually gay. You know? It's me, Howard, <laughs> Howard Stern. I'm, I'm Howard Stern. I'm ha- Bernie <laughs> Sanders is gay also. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, but in wait, a bad way. Wait a minute. Are you saying Bernie Sanders is a faggot? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying Bernie Sanders is a f- <laughs> <laughs> Robin, Hillary, uh, Robin, bring me my Bernie. slippers so I can go outside and take it. <laughs> and Hillary's, <laughs> then Hillary's gonna go outside and I'm gonna take a big. That sounds great, Howard. Yeah. Uh yeah, I can't do Hillary. Either. <laughs> dude, no, we're crushing it. Yeah, we got you Howard. Know, Hillary, uh, Hillary, down, that's dude. Hillary. That's I'm, hard. I'm actually gay. That's me. Uh, Hillary. So Hillary, tell me. Hillary you. Clinton. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> uh, Bernie fucking stayed around. Bernie ruined my chances because she was like. Right, he sucks. Yeah, because he, he he sent me a letter saying he was going to rape me in <laughs> June of oh my God. 2016. And wow. The only reason I ran is to get black women out of jail. That's so great and of And a lot you, of people, I, he stole all my ideas. Can like I see Medicare your pussy? All. This, these were all ideas. As that me and Liz Warren came mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, you can't trust Jews. Yeah, you really can, except for my good friend Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> rest in peace, who killed himself. Uh, uh, he was a misunderstood guy. Yeah. And me the, and your husband, Bill, had a great time on those airplanes. Harvey Weinstein, too. He, Epstein and Weinstein, the, the, the Waluigi and Wario. <laughs> of, of rape. <laughs> <laughs> of rape. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks was. for listening to the Howard Stern Show. Yeah. Come back, and uh, we're going to get Hillary to ride the Sibian. Oh, Howard, you crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Howard, you crazy for this one, Howard. Howard. It's Cleveland from the <laughs> Family Guy. <laughs> oh, my God, Howard. <laughs> Giggity, I'm Howard Stern. Howard, you crazy for this one. Uh, I'm I'm freaking Hillary Clinton. Oh, that's, that's a, great, a good, that's a good Peter, a good Peter dude. Yeah. yeah. You can do them because you look No. Because you're <laughs> That is not why. You're fat I did a pretty good quagmire. Because you had a terrible Peter Griffin last time you tried to do it. No. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was, it was so. Uh, P- Lois. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really bad. So it's good to see that you... Dude, I'm just out here free... You were so humiliated. You went back into the workshop with that one. Well, I was not humiliated. I'm never humiliated. You watched YouTube vids. What I did was I felt... See, it's kind of like in basketball when you're you're on a hot streak. For example, I just nailed Howard Stern so much Mm -hmm. that my confidence... Allowed me to nail Peter Griffin. Mm. Yeah, it's true. I'm Howard Stern and I'm gay. That sounds good. Jeez, law. (laughs) Yeah, I don't even know what Peter... I can't do Peter Griffin. It's all right, man. <clears throat> Not everybody's gifted with the instrument like I am. I would just have to listen to him again. It's an easy voice to do. Howard? No, it's really hard. No, no. Family, Peter? Family guy. Yeah, yeah. It's Rhode Island. Rhode yeah. Island stuff. I'll be in Rhode Island. Who, who plays the neighbor? It's Putty, right? Yeah, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Of course it is. Yeah, let's put that together. Yeah, it's me. Shouts buddy. out to Putty getting it's checks after good checks. Good for him. Here I am, the neighbor. Oh, someone said to me after one of our They previous... said that you're a faggot. No. <laughs> well... <laughs> At the end. I heard that too. <laughs> no, yeah. stop it. I also heard that Howard Stern. We're, we're going live to the guy, <laughs> and he said uh, that you're a. F- <laughs> <laughs> that was going live to the guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it again. <laughs> I've got him on another. Uh, okay, Elaine. <laughs> Let's patch him through. Yeah. Elaine, it's me, Family Guy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm here with Adam. Right? <laughs> what were you saying earlier? <laughs> oh, right, that he's a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you heard it from him, <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> Elaine from Seinfeld is the guy. Yeah. Elaine from Seinfeld is the guy. Uh, yeah, she's my uh, girlfriend on another show. Well, thank you so much, Putty Family Guy. Yeah. This is the Howard Stern Show. Yeah. Come back. We're all gonna have sex with Robin afterwards. Mm-hmm. After oh this. my God, <laughs> Howard, you crazy for this one? <laughs> the strangers and just going into a, about a product you enjoy. Yeah, you go up to the bus stop and you go, <laughs> "What's up?" So you guys, I, I guess that's probably that's it. That's when it stopped being funny. <laughs> I've got my fill with the bus. I got oh, a, okay. Thank you for clarifying. He's I got, got a, a pussy in an ass. No, I don't. <laughs> wow, he's got both. Yeah. <laughs> I got a ridge. 
<laughs> Howard. <laughs> Robin, do you have a pussy and an ass? Howard, leave that boy alone. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you fuck. <laughs> no, Robin, thank you. Fucking, you. <laughs> what did you just call me, Howard? I didn't say anything, you dumb. <laughs> oh, my God, Howard. <laughs> Please, please end it with a soft A, Howard. <laughs> please just let it end with a soft A. Uh, no, no, Howard. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the longest. <laughs> with a wallet, you can get to your everyday carrier Glock. Easily. 19, fully automatic. So some guy's like... Hey man, do you got do you have twenty five cents I could borrow?